One world's end as a new begin And should our soul scatter unto the wind Still we shall live on Stand tall Such a good song. Such a good song. Hi, Becca. Hi, Echo. Hi, guys. Give me one second. Give me one second. <gasps> Did I forget to fill my water? Oh, God. I'm such an idiot. I forgot to fill my water. I didn't want to, like, finish getting ready because I just wanted to listen to the music. Like, lahi. Playing Pokemans. Echo, did you see the leaks for the uh, Scarlet Violet starters? 
I'm I'm scared. I'm frightened. It's it's a scary time. Uh oh, tails of up. Becca, I have a, I have to fight you on something. How come you don't want to play gay duck? You don't want to use gay duck on your team? What's wrong with you? Qua qua what's his name? Qua 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 qua, qua something. Quack something. Use the gay duck, Becca. Don't be upset about it. <laughs> I'll be right back. I just need to fill my water. I can't believe I forgot. I'm just mad about the fact that they... Well, okay, wait. I don't know if you guys care about, like, starter evolution reveals, so I'm just going to say, like, brief little spoiler warning. Little spoiler warning, mute me if you don't want to hear about the starters. Um, you have three seconds. Anyways, um, I'm just mad that they didn't keep the cat on, on four legs because rule 34 is... They're all, you know, you know artists are already furiously, like, just fucking drawing those cats in, in positions that they shouldn't be in, and I'm upset about it. Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Why do they have this trend of making humanoid starters? Uh, dude, I don't know. I think because they ran out of like four-legged and three-legged and two-legged leg things, they don't know what to do anymore. They're just like, um, humanoid, I don't know. Uh, is she oh, you're playing Shield. It was actually first Pokemon game. Uh, I don't think I even played Sword Shield. What did I last play, XY? I think XY is my last Pokemans. And I was so confused. <laughs> Firestarter looks cool, Gay Duck is fantastic, and Phantom Thief Cat uh, is great because magic- Okay, um, here's what I'll say about Phantom Thief Cat, if that's what we're calling it. Phantom Thief Cat design, I'm kind of okay with on a one aspect because it kind of looks- <laughs> One-legged, <laughs> Krylius. Um, it kind of looks like Midna. It kind of looks like Midna, and I dig the Midna vibes. Um, that's, that's the only thing I'm kind of okay about Grass Cat. Um, however, I just wish it would have stayed on four legs because nothing is sacred. It, I mean, it already wouldn't have been sacred to the Rule 34 artists regardless, but putting it on two legs just further enables them. The, the bipedal cat starters make me angry. Also, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, Karina from Drawfee drew a fantastic final Evo for Sprigatito. It looks wonderful. Is this like, like before it got leaked, what the actual one is? <laughs> to be fair, I said from the beginning, I hope it becomes the biggest. I assume you hit enter too soon. Hope it becomes the biggest furry bait just to make people mad. <laughs> wow, that happened. That happened for sure. And it's the fact that like, what's what's it called again? Meow, 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 scarata or something like that. It's literally like, like it's like looking down on you too. And it's it's totally like people are going to be step on me, grass cat. It's, uh, yeah, ugh. I need to take a breath. I'm like worked up. <laughs> For me, the designs, I just don't love humanoid Pokemon designs overall. I think they've taken them in a more interesting direction. They could have, true. Uh, who's to blame? Who's to blame? Lucario. Luca Mewtwo. Mewtwo was the first humanoid. <laughs> Who do we blame for all this fiasco? <laughs> I hate to tell you, Tara. The Rule 34 artist already committed sins against Cat. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. Believe. It was just after the starters were announced, so they were like, no, let me do it better. Mewtwo has the cake. <laughs> you found two fire axes. You're fucking set, Izagi. In Zomboid, you get get yourself a fire axe? You are set. Not like for the whole for the whole run, but like for a good long while. Guys, what are we doing? Should we do a little bit of MSQ before diving into Omega? I'm here so we could dive straight into Omega, but I kinda wanna like I want like a like a little a sampler. I want like a little sampler of MSQ so I don't fully forget where we were because we lost Tuesday's stream. And I don't want to fully forget everything. Up to me. Let's do like let's do like one. Let's do like one crumb of MSQ. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sorry, what is this saying goodbye? Whoa, whoa, wait! Why are we saying goodbye? Hold on. Maybe. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should. Holy shit, maybe we shouldn't do MSQ. Why is it called saying goodbye? I don't remember what we're doing. I'm scared. 
Oh my god. Let's start the Omega quest chain. Let's unlock the stuff. I have anxiety. There's a proud maple loving European Michigander, Mich Michigander, Australian. This new time schedule works well for me. I figured because like starting at noon, when I used to start at noon on Thursdays, it was a little too early for some, like especially like it felt like just like fully abandoning my NA gang. So I was like, okay, what can I do like right in the middle? 2 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Central feels perfect because then I'm still getting like people as they're uh, off work and then I'm getting EU at the end of their day. And it's like, I feel like it's a happy medium and I can get both of y'all. And then my EU gang doesn't have to stay up till fucking 4 a.m. when they're watching me stream. <laughs> oh, just been doing whatever pops in my head first. Got nothing this time. Oh, cutie fly. What should you name a cutie fly? Mm, ugly fly. Oh, got it. You're welcome. That one's for free. Next one will cost you. To be fair, Magnemite got rule 34. <laughs> it's really Muse's fault. Oh no, true, true. <laughs> fucking Magnemite. Oh, Tara just did the cocaine sampling hand gesture. I am deceit. Did I? Uh oh, what was it? Tell me not to do it again because I don't want to be sampling cocaine. <laughs> to, be right, to be fair, I think Magnemite's Rule 34 Awakening uh, for due to that one image with Jasmine. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> when you normally finish at 8 p.m. so you get two hours, Tara, please. It's okay. You get like a crumb. You get like a, a, like a little. I'm not doing the cocaine thing. I don't know what the cocaine thing is. I'm not doing it. Boogie Spook, what's up, Snowman? <gasps> Sir, thank the gods you're here. We need your help. In case you haven't heard, we've set up operations in... <laughs> we've set up operations in Rogger's Reach while we look for Omega. It's been decidedly slow going, I'm sorry to say, and we haven't seen the blasted thing since it disappeared during the battle with Shinryu. Which is not to say we haven't made any progress. We know, uh, we know now that Shinryu ended up in the Imperial's hands and that it was shackled with some very distinctive looking bindings when they found it. Am I on Gunbreaker right now? I am, this is embarrassing. Hi Subu, welcome in. Oh, oh Bonbon bon is cute. I wanted to name this Unfezant. Is that a Pokemon? That was in this Dynamax thing, bitch, because it took 30 attempts. <laughs> but because of the online, you weren't allowed to get fricked. What about Binch, B-I-N-C-H? Name it Binch instead. That's my workaround. You're having an emotional damage? Easy hugs. Easy hugs, Summon. Uh, obviously, only you know what could have done something like that, and the fact that the restraints were still functioning suggests it didn't shut down when the chief instructed it to either. Anyway, we were getting close to identifying Omega's whereabouts when we encountered what you might call a problem. Mayhap it would be best if you came to the workshop and saw for yourself. <clears throat> okay, but let me get off Gunbreaker. This is embarrassing for me. This is embarrassing. Red Magi! Okay, we're good. We're cooking. You named it Hater instead. <laughs> okay, Tara, the image I'm referring to is official, wait, official Pokemon artwork, I think with Jasmine, the Gen 2 Steel type gym leader, sitting on the head of a Magnemite, which led to people going, hey, wait a minute, doesn't Magnemite have a large, <laughs> doesn't Magnemite have a large screw on its head? Oh dear God, nothing is sacred. Just unusual, tired after work mode, enjoy wholesome striver, let's heck you go. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of M MSQ, but I'm terrified of the fact that it's called saying goodbye. Oh, this was for the funeral. Okay, maybe it's fine. Oh, oh, just the name of it was terrifying to me. Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do a crumb. Let's do a crumb of it, yeah? No, 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 let me finish off what this like leg of the Omega thing. And then we'll go do a crumb of MSQ and then we'll come back to this. I just got terrified. I was like, why is it called saying goodbye? And I totally forgot that we did a funeral like right at the end of the last stream. Mm -hmm. And here I thought you were talking like Jasmine from like Aladdin Jolly. I thought there was like a crossover of the century in the Rule 34 land. Surprised? Aye, so were we. Uh, he's been brought in as consultant, believe it or not. Oh my god, we get Nero! Hang on! Wait, nobody told- I mean, I should have, like, realized that if we do Omega stuff, we're gonna be dealing with Sid, which means we're gonna be dealing with Nero! It's been so long since we saw Nero! <laughs> I just looked it up at the fact that Magnemite is sweat- Well, Echo! Obviously, Magnemite is sweating because Jasmine's heavy and being an inconsiderate Pokemon trainer by sitting on it. It is the boy. I love I love him so much and I hate him so much. He's perfect. 
Surprise. Uh, I so were we. He's been brought in because consultant, believe it or not. How many times do I have to tell you? You will play no part in this investigation. Your motives were dubious, dubious, dubious from the first, and nothing you've done since has served to make them any clearer. Out of necessity, I agreed to take part in Omega's activation, but that will be the extent of our cooperation. <laughs> it's fucking grin, dude. It's fucking grin. Passing judgment without due consideration, openly disparaging colleagues, not very chiefly of you, chief. I'll have you know I'm sensitive. I'm a sensitive new recruit who thrives on encouragement. <laughs> then I trust you'll thrive elsewhere when I encourage you to piss off. I will not have him on our roster, Jesse. Never mind anywhere near our work. His employment is to be terminated, effective immediately. The thing is, Chief, we've already paid him in full, and it wasn't exactly a pittance either. Four fifths of what you get was the agreement. Wait, four fifths? Holy shit! Just think of throwing out some early Christmas money for the new Microsoft Surface Pro 9? Me, I tee me like new toys! Nero's just so cool. I love Nero. I hate him so much, but I love I love him so much because I hate him so much. He's a, he's a character that I love to hate. The water at my apartment stopped working right after I took it home. <laughs> Fucking rest in peace, Bannikin. So how did Bannikin die? Uh, stank. Just pure stank. Uh, look, whatever disagreements you might have had in the past, the fact is, we could do with uh, his expertise now. Let him earn his keep at the very least. I don't believe this. You claim my wholly justified ventures represent an unsustainable risk to the ironworks, and then pay him a sultan's ransom in advance? Him? Give me strength. This has been the way of it for a while now, on account of which we've had to put the investigation on hold. Oh, let's investigate by ourselves. Let me know how it goes. I'm leaving. No, let's investigate by ourselves. Best sunglasses in game are from Nero. You can't hate them, right? They're so good. They're so good. They're auction hostable, right? Or mar not auction house, market boardable, right? I think I saw them on there. Or at least something that looks like them. Tisk tisk. As much as I admire your enthusiasm, hero, you will not get very far without some brains to compliment your admirable brawn. Happily, I am blessed with a surfeit of the former. From this moment forth, you'll be my chaperone. With the realm's savior watching my every move, I couldn't possibly make any mischief, which would surely uh, serve to allay my employer's concerns. Oh, they're from PvP? Oh, Mega Raids! Yes, Neo! I'm so excited that we get to see more Nero. <laughs> I forgot that Nero joined like, the Ironworks, so I'm like, let's fucking go. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Forgive me, sir. It was not my intent to embroil you, embroil you in this mess. I didn't even know you were here. Seeing as you are, though, I cannot deny that I would be glad to have you on board. The fact is, we are no closer to understanding the true extent of Omega's powers, and even if it was damaged during its encounter with Shinryu, it seems highly doubtful that we'll be able to disable it until... Uh, disable it unrated? Question mark? We've got as far as identifying its likely resting place, but I, for one, would feel a lot more confident about surveying the area with you around the uh, around to deal with any unexpected surprises. Might I persuade you to lend us a hand once more, old friend? I was about to go do it myself, so sure. Yeah, we'll do it. Then it's settled. Ch Chief, we have a problem. The etheric concentration levels at the Yawn are soaring. Our readings doubled from one moment to the next, and by the time we went to check them, they doubled again. What? But that could only mean... Evacuate the site. I shall handle this matter personally. Oh, of course, Neo. Of course, of course. Anyone that wants to join the Omega Raids is welcome to. Biggs, Wedge, sir, I need you with me at the Yawn, to the south of here. That's where we believe Omega came to rest. Jesse, hold the fort while I'm gone, and if possible, continue surveillance from a safe distance. Alright, Chief, watch yourself out there. This is your favorite stuff to run? People said the Omega Raids were really good, which is why I wanted to stop and do them. Love my gay engineer dad's taking us on an adventure. Goals of yes. <laughs> oh. They're only craftable with two specific glasses you get with, uh, you get with getting lucky on EG. Oh, on treasure maps, got you. So they are quite expensive to buy then, eh? Do you know what I really want, but they're really expensive? 
and I'm kind of thinking I might want to save up for an apartment. Like I have a million gil right now. Um, what what are they called? Uh, something calf something. It's like there's like a whole set of it that's like regular streetwear, and there's like a backwards cap, and then there's like little casual shoes and stuff. But I think they're all like something calf. I can't think of it. Calfkin, calfkin, calfskin. <laughs> we got there. Izagi, thank you. Yes, calf calf skin set. Yes, yes, yes. But they're all like 400,000, 500,000 like a piece. Backwards cap is from a different set. Is it expensive? Backwards cap is Mog Station. All right. All right, I'm going to have to spend money. It's it's happening. It's finally happening. I'm going to have to make some Mog purchases. <laughs> I spend all my time these days running old content unsynced for glams and mounts. You have reached the true end game, Neo. You have reached the true, true end game. What server? Adamantoy's Ether. It's on any server. It's a forwards cap for calfskin, but the backwards is something else. Got it. On my way. <laughs> Am I to stay and mind the shop too? Oh no, I'm not letting you out of my sight. But before you fill the room with maniacal laughter, I want you to remember something. When you collected your inexplicably lavish fee, the Ironworks Creed became your creed. That's freedom through technology, in case you've forgotten, not supremacy through elegant ingenuity. Breach this contract and I will have my pawns of flesh. Pawns? Is that the word for pound? <laughs> How many yams is in a pawns? Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. To the yon! That's their word for pound! Oh god. Wait, who's this? <gasps> Jolly! Your paladin glam looks so cute! I saw it for half a second, but it's so cute! Hey, yo, EU gang! I am heard! Hi, Tune! Tune, this is my new time slot. 2 to 8 central. So whatever whatever time it is, 30 minutes ago, that's my new start time. Um, what am I doing? Help me. Oh, okay. Do I have flying in here yet? Oh god damn it! <gasps> my stomach. <sighs> Falling off of high heights will never not make my stomach turn in video games. Every single time it happens, I wanna throw up. <sighs> Server one more time, scrollboy. Adamantoys, ether. I have a letter. I just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Hi, hike. Hike. I I want you to know um, that I have thoroughly, slightly, kind of, maybe a little bit. Um. <gasps> one second. One second. One second. I literally just sent somebody a TikTok about this because I thought it was funny, and I forgot that this was the content we were literally doing. Hang on, let me open this up. Can I open this up in a browser? Can I open this up in a browser? Please. Did I like it on TikTok? Give me one second. This is so important. This is literally the most important. Give me a moment. TikTok, you better not autoplay videos in my face. You're gonna do it. I can feel it. Bro, why is my TikTok logged out? I have to give up. I have to give up. I've done Eureka. I've done a little bit of Eureka. I have first stage. I love it when I find people that actually do content. Eureka is my favorite in the game. Eureka has been really fun. The Magia board was super confusing at first, but like players inside Eureka were so helpful. No, don't give up. I ha like, fuck. I don't know how to log into my TikTok. It's been so long. Can I use QR code? Or what did I sign up with originally? Bro, why did my TikTok log itself out? <laughs> I don't know what you're giving up, but no! <laughs> it's the purple drink! <laughs> pink sauce! Not the pink sauce! Oh my god! <laughs> Watching a thing at the moment of ketchup and butt? Absolutely. <sighs> Enjoy the forbidden soup! <laughs> By the way, the sword and shield has a very minor glow effect, which changes when died. That's so cool, Jolly! Not the pink sauce so cursed. Dude, the pink sauce lore is the deepest lore. I wish I could open this in a browser. Maybe I can. Oh, have you seen much? Hang on. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. 
How can I fucking share this with you guys? I have an idea. I actually legit have an idea. Because I think I liked it on, on mobile. Here come the hurricane, bitch. Here come the hurricane, bitch. Did I seriously not like it? Am I a psychopath? I didn't like it. I did like it. Okay, 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 okay. Copy link. Hold on. Hold on. We have the technology. Copy link. Post link to you. You are now the scapegoat for this link. Thank you. And then we open link here. Oh my god. He's a genius. He's a technological genius. Tom, have you seen my copy? All right. We're perfect. We're ready. We're ready. It's gonna be a little small for you guys. I apologize. But we got it. We got there. Don't you DM me. It's too bad. I DM'd you. This is a certified ADD moment. It absolutely is. Here it is. I found it. I found, I was literally laughing at this today, question mark. And then I didn't realize it was the same hole. So I had to pull this up. Here we go. Tom, have you seen my copy of the greatest movie of all time? 17 again? Yeah. Pretty sure I fell in the hole. What hole? Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? There's a hole. Uh, yeah, I can see that. What's it doing there? Well, I woke up this morning. And there was a hole. What are you going to do about it? I put a rug over it. Yeah, it fell in the hole. Should we call the police or something? <laughs> oh yeah, I called the police, yeah. Well, where are they? They're in the hole. <laughs> where is your girlfriend? Tom, where <laughs> is your girlfriend? She's at work. Oh. Where's she work? In the hole. <laughs> God! <laughs> How deep even is this thing? It's so good. <laughs> That was my favorite mug. Now it's in the hole. <laughs> I didn't realize this was the hole that they were talking about. So when I walked up and saw this, I was like, hell fucking yeah, dude. <laughs> Perfect. Hello. We're back. <laughs> Incredible. 10 out of 10. I love, I don't know if you guys could see it because you're like looking through, through browser through browser, but inside the hole every time was like Nero's dead floating body and then like Biggs and Wedge's dead floating body. You have arrived! Wait, which one? This one is you? Let me inspect. Let me inspect. This is very important. <gasps> Wait, what is that hat? Wait, what even class are you? What is this hat? What is this hat? Oh, don't tell me. Tricorn of aiming! I'm upset. This hat is fantastic. This hat is fantastic. No, the whole glam is fantastic. Get in the hole! Get in the hole! I can't have your hat. Get in the hole. <laughs> Oh, oh, we got the Ishtola. We got the Ishtola robes. Is this white mage or is this red mage? Oh, the edgelord glam. What is that fucking helmet? Hello? <laughs> this helmet's so good. Oh, what was I gonna say before the TikTok fiasco? Hike, I, I love Destiny 2. I'm having a lot of fun with it now. I've been playing around with uh, builds and stuff in Destiny 2. It's fun. It's fun game. I like it. It's kind. Of, it's kind of become an off-stream problem and addiction. Oh. That helmet went full Halo sword. Oh my god, it did! Seriously, what is this helmet? Hang on, Jolly. I need to admire your your paladin glam because it's very cute. Blue gold. Okay. Did you do this on purpose? Because you know blue gold is my fucking weakness. If I ever rebrand you guys, bet that it's probably gonna be like blue and orange, blue and yellow, blue and gold aesthetic. If I ever rebrand for my rainbows. Oh, a sword is amazing. True, hike, true. Odin helmet. Odin helmet. How come I've never seen anyone using it before? <laughs> it's so much. Like, it's so extra. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Gossip. Stop flexing that emote in front of me. You know I don't have it. Oh. All right, get in the hole. Get in the hole. The Gordian Sword. It's a very nice sword. Wait, it flashes? Oh, it glow. It glow a little bit. Little flashy boy. Oops, wrong button. Dude. Neo doing the true, the most endgame with these glams, though. 
Used to be Femro, and with this helmet, it was literally 15 feet tall. What did you switch to now? Are you here, or are you Mikote? Did you have years? I don't remember. Are you a Thylander? Wait, are you a Thylander? Oh, <gasps> you're a Thylander. Hello, hello, hello. I am looking respectfully. <laughs> respectfully, I am looking. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do a thing. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Probably since Odin stuff was 2.2.0 gear. So like people just haven't gone back to do it or what? Change the weapon color? What? Why can it? Why? How? You said something about it and then I forgot. Funny you said that, check out my adventure plate. Yeah. Are you <laughs> Are you looking respectfully? Only respectfully. <laughs> Literally only respectfully. <laughs> the Thylander players know. They do. How do you change weapon color? Is that just unique to that weapon? Dude, I wish I could dye the glow on this. That's so cool. That's such a cool sword. Oh, and the shield can do it too. That is so hecking cool. It's the only one resembling uh, Sir Aymeric's sword as far as I know. Is it like Mog or what is it? It's not super convenient. It's and it's super old and everyone has ADOS for new stuff. A, a alternate design of sexiness. What does ADOS stand for? <laughs> Gordian is Alex. Oh, I thought you were saying Gordian as in like guardian, but with an O. Like I thought you were being cheeky. <laughs> I thought you guys were being cheeky when you said Gordian. <laughs> Attention deficit. Ooh, shiny. Yeah. It me. It me. Okay, ADOS. Nobody wants to do old stuff because, ooh, shiny. This is the barner that goes with the sword. Oh, give me one second. I'm cutscene. What in the seven hells is going on here? It's a hole. A veritable sea of condensed ether. Our precious has been busy. A hello, golem? Hmm, what villainy is this? <gasps> I forgot your name. Mid, mid, Midgard, no. Fafnir, no. Vidofnir, I don't remember. Dragon, friend. Oh, Midgarsimer, I was right. I was right the first time. <laughs> Tension deficit, ooh, shiny, added to my memory collection of useful shorts. Yup, yup. That could be described as my entire, like, first half of my stream so far. It's just, <laughs> ooh, shiny. <laughs> Remember when we were going to do a crumb of MSQ and now we're just in Omega Raids? Chose the blue because it fits with the paladin theme. It make it pulls the whole glam, like, just like, it's good, Jolly. It looks great. Midgar Zolom. In slumber, sweet, have I lain since mine offspring's war with man did end. Yet I could not choose but stir at this abhorrent stench. Have care, mortal, for within this great hollow lieth Omega. So, wait, 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 hold up. Hold up. Dragon War ended. Is Midgarsimer? Living, hold on, let me rephrase this. Sleeping in my brain hole for free? This fucker not paying rent? Excuse? Excuse you? Like, where is he even staying? Basically, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Call him Midi, it's much easier to remember. It's also cuter. Long have we known one another. Our history spanneth eons and stars. What the? Little baby chocobo? Oh gods, what's happening? And a serpent? What is this little baby chocobo? Hi, buddy. 
Run, little buddy. Oh my God, literally intervene, help him. <laughs> Chief, get out of there. Eh? Eh, you, you're not dead. Apparently not. It passed through me as if it were some sort of illusion. <laughs> that servant is Alteroid, aka Alt-Right. <laughs> full party min item level. If we have enough people like on right now, Jolly, we'll do full party min item level, 100%. And he screwed up your blessing of light, remember? Well, okay, I can at least defend Midi in that sense because they took away our blessing of light so that we could prove that we didn't need it and then we could have it back. It's like the whole OG Demon Souls thing where, or is it Dark Souls? I don't remember which game it does, but one of them takes, you die in the tutorial and then it takes half of your health bar away and then you only get that health bar back after you've fought hard enough and prove that you don't need the full health bar. Then you can have it back. That's basically what they did with our Blessing of Light. So I don't blame Midi for that. Cause he's like, well, you just got it, but are you worthy of it? And then we proved we were worthy. So I understand, I understand his test. He only follow. Interested in my adventure. He's good adventure buddy, even though he's living rent free in my brain. Motherfucker. Omega is a weapon wrought in a place beyond the reach of thy kind, capable of weaving ether into life. That serpent is yet unfinished, but doubt not that it will become a corporeal threat ere long. Not the alt right. Okay, but what's the deal with the chocobo? I have more questions about Baby Chocobo. Well, whatever it is, it's gone. Well, this peculiar thing remains. Chocobo friend! Hello. Please be friend. It's friend shaped. It's gonna be friend, right? Quit? It looks like a Chocobo. And Quez like a Chocobo. I'm thinking it's probably a Chocobo? He's so cute. He's not peculiar. He's adorable. <laughs> Chocobo, good boy. Oh no, the alt-right! The alt-right has arrived. Send help. Send help, friends. Hello, Chocobo. Look at this little bean. Look at this little bean. I want to pet it. I want to pet the bean. I will pet you. I will pet you, small bean. Wait, it's- wait, it's just the same size as me? It's not that small? It's kind of, wait, it's kind of terrifying? You have two to three of the Omega Mounts, and yeah, they're from Savage. Oof. Fascinating. Should we dissect it in the name of science? No, Nero! No dissections! What the fuck, Nero? Small chocobo my size? <gasps> I need it. I want it. You just recently got all three. Were you soloing them? Can you solo them? Unsynced? Level 70? Raid? Probably not, right? You need at least a small group. I have no idea what it is, but it doesn't seem to pose any immediate threat. You heard him Que, didn't you? He's a chocobo, I'm sure of it. It looks like a chocobo in the same way a mammoth looks like a person, if you know what I mean. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> So like full party Omega Raid Savage Mount Farm. That's what people do? Can easily do Savage Unsynced with a full party of 90s and disregard mechanics, I see. The Alex ones can be duoed. Not the Savage for soloing, really? One of the hardest fights in the game, damn. So full party 90s and then disregard, got you. Damn, okay. So do people frequently get together to farm mounts then? Queen? Hmm, the way it quiz isn't unlike a chocobo, but it looks like a stuffed doll to me. It's definitely a chocobo, trust me on this. The ones we Lollafells ride are about this size, aren't they? <laughs> I suppose. I uh, alright, let's go with chocobo for now. Dude, straight up. It looks like a chocobo design from like a different Final Fantasy game. Savage is hard. That's exciting. 
You can sometimes find parties in Party Finder for them. Usually easier just to grab seven friends, gotcha. Yeah, just, just simply... <laughs> Just simply have seven friends, no problem. <laughs> the final Omega Savage will wipe entire parties of unsync 90s, trust me. Wow. You run mountain glam farming parties all the time? Got you. It's from Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. The mistress's blessing extended not unto this creature's soul, then. Very well. As this matter concerneth Omega, I shall speak with it in thy stead. Midi's gonna translate for us. Uh, sir, aren't you gonna introduce us to your knowledgeable little dragon friend? <laughs> what? The Midgarsimer? Who fought and fell at the Battle of Silver Tier Skies? And here I was, content to be traveling in the company of just one legend. Without wishing to offend you, hero, the father of dragons does have something you do not, that being relevant knowledge. There is much we could learn from him. Little and less is known about Omega's origin. It first appeared in records dating back to the Third Astral Era, before the Allegan Empire reached its zenith, and said records had but the one thing to say, Omega activation successful. In the centuries that followed, the Allegans enjoyed rapid technology development, but there was nary a further mention of Omega until its capture of Bahamut. Bahamut? Why do I keep saying it weird? <laughs> Use your strummer privilege, Sarah. I always feel dirty doing it. Unless we're like doing fun content on stream. If we're like farming for something, it feels dirty. You have plenty of people willing to help. Yeah, more than willing to help with Glam and Mount Rhodes. Stop, stop. The privilege is too real. Its existence is a mystery among mysteries, a tale among tales. Twas always assumed that the Alligans built it, and I had no reason to believe otherwise. But now Midgarsimer tells us that it's not even of our world. Just so, it haileth from another star. More than that, I will not say. Because that would have been spoilers for, for, uh, for Shadowbringers, right? <laughs> there goes wife, hello, welcome in. I'm willing to help because it would help me too. Wow, selfish. Wow, selfish, Dolly. I have spoken with this being. It telleth of a strange plane beyond this hollow, wherein it did reside from the moment of its creation. For reasons unknown, it was ordered to fight, yet being weak, it chose flight instead, and thus crossed over unto this world. Ordered to fight? By Omega? Why in the seven hells would it do that? To put its creation to the proof. If you would know more, go forth and look upon the f truth with your own eyes. Wait, you're saying we should jump in? We're in the hole. We're getting in the hole. It's literally all I do these days. I'll just start uh, Party Finder asking if anybody needs help running something or glad. Dude, that's so fun though. That's so fun. That's like when, uh, like I have a friend who, like I love Monster Hunter, but they love Monster Hunter arguably even more. And they will literally just go um, to the SOS system in, in Monster Hunter and just help low people with whatever they're doing. And that's that's their fun. And that's basically what you're doing in this game. You have naught to fear from the fa from the fall. The hollow hath become a portal into Omega's domain. Once there, this being shall guide you. Servant of Hydaelyn, fate bindeth me to Omega. If it be thine intent to pursue it, I shall lend thee my strength. Interesting. Oh! Midi's blessing? Sir, I am by def definition either a symbiote or a parasite. I choose the route of symbiote. So, you uh, really can show us around inside the hole, can you? Wee wee! It's cute and it's friend shaped. Wait, was, why was I unable to join party? What happened? I want to wrap. But actually, what? How big is my co chocobo compared to this? Oh my god, it's only barely bigger. I want this one. I want this one as mount. How can I pay money to have this one as my mount? This is the armor that goes with Ketsu's Gordian weapons. Oh, even that armor is really nice. Hang on, this is way easier to do it this way. 
Yeah, even this is really nice. Man, they put everything into their designs. It's very old school Final Fantasy. Yes, it is. Heavily armored. You don't see a lot of players heavily armored these days. So whenever I see a glam that's like really like extra like that, I like it a lot. Whew. The armor I had on was the last chess, last set chess piece. Last set meaning from Shadowbringers or from Endwalker? Alexandrian male of fending. Oh, the last Alex. Ah, I see. Alex stuff. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Yours is from the first. Ah, I see. Okay. Have I seen your adventure plate on this one, Jolly? Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. You have the barista. Love it. Why are we here? Just a buffer. It goes Gordian, Maiden, Alexandrian. Got you. Okay. Your warrior also has the last Alex warrior weapon. So wait, I don't know if you guys answered. Are there multiple weapons that allow you to dye them? Or is it just a very specific set few that allow you to apply dyes? Tons. Not me going to check my Eureka weapon real quick. Does it do anything to it? <gasps> I didn't know that I could die this. Oh my God. Level 80 class weapons is dieable. Level 60 tombstones are dieable. What? I am shook. Hang on, what color do I want this blade to be? Bro! Although it looks kind of good red. I'm, I need more dyes. <laughs> I'm kind of shooketh. Cause like even the crystal changes color with the dye, right? Like not deeply so, but a little bit. Oh my God, I didn't even know you could fucking dye weapons. I'm shook. Even relic weapons, as you can see, are dieable. Wow. You fully finished your scholar weapon. Congrats! Dude, it looks so nice. I need to keep working on Eureka in my spare time. Picking up Destiny 2 was not good for my spare time. But Spes doesn't play Final Fantasy XIV, so if Spes is like, if it's just me and Spes around, then I, I wanted something to play with him, so. Alas, it's Destiny 2. Next is Dragoon. That one you only just started, right? Well, I doubt any of us imagined things would come to this, but the father of dragons has given his, uh, given his assurance. Let us take our investigation into the on. I have already apprised Jessie of our intent and instructed her to have our engineers on standby. Since we have no way of knowing what awaits us in there, I need you to be ready for anything. Are you? Yes, I am. Boo! Bye, friends! D2 is basically the only game my husband plays other than casual mobile games. Well, Spess loves shooters, and I don't love shooters unless they're class-based, which Destiny is. So it's like... It's been really good. It's been really good for us just to dick around uh, and play it in our spare time. And just shoot things. Just kill things. Low brain effort. Low effort effort. <laughs> While still being challenging and fun. All my problems would be solved if you just played Final Fantasy, but... You played 14 with your boyfriend! Uh, he's a femro. Oh my god. When is he going to make the switch to Thylander? What? Why am I so high up? What's wrong with me? Am, am I on a different plane of existence? Why is Wedge high up? <laughs> Why, what is happening here? I still want to make the switch to Bun Boy. Oh great, you're in purgatory, ditch. <laughs> I still want to make the switch to Bun Boy, but I've resolved to stay Lalafell until I see the Lalafell only zone, like towards the end of this X pack that I've been told about. Uh, and then I'll probably switch to Bun Boy. Because I made a very cute Bun Boy and I want to be a cute Bun Boy. 
Uh, I need some fantasy or sci-fi in my shooters. Modern realistic. <gasps> Izagi, same. Literally same. Modern realistic shooters, so uninteresting. Yep. Also don't like PvP only stuff. They uh so in Destiny 2 they have that um you're mostly playing PvE, but then you can like invade the other team and fuck with them. I like that one. We did that a couple times. And I like that one. I can't remember. Cr cr Gambit? Gambit? Gambit, yeah. If I had someone to chat with while doing it, I would probably find Eureka a lot more fun. Dude, I was just watching. Do you wanna know what I was doing when I was doing Eureka? I literally had streams open, like one to two. Like I always like split up a couple on my on my second monitor here. I just had streams open and I was just vibing and killing things. Eureka's really fun, but I like that kind of like, just kill, just kill. <laughs> I like those. Both did at the same time actually, but he missed his main girl. Whereas you're kind of falling for your OG character. Oh, are you missing your femro or was Thailander your OG? Oh, you, you both fanted to Thailander. I see, I see. I hate it, but more because the blueberries we get are so bad. I'll end up with a Fantasia, so I considered turning my bun boy into a bun girl for fun. Just in a silly, goofy mood, Jolly, or what? What? What is this place? And what's wrong with us? I can't... I can see straight through me. Except not you, which is interesting. Welcome home, Alpha. Welcome, mortals. Hello? It's giving reboot. Oh my god, it's giving reboot. <laughs> it, wait, was reboot a Canadian show? Fuck. It might have been only a Canadian show. You guys might not know what reboot is. Fuck, dude. This is giving mad reboot vibes, though. Mike the TV, I think his name was. Mike! Ah. <sighs> You were originally Thylander. Switched when you met Moonbrita. Oh my god, don't say Moonbrita in my chat room, I'll cry. That was about two years and stayed since. Got you. I had a, you had a nightmare like this? Oh no. Made in Canada? But it was shown in the US! I'm so glad you guys got Reboot. Reboot was so good. With streams, I enjoy interacting in streams, so I can't... Ah, uh, see, but I'm such a heavy lurker, Jolly. If you ever see me in, in another stream, I'll say like a couple things and then I'll go like dormant for like an hour and a half and then I'll say more things and then go dormant for like an hour and a half. People are always like, oh, you woke up Tara. But it's like, I'm there the whole time. I'm just not like an active chatter. <laughs> oh. You know what reboot is? Uh, you had hexadecimal as your slack image for a while. Dude, hex? Hex is the, the witch, right? Hang on. I'm going off on a tangent here really quickly. I might have to rewatch all of Reboot. Hexadecimal. Reboot. Ba ba bum. Yes. Dude, I loved Hex. Hex is such a good character. So good. So good. Yeah, she's the villain. Well, I mean, spoilers. Not entirely. Not entirely if you watch enough Reboot. Reboot was the anime series, I? No, uh, it was like 3D animated. It was like 3D rendered. Same though, same. Muffin! Muffin, I don't think I said a proper hello to you. Hi, Muffin. How you doing? Welcome in. Hex was the sister of Mega Megabyte, yeah. Um, I am Omega. This is Omega, the TV screen. Mike the TV is Omega. Hang on. He was called Mike the TV, right? I just need everyone to see it so that it's in you guys' Yeah, there it is. So that it's in you guys' mind the whole time we're interacting with Omega, all right? Mike the TV. I am Omega. <laughs> Mike! Sorry. <laughs> Three tangents for one line of dialogue. Listen. Listen, Golsev. You go to you go to bench. It's all good. I'm good. I have cake. Hell yeah. Bob and Fong and the Mermaid Girl. God, I miss that show. Me too, Neo. Me too. Hi, Becky! I'm Omega and I've waited for your coming. I communicate with you now via one of my monitors. Through Mike the TV. Who just hydrated me after I drank water? Jolly, thank you. You stand in the rift between dimensions, where a vital experiment is presently in progress. Your participation is appreciated. Please indicate your consent. Blip. Experiment? If you want our participation, you'll have to tell us a little more about more than that. At least it's asking for consent. Sloppy! Ah! We're disappearing! 
non-participating entities will be summarily erased. Please indicate your consent. Wait, this is, hang on. Hang on a minute. This isn't what consent is, Omega. Omega, hang on. We need to have a long conversation about what consent really means. Because this is not consent. Forcing our consent is not me giving consent. <laughs> I thought Omega was like a good Dom, but no. The whole part when they're on the dark web pirate ship. Yo, my god, Neo, unlocking core memories for me. I miss you, Tara. Hope you're feeling better. I am, Becky. That headache was disgusting. It was disgusting. I haven't had a headache like that where, like, I'm borderline... So sometimes I get headaches so bad where it feels like I'm going to vomit, and that was that on Tuesday. Excuse me, we are not deleting people. We are, though, Becky. We are. Omega is a bad dom for real, for real. To Omega, consent is only given to the strong. It seems we can't exist here without Omega's leave. I think it's fairly clear what we have to do, don't you? Consent. Chocobo, what should we do? I want to ask the Chocobo. It's going to say, quit. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> I'm glad I asked the Chocobo what to do. You are provisionally assigned to the Alpha Group. I'm glad we asked the Chocobo. Those are chronic migraines here? Yeah, they're fun. Love them. They're great. What the? Oh no. We've gone hypothetical, haven't we? Theoretical? I don't know. It's all bits and bobs over here. Wait, it's Tron? Interdimensional Rift? It's Tron? We've entered Tron? Or I could just stick with the theme and say we've entered Reboot. It looks like some manner of tower or egg. Have I played? No, I haven't, Neo. Actually, what my plan is, I think, like, content-wise on, on the stream, is whenever I finish 14, go and revisit every single other Final Fantasy game that I have not played. The aim of the experiment is to determine the mightiest being in creation. To that end, 89 candidates have been selected and recreated. They are grouped by dimension, matched by strength, and pitted against one another. So wait, 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 wait. That means this little chocobo friend was pitted up against that dragon because they're matched off of strength. Hello? That's wild. You got infected off a of scratch? That's Zomboid. That's Project Zomboid, Izagi. No, Terry, we're going digital. If you get that reference, I love you. Di 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 Digimon. I don't think it was Digimon, but that's where my brain took it. The reason I asked is this quest line is chock full of classic references. So that's been my logic, Neo, is we go through all this and then I have reverse nostalgia. Y'all like true Final Fantasy fans that played a lot of the older games and then played 14, get all the nostalgia in the proper way. I'll get it reverse <laughs> because I've already experienced it in 14. Uh, that which you identify as a chocobo is subject alpha and you have been assigned to its group. The this assignation, I've never seen that word before, is tentative. However, pending an assessment of your fitness to serve as fully fledged test subjects, your combat capabilities will be evaluated shortly. Combat capabilities? You mean you want us to fight? Affirmative. A course shall be constructed for this purpose, through which you must attempt to fight your way. Your suitably, uh, suitability will be confirmed upon reaching the Delta Scape test world beyond. So this is what the internet looks like. To an extent, you continue the reference in a way I did not expect. Get fricked, Jolly. Get fricked. I'm an OG Final Fantasy stan, and this quest line is literally what got you to play this game in the first place. Saw the bosses about stroked out. That's so cool. Please note, however, that only entities with existential... Existential author authorization? Authorization. Existential authorization may interact with objects in the rift. Of your number, only Alpha has this at present. Cute chocobo boy. 
Before you engage in combat, said authorization must be temporarily transferred to you. Blip, bloop. Not Nero's silent laughter, dude. Ha! An invitation from Omega itself. Not even I could have foreseen this. We are accepting it, of course. It's preferable to summary erasure, as I'm sure you'll agree. Alpha, was it? My colleagues and I are minded to participate in Omega's experiment. Will you transfer your authorization to us? Dude, Alpha is so cute. Is there an Alpha mini or minion or an Alpha mount? Is there anything Alpha that I can have? I'll be so sad if, if no, but also I'll understand. Beep, existential. Authorization transferred. Subjects ready to engage. Please begin at your convenience and proceed as directed. Smiley face. Minion! I need alpha. I need to alpha tiny. There's a wind up alpha. Okay, life complete. Hello? No telling what awaits. Stay sharp. Um, where do we go? Would help if there was a path. Hmm, I think this floor moves. Let's all gather at the center. Oh. Aha! Let the fun begin. Oh! Okay. It's different to the ones earlier. Yeah, this one's red. Take the lead, sir. We'll follow. Level checker? Hi! Yeah. What the? F what do you want? What is it? What is this? What do you want from me? I suspect we're about to find out. No good. It's protected by some kind of barrier. Oh, barriers are my specialty. I'll have this down before you know it. And a housing tabletop item! Chief, something's happening with the cube. It go boom? I think it's gonna go boom. Oh! Oh, so it changes into a life form and a hostile one at that. We'll see to the creature. Wedge, keep at the barrier. Biggs, watch his back. Ketchup flavored Pringles. I mean, ketchup flavored chips in general are kind of mid. They're definitely like my, I'm trying to think in, ter in terms of like chip flavors. They're like my fourth or fifth pick. They're definitely not like, I'm not like, oh hell yeah. We need ketchup chips at this little shindig here. So that doesn't surprise me that ketchup Pringles would be kind of sucky. The trick is to reverse the barrier's energy current. Thimple. Well done, Wedge. That leaves just the enemy. Where did Wedge pull out this whole little doohickey? They just don't work as a solo flavor. Yeah, no. Just wanted to pop in for a bit before I go to the store. I'll be back later. Have fun, guys. Becky, love you. Be safe at store, okay? Let me do Becky. Some kind of teleporter? Looks like we're going through. I 
Someone's eager. Come on, let's follow. Let me click it. My matter! It's being relocated! Oh, you're Red Mage, nice! I'm a tank queen, but, uh, love Red Mage so much. You can literally do anything but tank. I love Red Mage. My class journey so far in 14 has been Bard, then Machinist, then Summoner, and then Red Mage forever, because I love Red Mage. But I've also picked up Sage, Reaper, and Gunbreaker in my off time. Red Mage is literally my favorite aesthetic of class. Mixing magic and melee together is chef's kiss. Oh, I should probably be AoEing these down. Red Mage confuses me with all them starter skills. Need time <laughs> to even make it through quest one. It does give you a lot of abilities, but because half of them are white magic and half of them are black magic, I don't know. The class was pretty, I was more confused picking up Reaper than I was picking up Red Mage. Cause the class like makes sense. You mix, you mix using your black spells and your white spells. And then you build up your melee, and then you use your melee. I don't know, it makes sense. It's nice. But they do have a lot of abilities right out of the gate when you first pick them up. You know, no hesitation. Well, of course, we're mortal. Nero's got a point. We don't got time to hesitate. Neo, that actually happened. So we did, um, we did Shinryu synced. Um, how long ago was that? A couple weeks ago? We did Shinryu synced and ver raising. I think I ver raised like six people and we won. And it felt really good. It felt really, really, really good. Super easily confused cowboy. I'm usually easily, easily confused, but I, I think there's a lot of truth to if a class just clicks for you. Like if the class mechanics just make sense to you personally, then you'll do well with the class. And that's how I feel about Red Mage. I sense a formidable presence. Whoa, behemoth! A behemoth? We're gonna have to roll up our sleeves. Oh, I've got I'm got hit by that for sure. Meteor, but wait, there's nothing to hide behind. Oh, I got petrified. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, boy. Oh, no, we're okay. No, petrified. Stop this. Do, do, do. It's like a whole castle in that egg. Huh. That's our goal, the Delta Escape. If I'm not mistaken, what do you think is waiting for us in there? Omega said that it groups subjects by dimension. 
If the creatures we fought on the way were merely intended to separate the wheat from the chaff, it would seem certain that far greater challenges await inside these egg-like objects, our fellow test subjects most like. But I'm not certain what to make of that castle. Could it somehow be connected to the subjects? Quit. Alpha? But hold on a moment. Shouldn't either one of us... <laughs> shouldn't either one or the other of us be translucent? Blip. Subjects confirmed to have arrived at the Deltascape. Analysis complete. Congratulations, you are approved for participation. Your strength places you in the self-same tier as Alpha, the feeblest and farthest removed from myself. Nonetheless, you are now fully fledged test subjects. Welcome, weakest of challengers. As corporeal life forms, you need not undergo development within a test world. Instead, you may use this space freely. Not quite what I would have chosen, but one must make do. Speaking of which, what is it that we're supposed to do exactly? You are to enter the Delta Scape and defeat all test subjects within. Please note, however, that strength in numbers will not be acknowledged. There is a strict limit upon how many entities may participate in combat. Only a small party may have existential authorization transferred from Alpha. Good luck, Blip. So the eggs do contain our fellow test subjects, just as I predicted, eh, hey, Garland? The last insane Omega Savage raid uh, you were telling me about, you went Red Mage. It was essentially just party support, rezzing the healers when they bit the dust or tanks. Damn! Red Mage is so cool, dude. Before we turn our thoughts to the Delta Scape, I suggest we set up a base of operations here. I just love that Red Mage has the power to completely save a run without changing any any bit of their core kit because of the strength of dual cast. Got a little base set up here. <gasps> Alpha, what do you have to say for yourself? Quit. That makes sense. Nero, what do you have to say for yourself? Quite impressive for an improvised arrangement, even though I do say so myself. Now then, let us see what we can learn from our host's many monitors. It's somewhat cobbled together, but this should suffice as a base of operations. Take heart, old friend. Though every step we take seems to raise more questions, we will wade through this mire of mysteries eventually. Of that I have no doubt. Into the Delta Scape. It looks like Mario Kingdom. Looks like Peach's Castle. Right then, what to do next? We know that Omega is conducting tests to determine the strongest being, but we do, uh, but we do not know its ultimate purpose, nor even its exact whereabouts. Plainly, however, it is within Omega's power to curtail our stay here, whensoever it chooses. Accordingly, we have little choice but to proceed as bidden and defeat the test subjects waiting in the Delta Scape. Well, Alpha certainly seems keen, though it might be best if you left the fighting to others, little one. That is, of course, assuming others are willing. What say you, old friend? Am willing. This promises to be a most entertaining, entertaining, entertaining foray, and I would not dream of missing any part of it. You may rely on me to provide you with the remote support. With commendable foresight, I took the liberty of borrowing the various monitors that were lying around, and shall extract all the information I can from them. Quick, quick! Hmph, <laughs> tis a pity none of us speaks Chocobo. As I recall, though, we are supposed to have Alpha transfer its authorization to us prior to engaging in combat. In which case, sir, you'll need him to accompany you into the Delta Escape. See to your preparations, and proceed whenever you're ready.
This player's name is John Johns. John Johns. Quick, quick! Alpha appears eager to proceed. You may enter Delta Escape V 1.0 whenever you're ready. Delta Escape 1.0 available! Hello, John Johns. What even class are you, John Johns? What even level are you? 85? Gunbreaker? Delta Escape 1.0! Speak now or forever hold your peace. We got we got spots open. Martian Manhunter. Dude. This whole area is super cool. I like how there's like a weird like tear across this place as well. Is that... Is that Eorzea or... Oh, ready. Let's get it. I will warn I remember little of most of the boss fights, uh, said uh, Jolly. I also don't really remember these fights. Cheeky, cheeky smiley face. <laughs> Mark 14 Thermocoil Boil Master. A Boil Master? Is this for coffee? Dude, I think it is. Yo, where do I get a Mark 14 Boil Master? <sighs> On non savage, how f hard are these fights? Hitting the shutdown button after suffering for eight hours feels so good. Are you free, Matza? Is it that time already? Oh, geez. I guess it would be. Normal modes aren't bad. Okay. Hopefully we can largely unka bunga. I got the ver rays if we need it. They're not bad. Okay. Wait, Omega, huh? Yeah. We have spots, Matza. Unless I hit commence. Finally back after all this time. Gothic. Long time no see. How are you? Hop on next train, cat. Funny, I also have a raise, Tara. Wait, what class are you, Jolly? Does Paladin have a raise? Or did you switch? Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Summoner gets raised, right! Oh, Gothic, I'm really sorry to hear that. Vibe out, relax, enjoy streaming. Your opponent is called Alt-Right. No idea what it, oh, shit. We're gonna fight the Alt-Right, guys. I feel like I should just to put it on cooldown because a lot of the classes are going to be building up their thing right now, right? Building up their like class bars. So by the time Embolden's ready again, people are backing up. It's making me nervous. Oh, I see. Okay.
Hi, Val. The music is really good here. You have two surprises for me after this fight? I'll have to come outside, though. We can't come back. <laughs> Wait, phrasing? We can't come in the hole? Hello? Martian Manhunter from DC Comics. Real name is John Johns. Sounds like John. John Jones. John Jones. I, I see. Sort of like John Jones. Gotcha! So that person's name is definitely a nod to that then. Because they had the Jones. Time for melee combo. Oh boy. Bad time for melee combo, I think. Uh oh! He's fine. It's time to work 14 keybind magic. If you find perfect keybinds, Vel, please share them with me. Because that screenshot or that small video you sent me looked amazing of how people had their bar organized. And I want to piggyback off your success. Whoop! Oh dear god. That was scary. <laughs> It was last weekend though, Gothic! Happy birthday! What'd you do for it? Oh, get me away from this. The middle ones are gonna explode first, right? And then the outside ones. Oh, I see. Okay. It's okay. I had Korra Core. I didn't realize he was going to push the fireballs away like that. We're not eating family finger restaurant. Let's go. Melee combo. Activate. Ouch. I operate by the power of MMO mouse and muscle memory. Uh, so I have sure cast bound to, I have a million. You guys saw this mouse before, hang on. Let me, I have it bound to this top one up here. There's also all these buttons, but I have it bound right up here and I just keep forgetting because I don't use sure cast all that much. Oh no, that's my limit break. Where's sure cast bound? Did I not bind it proper? Ah. Oh. Limit breaks up here. Oh, hang on. Let me bring it closer to you. Limit break is up here, up on up on this top one. Sure cast is right here, and I just need to muscle memory it. So no pushback for me. Yeah. Loot. What is this? What is all this garbage? I do. What do I want? I don't. I'm passing on all of it. It's all garbage. It's all bits and bobs. And then everyone's gonna be like, wait, Terra, those bits and bobs are so important for legendaries or something. Your sure cast and arms like they're all on the same button for all jobs. See, that would be smart, but I am not that. In fact, actually, maybe I put it over here. I think arms length is on control R. Wait, let's just, let's look. Sure cast is control three over here. Let's put it on control R. Gunbreaker, control R, arms length. Red Mage. There! Rando, you're so attractive. How are you so smart and attractive? That is a great idea. Boom. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible, in fact. Well done. That stuff is used for raid gear, but it's mostly just glam. Gotcha. It's better for glam than proper use. I see, I see, I see. Stuff to exchange for gear, but the gear isn't relevant. Gotcha. And do I really care about it, aesthetic-wise? Is it good? 
So now control R, control R across the board is my no knockback. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. That's so smart. Your res for resers and invul on tanks is also the same button. That's smart as well. Brando, I like this. You smart. It's not very good, the glams. Okay. For reference, Terra, everything in this part of Omega Quests is all FF5 related. The music, the enemies, the maps, etc. Gotcha. Well done, my friend. We were lucky enough to witness every moment of your struggle via the Delta Escape's various surveillance devices. I dare say we had a better view than you did. Gaining control over them was the extent of accomplishments for this outing, though I suppose we did also learn your adversary's name. Rest assured, however, that there will be plenty more such outings. Preliminary analysis suggests that there are four combatants in the Delta Escape all told, including your friend Alt-Right, which means you will be required to win three further bouts, with Deltas two to four in this test world alone. Needless to say, there are plenty more such worlds in the Rift, holding the remaining 85 subjects within them. Plainly, our host has gone to no small amount of trouble. Quite why it is so obsessed with determining the strongest being is, in a, uh, is another option. Gonna get an apartment and decorate it as best I can to what I previously had? I also want an apartment, but decorations aren't cheap, right? So I'm going to hold off until I have a bit more, like, money. Omega seeketh to improve itself, to evolve. This was ever its primary directive. Through contending with mighty foes, it groweth stronger. Having vanquished the vile simulacrum you call Shinryu, a greater adversary was needed. In the absence of such a being, it had but to create one. So in the name of self-improvement, it wants to make a new playmate, and it chose to undertake the task here to avoid outside interference, yes? In part, the making of life is not Omega's primary function. It bringeth complex beings into the corporeal realm only at great cost to itself. As such, it employeth this plane to test unfinished works that it might determine a single entity worthy of creation. If I understand you correctly, the moment Omega's grand experiment is complete, it will give birth to a creature mightier than even Shinryu, and then proceed to fight it. Gods help us all if that battle, uh, if a battle of that scale should come to pass, the powers unleashed would be enough to bring about another calamity. Hmm. Assuming the dragon has the right of it, all test subjects must needs be works in progress, save for ourselves, of course. But how then do we explain Alpha? As I recall, it manifested corporeally outside the rift. Then again, it is hardly the most complex of creatures. Mayhap it was finished by accident. Don't you make fun of Alpha! He's a good boy! If it hadn't been for him, we would have all been erased! He might not be strong, but he's brave, and reliable, and adorable! Dude, I love Alpha. <laughs> you accidentally got a house- Got kicked out of your free company for it! What?! Excuse me? Why would that- What? Why? Only because you got a house sounds like an asshole. I mean, it sounds like nothing lost. Nothing of value was lost, right? Um, they're not, but I do recommend at least getting an apartment to decorate. That way you can figure out how you want to decorate it. So that if I ever do get player housing, then I can decorate it nicely. Catch me using The Sims to live out my apartment decorating dreams. Fuck. Uh, changing the subject for a moment. Chief, after you lost track of Omega, you said you re-engaged its stasis systems, right? Meaning something somewhere isn't working like it should. I only ask because me and Wedge have done pretty much all we can here, and we're wondering if it might be worth going to Cartano to look into it. That would be a great help. Nero and I can handle things at this end. Sounds like they were supposed to bid on free co uh, company plot, but bid on personal, oh, uh, an accidental. Yep, pretty much the free company didn't have one yet, and they were mad at me for doing that instead of putting it towards getting everybody one. Didn't even mean to actually get it though. Ah, oh, fuck. That sucks, Neo. That sucks. We'll be off then. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, eh? 
Fuck him. Fuck him is what I say. And you be a good boy, Alpha. Do as you're told and look after Sir for me. I love Alpha so much. I've only had Alpha for 20 minutes, but I would literally die if anything happened to them. By the way, Terry, you need to be second lieutenant rank in the Grand Company to get an apartment. Got you. Still a bitch move. Fuck them. Enjoy your house exactly. With how hard it is to get player housing, fucking enjoy it. Screw them. Didn't need them anyways, Neo. Base game is free right now and packs go on sale frequently. I'm always open if you want opinions on packs. I don't have a... Oh, this is Sims, eh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wasn't supposed to be bidding uh, for one for everyone. They were mad that the, uh, money didn't go to the free company house fund. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. We must pray that Biggs and Wedge are able to repair the stasis system. If they can't, we will have little choice but to see Omega's experiment all the way to its bitter conclusion. A tall order, I concede, and one that would require you to prove yourself the mightiest being in creation. Well, we must hope for the best and plan for the worst, which in this case means pressing on with the tests. Are you ready for the next foray? Yeah, I am. One moment, Chief. My analysis is yet incomplete. It would seem Subject Delta-2 is capable of manipulating gravity. Hmm, fortunate then. But I recently chanced to assemble something which might mitigate its effects. An anti-gravity gimbal? May it serve you well. A gimbal? Do -do -do. What did I set up? I have a duty action button, don't I? I think I bound it to this button. Just in case there's a duty action here, which sounds like it might be. Tell them to get good and make more money if they don't have enough. If you don't want to donate your money, that's your prerogative. Exactly. That sounds like a, a shady ass free company anyways. Nothing of value was lost, Neo. You have new family now. Welcome. Quee quee! Alpha appears eager to proceed. You may enter Delta Escape version 2.0 whenever you're ready. If anyone wants in 2.0, speak now or forever hold your peace. One thing that's kind of tempting, so you guys know um, the streamer who also plays 14 on occasion, Kyperbole, right? We've interacted with them a bit, we've raided them once, and they've hung out in our stream a couple times. Um, Kyperbole got player housing on the new server, like the new NA server that opened up, and I was like, shit, I didn't even think of that. Like, not that, not that I have the money for player housing anyways, but like, that's, that's whole open fields for new player housing, which is kind of amazing. So there was a house open in Limsa. Oh, before they changed it! Wow, Neo. That was before the lottery system? Oh, you have two gifts for me, right? You said, you said, uh, leave the hole. How do I, let me out. Let me out of the hole. Yeah. I'm free. Dude, your chocobo looks so sick. Ah. <gasps> a zoo? What is a zoo? What the heck? Thank you! What is a zoo? Monkey? 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 Zoo? Zoo? What is a zoo? What is a zoo? Where is it? Zoo? Which one is zoo? This one. Massive bird what? <laughs> hunts by grasping its prey within its within its saw-like beak, finishes it off with a few violent shakes of its long neck before swallowing the now dead quarry. What the heck? What is so cool? Wait, thank you. It's a big burb. <gasps> Yumi! Yumi, hi, welcome in. Ah. <sighs> uh. You get them from free company ship ventures. I'm not even in a free company. Look at me go! Big chicken! Neil, thank you so much, what the heck? And now I need an apartment. Now I absolutely need an apartment because you gave me an alpha tab tabletop thing. I can't believe I'm buying an apartment. <laughs> well, Tara, a zoo is typically... 
Jolly, get out. Jolly, get out. Hello, figured I would say hi. It's so good to have you. Yumi, you came from... Did you come from Kyperbole? Or was it... No, who did you come from? I saw I saw an offline follow after a shout out. I think it might have been Kyperbole. Yes, it was Kyper. Dude, I love Kyper. We met them recently and their energy is just so good. They're such a genuine human and I'm like, oh, oh, it's refreshing. Ugh! <laughs> what is this? There it is. Catastrophe. A fitting name for the havoc it will doubtless wreak. Have fun. It's like a... It's like a beholder from Wish. It's a Wish brand... Wish brand beholder. What the fuck? <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't like it. Look at its weirdly realistic eyeball. Oh, use anti-gravity gimbal to what? To float above. Should I be using that now? I see a few people are levitating, so I'm going to levitate also. Oh, because it's shaking the earth. Hey! It pulled me back down to the ground. Disrespectful a little bit? I'm so glad that I set up that on my MMO mouse, the duty action. I can kind of hit it without thinking. This thing reminds me of the boss in Enter the Gungeon! It's probably a Beholder, yeah. Can't remember what it's called. It's probably a Beholder. It's based on like, not, D&D wasn't the first thing to have a Beholder, was it? Tentacles. Ah, uh, there, there's tentacles that are falling down. Is that okay? Should I be standing in this one, or is the tank gonna stand in that one? I feel not safe where I am. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> I'm on ether. Yes, I am, Yumi. Also, is it pronounced Yumi? Because I think after Kuiper raided out, somebody was calling you Yummy, and I was like, oh, is it Yummy? <laughs> this looks not good. I didn't look away in time. I didn't look away in time, this is embarrassing. I know my D&D well. My first RPG was Baldur's Gate 1. Still love it t till today. Dude, are you excited for Baldur's Gate 3? I already own Baldur's Gate 3. I just want more areas. Because I love Divinity Original Sin 2. I think it's like such a good RPG experience. Um, should I not be floating? Oh, I shouldn't be floating. Oh, I got petrified again. And again. Alright, well, it's Yumi. Also fine with Yummy, but generally uh, she was calling me Yami or something weird. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, Yumi it is. I think I just emboldened. I don't know if somebody needs to be over here, but I'm willing. Ow, my bones.
You know like ground, I make you fly. Dude, what are these multi-level AoEs? These are crazy. Whoa! Help! <laughs> Wait, it made us fly! That was disrespectful. Hey, how are you? Yo, awesome! Awesome, Doc? I'm good, how are you? I'm hard casting for Thunder, this is embarrassing. I'm good, how are you? Welcome in. Okay, does somebody want to explain the tentacle mechanic there for me? Because I had no idea what the tentacles were about. So is the no free company thing by choice? Haven't found the right one. I haven't really been looking, is my, I guess my problem you could say. I thought about maybe like having one for the stream, um, but I don't know. I wouldn't really be good at running it, so. Wow, I hate Paladin at 70, rotation is all over the place. It gets better at 90. <laughs> it gets better at the end of the game. <laughs> the ones that stop glowing are safe. Don't go to the marked ones. Oh, so that's why I took a crap ton of damage then. I guess not bought it yet. Want to wait for the full release. Only part that I'm worried about is uh, I like the factor there's a jumping mechanic in it, but I guess I have to live with it. Like it came with them MMOs. Yes. Yes, Subu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think for how much I loved uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, I'm remaining optimistic for Baldur's Gate 3. <sighs> Used to be in the one Midgar Summer, Ether. Moved to Maduin. Is what, what data center is Maduin? Divinity. Divinity Original Sin 2, I cannot recommend enough. If you have a hundred hours to pour into a well fucking, like, written, a well-built world, RPG world, play Divinity Original Sin 2. The combat is so fun. The fucking story is great. The individual character interactions are amazing. It's a great game. Oh, the new DC cluster! Hey, Stefanek, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Dude, you like CRPGs? I do. Yes. Yes, hello. <laughs> I'm so sold. <laughs> Madwin is the new NA server, got you. Did you get player housing on it, Yumi? Like Kuiper? I wish I had money for player housing. You agree with the Paladin assessment, being synced down feels bad. That's like Gunbreaker. So I'm leveling Gunbreaker, right? Because I want to do all the roll quests in Shadowbringers. And when I do 50 and I don't have, what is it? I don't have rough divide and I can't jump. I'm just like, ugh. Gotta slowly walk my ass over to the things and it's awful. I don't like it. I like jumping. I like jumping at the things. Created yourself your first Lala on Madwin. Did I inspire you, Subu? I hope I inspired you. As much as I love my Lala, I'm probably still gonna switch. But, but we're gonna say Lala for a while still. Transferring to Dynamis isn't a bad idea. Nothing really attaching you to Adamantoys. Cause you can always jump worlds, right, Gulsif? It's tempting, but I don't even have the money for player. The major reason why I would do it was for player housing, and I don't have money for player housing, so it's like, hey. So you like CRPGs are getting into JRPGs. You're gonna be seeing a lot of me, hell yeah. There's a lot of JRPGs that I just missed because in my younger gaming years, I was like an online gamer only. I didn't really have time to play single player games. So starting streaming has been amazing in terms of like single player experiences. I've played like, like all the big ones that I missed, like Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn, and now I'm like getting into like, oh, Subnautica, oh, Outer Wilds. So many games that I wouldn't have otherwise played. Cause in all my gaming time, I would be like, oh, I should play multiplayer games with my friends. 14 is your first MMO. I was, oh God, World of Warcraft had me for far too many years. I'm so glad to be free of that. Play LB, please. What is LB? DC travel all the time. I'll give you three mil to bid on a house. I don't care, money is useless. <gasps> Golsef! If you're gonna fund me, <laughs> if you're gonna fund me, maybe I will hop centers and then get a house. <laughs> I'd spot you some gil for house also. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Am I gonna be jumping? I'm probably gonna be jumping. Oh, IB, what is IB, Matza? Walking dog before bed, half asleep. Hi, Dyer! Thought I would say hi, Dyer, I love you. Hope your day's been great. All you've played for like 15 years is JRPGs. I'm excited to be starting my JRPG journey. I feel like starting with 14 is a strong start to that. At any rate, there's another mighty foe laid low. And may I say that I had every faith you would succeed. 
The Croak Queen? Frog? Any, any froggers? It's an RPG about a girl who accidentally falls into a painting. It's spooky. Uh, Painted World of Ariamis? Ariamis? I don't remember how it's pronounced. 14 would be a nice bridge for you. Yeah. I doubt we'll be hearing from Biggs and Wedge for a while. I haven't played any of the Persona games. Persona 5 is on Game Pass, and I was like, I was looking. I was looking at it. A friend of mine gifted me Persona 4 Golden. But for whatever reason, anytime I bring up Persona 4, there's like... Or Persona 4 Gold? Golden? Whenever I bring it up, there's like polarizing opinions from it on chat. In chat. Some people love it, and other people are like, Ugh! Disgusting! Don't even play it! I doubt we'll be hearing from Biggs and Wedge for a while yet. Shall we push on here in the meantime? Yes. Deadline was earlier than I got told, so it's been a busy week. Not happy. Dyer, I'm sorry that happened. Reliable as ever. Without further ado, then, let's move on. Move things along. Sounds like Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 also polarizing opinions. If everyone JRPG Rex, I've got you. I am looking respectfully. <laughs> According to the analysis, your next opponent, Delta 3, is a being named Halicarnassus. Halicarnassus, you say? The Queen of Dimension Castle? What's this? You know of her? Question, guys. Does Nero use Ella's, a modified Elizin model? Him tall. Him tall boy. I feel like that's an Elizin body model, just without the ears. What level am I now? I am level 70... Uh? 76? And I think my MSQ is 73 in Shadowbringers. Most pureblood Garleans do. Oh, right, I think we had this conversation. You mean you don't? Well, I suppose a blue-blooded brat such as you would have no interest in humble folktales. <sighs> it appears a lesson is in order. Halicarnassus is a character from an ancient fable. In the tale, she is one of the chief and antagonists, and as such, things are wont to unfold. She meets her end at the hands of the heroes, incurably valiant youths, not unlike our adventurer friend here. Literary historians have speculated that the tale could be loosely based on events which took place in the fourth astral era, but little remains of that age. There is no way to verify the claim. Indeed, most now assume the story to be a work of pure fiction. You mean to t tell me that Omega is populating its grand experiment with Fictional characters? Twould seem your understanding is yet lacking. Scant grasp have I of that which men know and know not. Mark me then. Omega hath no soul, no mind's eye in which to envision a rival. To bring forth new life, it must needs draw upon that which hath already been, its every creation being another's conception. This, this limitation is concealed by the breadth of its experience. It possesseth, possesseth the means to retain the knowledge of entire eras, not only of this reflection, yet it perceiveth this knowledge as we do. Fact, fiction, the distinction holdeth no meaning for Omega. All is equal in its eye. If a thing is logical, it can be created. Holy shit, dude, that's scary. <laughs> Since family doesn't, and the royal family are custom models also, yeah, nobody's as thick as Xenos. Or was as thick as Xenos. I didn't realize that the Elizin that was the Elizin model. They just used a larger one. Gotcha. How'd you end up three levels ahead? Did you end up doing a lot of side quests? Uh, I did a few Ether Current side quests, and also just the MSQ gives you a crap ton of experience, Dire. Also the odd duty roulette would do it to me. Done with your apartment. Jolly, take a screenshot. Ah <sighs> that was such a wonderful weapon should exist. It surpasses my wildest imaginings. They are, they were wild indeed. But I gather not everyone shares my excitement. What's the matter, Garland? Lost your nerve? Quiet, Nero. We adults are thinking. <laughs> but mayhap now is not the time. Sir said he was ready to continue, and so am I. Let's deal with Halicarnassus. Okay, best part of Omega so far is just getting more Nero. Xenos' dummy thick model absolutely caked up on a Thursday afternoon. Quay? Quay! Delta Escape 3.0! If anyone wants in, just say the word in chat. We'll send you an invite. I 
I've taken to using my astrologer instead of my main job when I do roulettes. Otherwise, I, th I think it'll be soul destroying to level them up. I've been Sage. So what level is Sage? Sage is 73. Gunbreaker is 75. These two have been exclusively leveled via roulettes. I don't think I've done them in like any any questing. Reaper I was trying to quest with, but then it fell behind. Very sad. Wait a minute. So you have cute little chicken and everything around you looks like futuristic eggs. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna sound dumb. But that made a light bulb go on in my head. Rumika is is the ultimate life form a chocobo. <laughs> I'm gonna make dinner IRL, and in game I'm making consumables for static tonight. Good luck raid, Yumi. Good luck raid. I'm overwhelmed. My bars are everywhere right now. Vel, you can do it. Vel, you must make the the the, the bar macros. So I can have, you must do it so I can t leech off of your success. <laughs> I've only really played healer. You do MSQ, you do MSQ as white mage? Also, the fact that, I wasn't even thinking of the fact that its name is Alpha and the being's name is Omega. Hang on. Now I'm suspicious. Now I'm suspicious of everything <laughs> because of what Rumika said. Hang on a minute. Let's be let's be looking into all the things. Surrounded by egg. Cute chocobo named Alpha and it had authorization already. My brain is full of holes. You just wanted to be tomorrow night, so you go to DSR again. DSR is the current raid content. Still in the sorting phase, deciding what you want. You have Chocobo Bar, Jobs Bar, Professions Bar, Minion Bar, Minion Bar Vel, Emotes Bar. I really want to make an Emotes Bar, and I want to make a Minion Bar. Dragon Song Reprise Ultimate. And that is the current rate, right? <laughs> oh, Terry, you can just visit my apartment and harshly judge it in person. I forgot you could do that. How do you do that again? I don't think I can do it for where I am currently, but you like click on a player. Estate teleportation would bring me into your apartment, right? Ah, anyways, have a lovely evening, Tyra and chat. Me have to veg. Suvu, thanks for hanging out here. Hope you have a good sleep. Ultimates are kind of difficult. They release somewhat randomly and aren't for gear, just for weapons, glams, titles, gotcha. Oh, it's not the current raid tier. It's the latest ultimate, I see. It's for the true end game, the glamour. Is anybody interested in the new WoW expansion, by the way? I have a few friends that I think are gonna play it, but nobody's like, nobody's like holding their breath over it. I think WoW players have been scorned a couple too many times. Ultimates are the hardest content in the game. You gotta work for your cosmetics. I just use random mount button, and most times I use the slash commands for emotes. I, the thing is, I'm dumb, Rando. <laughs> I always forget what they are. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Mother? Let me, let me get a close look. <clears throat> what fools are these who have entered my domain? No matter, you shall remain here for my pleasure. Mother? <laughs> Mother? Hello? What a cool design. 
It's giving... Ah, oh, shit. What's his name? Is it Giraheim? Giraheim from Skyward? No, who's Giraheim? It's giving the Skyward Sword, like, Jester Dude vibes. With those pants. Ooh, ooh! I'm toted. I am become Frog. I am Froge. Me when me. Oh shit, it's over. <laughs> what is this? I'm just gonna stay away from my friends. <laughs> so I think I gotta watch for its cast bar when it's doing the frog song. Oh, there are ads. What is that? The Queen's Waltz? I was expecting a bit more waltzing there. Ah! Uh, uh, sword. I am sword. I stand on sword square. <laughs> Good, you understand the rules. You're clever. I like clever people. Let the board be changed. What is this? My dance brings the board to life. Dance of the earth. Ah. Uh. There's a great dragon. I want a melee combo. Alright. Madwin, by the way, is a... Oh, I gotta raise. I gotta wait a second. He's a Final Fantasy VI reference. He's Terra's dad, so I guess if you transfer over, you're gonna be going to your dad's server! Let's go! The only, I have to be honest, given that I'm such a Final Fantasy version, version, virgin, the only Terra that I know of is uh, Kingdom Hearts. I know the, the, the Terra from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Ribbit! As if I still got riveted. Froggy! Generally do not remember this fight, it looks fun. It's a bit chaotic, but I'm having fun. Ethereal tear. While you partake of the game, I shall partake of the afternoon tea! She's just fucking sitting there drinking tea! <laughs> A starry gift comes for you. Oh my god! I'm just gonna follow everyone else. Help! Help! <laughs> That's hilarious. She's stopping for afternoon tea while we were in sand hell. Afternoon tea is over. Let us resume our fun filled games. Holy shit. That was a lot. Cool design, fun fight, cool mechanics. I'm glad I didn't have to figure out the sand puzzle myself because I would have died. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. 
Next comes Big Daddy, let's go. Haha, <laughs> duty. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, sir. For a moment there, I feared you might croak. Fuck, not Sid with the frog puns. Stop, Sid, get out. Get out, Sid. <laughs> Forgive me, you deserve better than that. You're damn right I do. Thanks to you, we are about uh, we are but one victory away from clearing the Delta Scape. Take as much rest as you need, old friend. You've earned it. <laughs> was that Helicarnassus? Yes, it was, phone. That was such a cool fight. <sighs> People clear it once and really only do the mount fights these days. Damn. That was a fun fight. I'm so mad I know that room that well. Is the sand puzzle always the same? Not gonna lie, I'm purposely opening the loot chest so that Tara is the only person in the party while they're open and fills up his inventory. Jolly, you're a monster. You're a monster and a villain and a fiend. I don't know, I'm bad. I just followed the humans. It always is, oh thank god. The next battle is with Subject Delta Four. This tests world's final resident. From what I've been able to gather, your opponent is, and I quote, a great tree born of an al... al agglomeration of evil will, which assumes the form of a dark mage. All of a dark magician! Uh, all of which I suggest you ignore. His name is X-Death, and he plays the role of chief antagonist in another ancient tale. Though I was unable to glean the specifics of his abilities, he appears to command the power of the Void, as indeed the story states. Good old X-Death. Fuck X-Death. X-D-Eth. When I first encountered the work, I naturally assumed said power to be a metaphor of sorts, but I am quite sure Omega will have interpreted it as something more tangible. Alas, no amount of analysis can tell us what may happen when X-Death calls upon the power of the Void, which is to say, beware. Tell me something, Nero. What happens at the end of the tale? Why, good tri triumphs over evil, and the heroes defeat X-Death, of course. What did you expect? <laughs> I hate his smile, dude. XDDF. <laughs> no, you guys. Who added XDD business to my channel? Vel, was that you? Did you add XDD business? You're a monster. Ah. Oh. The mod check, Vel, you're a monster. I expected exactly that, which is precisely what troubled me earlier. If the heroes won, why did Omega not make them its test subjects? If it seeks to determine the strongest being, why would it bother with those who were defeated? That is a really good question. One moment. Link Pearl. Ah, Biggs. At the control room, are you? What news? I see. Very well. I'll tell the others. You two take care over there. Sorry for the interruption. That was Biggs. He reports that the stasis system shows every sign of being engaged, despite the fact it clearly isn't. It can only be a malfunction. While we were able to turn it off, it would seem the reverse is not possible. The system may have taken damage during the calamity. Does it look like it can be repaired? Hard to say. They tell me it seems complex even by Allegan standards. While they may be able to fix it, there's no telling how long it might take. Strength is more than winning, it's about your passion, which villains have plenty of, or something, I don't know. <laughs> Checks out. I'm so heated, my favorite PS5 controller broke! Do you have a backup? Do you have at least have a backup hike? That fucking sucks, dude! Uh, well then, we must keep on fighting the good fight here, must we not? Nero has the right of it. At this time, focusing on next death would seem to be our only recourse. Prepare to fight a tree. A tree! XDD tree! Uh, the Chocobo certainly has no objections. Come then, I would see you follow in the footsteps of the heroes of the tale. Treege. Not strong enough to use the winners. Unbelievable. People always talk about violent intrusive thoughts, but I just had to fight the urge to mix my chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> Matzo, that's disgusting. I'm glad you didn't do it. Delta Escape V 4.0. Now accessible. 
You just had an idea? Hit me with it. Sloppy! Bargy! Bargy love you. Hope your day's been good and nice and cool. Farming, rerunning P5 and 6s. Working on static clear of P7. Wow. That tree can be a pain. Is that where XDD tree comes from, Golstuff? Like you were telling me about? If you're down, we could unsync the Savage after this. It has entirely different forms and phase shifts. It's really awesome. <sighs> maybe, maybe. <sighs> It'd be a neat experience, but I'd definitely die. There's a mount drop from the Savage of this fight. And we could easily do it with all his 90s. Okay. Okay, just pick me up when I fall over. <laughs> Cause I will fall over a lot. <laughs> With a full party, it won't be too difficult. Okay. Yeah, I'll be the one dead. You guys will be living and doing good. I'll be dying. Greetings. Uh, give, oh no, shit. Give him one of these. I'd be happy to help with the savage shenanigans. Hell yeah. I think we currently have five. Finally, it is in my grasp. The power to control all creation. The power of the void. Wow, this person has the color scheme of old school Final Fantasy. Old school Final Fantasy with their like pixel art did a lot of these bright ass colors. I'm just gonna embolden, I think. I'm just gonna embolden, do a little basic melee combat. What's happening to me? I'm doomed? How to not doom? Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, doom got cured? Wait, you can cure doom? Did I get Essenud? He was one of the old school Final Fantasy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. My magic is steeped in the greatest powers, the power of the void. This music is great, by the way. Ouch! I was asking for that. This music is fantastic. No, I was in my melee combo, you prick. Eh? Woo! This music is from five. Main villain of five, gotcha! What the fuck? Ew! I went in front of it because I want zombification? I'm a mindless zombie! I'm punching people! I don't know what that means. I wanted to get in front of them to see what it looked like, and I got zombified. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack in this fight. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Void devoured. If it has the status blue line, it can be Essenut. Ah! Oh, I should probably procure myself. That's 
a black hole. That is several black holes. I don't know what this means. I've never seen that kind of marker before. With the lines coming out of it. Blue arrows is get away from people. Ah, okay. Opposite of a stack marker. Opposite of- Ah, oh, that should have made sense to my brain. But it didn't. Why? The void was mine to command. Oh! He's getting- he's getting Kingdom Hearts did it did. Flare marker proximity around the target. Got you. Makes sense once you know it's a bit weird the first time. Yeah, I had no idea what that was trying to tell me. I got a minion? Where is he? There he is. Oh, unable to summon minions here. Level checker? What are you doing here? Delta 4 eliminated. No more Delta Escape subjects remain. Initiating world shutdown. That doesn't sound good. So, Savage version? Please forgive my brain as a WoW fan. Can you tell me the origin of this quote? Death comes. Will your conscience be clear? I actually don't know the quote. I want to know if other people remember as much random shit as I do. I don't even remember that. Sir, thank the gods you're safe. When the shell around this place began to crack, we feared the worst. I'm... I'm becoming suspicious of Alpha. Hmm. Given that all of us are present and corporeal, does this mean this area is no longer the Delta Scape? Beep. Delta Scape shutdown complete. Alpha group is victorious. Congratulations. Oh, I never actually did Karazhan, Dyer. I did Karazhan once. Your combat record has been archived for future matchmaking. Results from other tests, test worlds are still pending. In the meantime, please tend to your hurts and await further instructions. And with that, we've taken a significant step towards solving the mystery that is Omega. It hasn't been easy, but all in all, I'd say things were proceeding rather smoothly. We couldn't have done it without you, old friend. Come, let us return to reality and enjoy what rest we can. Maiden of Virtue. Yeah, I've only done it like twice. Things are proceeding smoothly indeed. Too smoothly. Tis well that thou harborest doubts, mortal, but they are misplaced. Omega could have conducted its tests in complete secrecy, unbeknown to all. Yet not only did it betray its presence to you, it allowed you to come this far. Alpha, what art thou truly? The instrument of the mortal's triumph, or the bait that lureth them unto the abyss. I don't trust it! I don't trust it anymore! He's too cute! He's too cute and innocent! Hmm, thou knowest not thine own purpose. Then we can but watch and wait. Shh. 
just sat down for dinner, but if you're uh, still waiting in 30 minutes, I'll hop in to help. Okay. Outcome unexpected. Projections gave Delta subjects the upper hand. Outcome supports hypothesis. As previously observed, certain beings may unleash hidden potential when subjected to stress. Initiating new test. Subject Alpha group members to... <laughs> Subject alpha group members to severe stress. Searching database for suitable event. Dude, just fucking the vault cutscene. Just give me the vault cutscene again, and I will be suitably stressed. Event found. Ah! 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 No! No! Don't do this! The death of a comrade! No! Ah! <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm ending stream. I can't. I can't. I literally can't even watch my YouTube video for the vault cutscene because I cry. I cannot handle this. If it's if it's the vault cutscene all over again, I'm out. I'm fucking out. I can't. Hi girls, welcome in. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> Omega isn't even gonna let you queue before <laughs> inflicting savage on you. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Did you come over here and laugh at me? Hang on, I had a key bind for this. Let me let me let me bind it again. Let me find it. Give me a second. Maybe it's on Reaper? It's on Reaper. <laughs> I don't remember any 14 bosses, to be honest. I run around flailing and just hope I don't fall in the wrong mechanics. Dire, I wish I could be as oblivious as you. The trauma that has been inflicted upon me in this game has been amazing and horrible. I am angry. Angry little boy. Good thing Terra hasn't done that one raid boss that makes you do math, otherwise he'll die 100% of the time. True. True, Jolly. Angry boy. Lala Rage. Hi, studs. Somebody said the surprised is the most annoying noise. It's not that bad. Okay, it's kind of bad. It's a little bad. Okay, I hate it. Okay, it's horrible. <laughs> so we need how many more? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more for Savage. Sav it's Savage X Death? Terra is Verfurious. Hi, studs. I am Verfurious. Oh, I got a finished quest. Whoops. The hands going up is giving Oompa Loompa vibes from Slash Surprised. Oh my god. I need to unlock Savage first. Okay. Uh, it feels good to be back on solid ground. Thank you again, old friend. Who just moaned in the... Hello? <gasps> Who's moaning back? What's happening behind me? <laughs> you did well too, Alpha. Fearlessly going into battle whenever you were called upon. We're glad to have you with us. Speaking of which, are you comfortable joining us out here? <gasps> Jolly, don't be lewd near me. Hello? This is a Christian Minecraft server. I'll take that as a yes. Who who else is moaning? Hello? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Uh, well then, at the risk of obeying. What is this? Coffee crisp? Bring in me a coffee crisp. Love you. Thank you. It's getting so lewd up in here. Help, help. <laughs> Katie! Hi Katie, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Jolly, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> what is this? Wait, this might be the coolest mount I've ever seen. What is that? That's so fucking cool. <coughs> oh, I'm choking on my spit. Dude, that's so fucking cool. The little jellyfish? Space jellyfish? Why are my ears being assaulted? Well, because because people are being lewd. 
We've entered we've entered ERP era. ASMR Final Fantasy stream. I'll take that as a yes then. Um, at the risk of ob obeying Omega's orders, I suggest we permit ourselves a moment's respite. Ah, but mayhap I should take this opportunity opportunity to compile the results of our investigation thus far. No rest for the righteous. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the serpent is from the newest savage. Gotcha. I really like the jellyfish. What is the jellyfish from? I really, really, really like the jellyfish. So you need to take that Fantasia before your ERP era? Agree, Zagi. I will never enter ERP era as a Lala. Tribal quests post Endwalker. I'll get there. Right then, let's head back to Rogger's Reach. Jesse will want to know exactly what, what we've been up to. And Walker gathering tribal quests. Well, I got something very important on my list. Look at this little... Look at this. Look at this little space jelly. I like it. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I'm actually not, because I'm not an end Walker. <gasps> Phone? Phone, why so cute? Why so cute, phone? On your little chair. Why so cute? <laughs> why so cute over here? I really like that helmet. Why so tiny in the jelly? Cause jelly. <laughs> I haven't played much since those uh, came out. I'll get back around to it one day. It's so cool. The jelly is absolutely one of the coolest mounts that I've seen in the game so far. And it's good to see that as the content continues, they're just making cooler and cooler shit, as it should be. Uh, oh, I gotta go talk to Jesse, don't I? So we can do Savage. Whoop, sorry, I'm delaying. Almost max rep with that tribe too, so never need to do them again. Male Miko chair stance is horrible. Was that just the female Miko chair stance? Like sitting with like the little, oh shit, what do you call it? When you sit in like the, like the W kinda? I guess you'd call it W? I don't know what to call that stance. Right, time for sleep. Gotta be up at half three. Oh my God. Dire, good luck. Good luck on your deadline and have good sleep. Oh, that was Fem Aura. Oh yeah, you are Femo. I forgot about that. Do, 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 do. Welcome back, sir. I'm told you've been blazing a trail for us. The way I hear it, your, our investigation would have long since ground to a halt without you. I realize you're mostly interested in saving the world, but I want you to know how much I appreciate you helping the company out like this. Frankly, we need all the help we can get, what with our deemed president diving headlong into the jaws of danger without a word of warning to anyone. Irresponsible doesn't begin to describe it. Every gender and race has a different chair mount stance, and male Miko just looks so damn uncomfy. Oof. You didn't tell her? I did, after a fashion, though I may have exercised some executive dis discretion. I'm no stranger to your lone endeavors, or your habit of confusing personal and company interests. But just because you've always done things a certain way, doesn't make it the right way. And until you make up your responsibilities, uh, wake up to your responsibilities, I'm going to keep reminding you of them. Jessie and her metal beard, isn't it kind of cute? But such irksome matters aside... Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? He followed you here of his own free will, did he? Which means he's basically part of the family. And why wouldn't he grant us exclusive rights to use his likeness? Shall we start off with simple clockwork version? They'll be queuing up in the streets. Oh, you can't be. What in the seven hells has gotten into you? Listen, if I've caused you any distress, I apologize, but I will not have you comment on our guest's marketability. Literal chin strap of metal, yeah. I didn't notice sitting position until the Halloween Ariman mount, but it's sassy as fuck and I love it. 
Female Aura or Female Miko, rando? Uh, where are Biggs and Wedge? Shouldn't they be back by now? Oh, I thought you might have sent them off on another unauthorized mission. Last I heard from them, they said they were scouring Omega Control for anything useful. Would have been a good while ago now, though. I don't like the sound of this. Though we have all the necessary permissions, the area is technically a theater of war, and one littered with unknown Allegan artifacts to boot. Something may well have befallen them. We best take the Excelsior and go and find them. Chocobo are like tribbles. They do something to your brainwaves when you get near them. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, male Midlander. You meant your position. Got you. Nero, sir, I want you to accompany the chief. Make sure he doesn't do anything rash or take any detours. Consider it done. I shall bring him back even if I have to drag him by the goggle straps. I hate Nero's fucking... <laughs> his fucking smile. <laughs> God, I love hate him so much. What are we doing today? Just joined the loot fest. Oh, we're doing Omega Raids, Katie. We're doing Omega Raids. And then we're gonna hop back into MSQ whenever they're, whenever we're done with them. We also wanna do the sal salvage. We also wanna do the savage. I think we need, do we need one more or two more peoples for the savage? Want to come along, eh? It's probably for the best. If we leave you here, Jesse is liable to make a mold of you. Weird champ. <laughs> right, let's get moving. I'll bring the airship to Gradania. Wait for me at the landing. Oh my god, Izagi, what is your luck? <sighs> Thylanders are too much. Thylanders are too much. Fuck. Uh, Gridania. Nero of Skeva, Brock. <laughs> Come out, Wesker Weck. Now it's you. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I just saw a shirtless bun boy, as is tradition. character was like looking away and then just fucking looked at me. <laughs> Hi Val. How goes your stuff? How goes your things over here? How goes your things? How goes leveling? What level are you now? 34? What what is your black mage now? Hey. You're my oh, superstar. Oh. Don't poke me. <gasps> pray! Holy shit. 16 months pray. Pray, thanks so much for the 16 months, you sweet, beautiful, adorable bean. I love you. 41! Emotional damage! 41 black mage. You're schmoovin'. You're schmo I'm gonna poke you in your eyeball. You're schmoovin'. You were in your HUD, you just hear HA! <laughs> Such devastation! Valor, are you high enough level for black mage tutoring yet? Black mage tutoring? What is black mage tutoring? <laughs> Neo, you were so close. You were so close. You tried. This character, Ninja Gaiden 3, who is definitely Wesker. Definitely. Like, just subtle differences to not be copyright, but basically Wesker. I'm sick. Love it. Do you get a do you get the COVID vacation, Prey? Even if it's not necessarily COVID? Black Mage tutoring is me telling her, oh, got you. Mm. Looks like we're all here. Let's make haste to Cartno Flats. Jungle Rat Jim, I think his name is. Hang on, I want to alt tab, but I don't want to alt tab just in case something important happens here. Go on ahead to the control room, sir. We'll follow as soon as we've moored the Excelsior. D 
Oh, they're fucking dead, by the way. Hello? Hang on, I have to look something up. Jungle rat gym. Ninja Gaiden. It's, it's, oh, hold on, what? It's just Wesker. Let's make sure there's no, like, booba or penis here. Okay, we're okay. We're, sa we're safe. Wait, where did they go? Hello? It's, it's literally just Wesker. Like, a hundred percent. That, that is Wesker. Hello? They stole Wesker. It's literally just Wesker. <laughs> they stole him? He was stolen? Are you actually dead? He is, oh, he is unconscious. Oh, there's a fucking, wait. This is one of the creatures from inside the, um, inside Tron, inside Omega, inside the whole. You know you do not, you get a day off tomorrow because of rain and weekend. So you'll be recovering over the weekend. That sucks, Bray. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, a day off is a day off, but like, not enough. Seven hells, bigs, wedge. They got tired playing with the puppo. They're just having a nap. Are you all right? Answer me. Ch Chief, sir? A monster appeared out of thin air. Targets exhibit vital signs. Mission failed. However, Alpha Group members exhibit heightened levels of stress. Objective fulfilled. Oh, this is what they wanted to do to us. Omega? You set that thing upon them? Affirmative. I am able to create simple life forms instantaneously at any temporal or spatial coordinate. Such beings may pose a negligible threat to you, however. They are more than sufficient to grievously wound or kill the majority of your kind. Omega? O Omega? This is like the, the fucking Rick and Morty episode with the car. And it's like, you all have loved ones. All can be brought back. All can be taken away. This is Omega right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, he fucking dead. Becky, welcome back. How was shopping? Also, Wakey really woke up and chose violence against prey. Hello? <laughs> I could instigate a massacre at any time, and you would be powerless to prevent it. I'm just using the car voice now for Omega. Do I detect a shift in policy? Quantity over quality? Negative. My objective remains unchanged. Evolution through formidable op opposition. However, it is the course... Uh, in the course of seeking suitable subjects, I observed an anomaly, those whom you call heroes. History shows numerous instances of otherwise unremarkable individuals who have defeated vastly superior beings, who triumphed in the face of apparently impossible odds, who performed what are popularly termed miracles. This has occurred too frequently to be dismissed as a mere statistical aberration. I seek to understand this phenomenon. Should it prove to be of benefit, I will incorporate it into my own evolution. It is for this purpose that I brought you to my domain. <gasps> Alpha fucking Madge, dude. Pray I know you're timed up, but hi. <laughs> Omega just being like, yeah, I can create creatures literally anywhere in the world and kill literally your loved ones. Literally jolly. Wakey, it's so good to see you, by the way. Wakey, I hope you're good. So putting on a show at the Yon and planting Alpha in our midst was but a part of your grand plan. By your victories, you have demonstrated the self-same anomaly. You are fit to remain my subjects. You will continue participating in my experiment. Withdraw, and I will commence the extermination of your kind. This is an order, a threat, a declaration of war. I am an enemy of all life upon this star. What the fuck, Omega? Bruh? 
Twould seem we have much to ponder, but first things first, we must tend to our friends. Quickly, help me carry them. My favorite part of the weekend is how I get to consume copious amounts of legal drugs. Attaboy. Shopping was okay, just a trip to get cat food and, and your medicine. Hey, a productive one, nonetheless. Celebrate productivity! Garland and Alpha took our two wounded to the Conjurer's Guild. The chief bids me lend a hand, so I suppose I shall take myself there too. You, meanwhile, are to return to Rogger's Reach and report to Jesse. Where? Oh, Rogger's Reach. He needs a powerful enemy, so he's picking a fight. He wants us to perform a miracle. He wants us, or it wants us, to be his... It's... <laughs> fuck. It wants us to be its... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, evolutionary step? We are the formidable foe it's looking for. Don't forget to unlock the savage. Is this the savage? I don't know how to get the savage. Brogers is where the savage will unlock. Okay. Okay. Machine next to Jesse. This one. Okay, okay, okay. What? Omega loose to fiend on Biggs and Wedge? Toying with people's lives like it was all a game. This is madness. Made it in time for Funny Savage. Let's go! S sir will they be all right? The worst is past, but they will drift in and out of consciousness. They'll remain in the Conjurer's care for a time. Then all we can do is wait and pray. Ah, God, strike me down for a fool. I should have been more mindful of the dangers. I should never have... Should never have what? Activated Omega? You know as well as I do that there was no other way to defeat Shinryu. But is this truly any better? All of mankind is being held to ransom, and as the one who activated Omega, I bear the responsibility. The responsibility? <sighs> Just the kind of thing the new you would say. You are deluding yourself, Garland. We are scientists, not heroes. Even you must concede your talents do not extend to combat. The old you understood this far better. He only looked forwards and gave himself wholly to science. And then you changed. You styled yourself a pacifist and started spouting tripe about the proper uses of technology. It was in the wake of your old man's mishap at Boja, I believe. Calm yourself. All I wanted, to, all I wish to say is, embrace who you are, a man who devotes his mind to the making of impossible possible. God dang it, Sid, you ruined everything. It's not his fault. Technically, it was Nero's idea. I'm back, better than ever. <laughs> <laughs> With little prospect to res uh, of restoring the stasis system, I'm afraid we have no recourse but to continue participating in Omega's tests. Assuming Midgar Simmer has the right of it, we face a legion of foes from history both real and imagined. Though I may not be the one who charges into the fray, I shall fight beside you as best I know how. That said, I it will inevitably fall to you to administer the coup de grace, old friend. So please, for Biggs and Wedge, and all of us, don't lose. Oh, it's Scandinavia. Bosia. Gotcha. Alpha, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. It's not your fault. I reckon the little scamp is trying to encourage us. We've fallen far indeed to earn its pity, said the former Tribunus. <sighs> Until such time as Omega next extends us an invitation, you will find me analyzing the data from our investigation. Good day to you. Good day to you. Before they were attacked, Biggs and Wedge discovered a tombstone. Tombstone? I shall examine its contents and make the information available on the terminal over there as I extract it. Feel free to refer uh, to it whenever the occasion arises. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, by the way. Uh, there's no telling when Omega will summon us, but we must all see that we are ready to uh, ready when it does. Fear not, old friend. We'll get through it together somehow or, or other. Learned you're finally under 10k for all your student loans. You're getting there. Initializing. Welcome. How may I assist you today? 
We need one more for Savage, by the way. We're at seven of eight. Access the Savage initiative. Decided to pick up the 14 again after like a year. Have no idea what I'm doing. It's so good. It's so good. You'll get there. Just follow the MSQ, Mook. Follow the MSQ and just enjoy the story. That's the best thing I could tell you to do. Ha, you're paying your student loans. Couldn't be me. Oh no, Becky. <laughs> good day, valued employee. Thank you always for your tireless efforts. Tell me, are you getting enough rest? Are you sleeping and eating well? Are your eyes not blurry from overuse? Here at the Garland Ironworks, your well-being is our priority. To that end, we have introduced a program to address work-related stress. Dubbed the Savage Initiative, for we must be savage on stress. It adds a touch of relaxation to the daily grind. For its maiden feature, we are pleased to bring you Mending Melodies, songs that soothe body and soul. I'm feeling so relaxed. <sighs> this particular piece was composed and recorded for our benefit by a minstrel of no small renown. It has been proven to possess potent healing properties and promises to promote happiness as well as stimulate creativity. Please be forewarned, however, that prolonged exposure may overstimulate the imagination, leading to the augmentation of one's memory. It is recommended that you enjoy the song in moderation. With that, I bid you a fulfilling day of striving for freedom through technology. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Seven is fine, but it's kind of six. Yeah, it's technically six because I'm baby. I am small child. Got someone into Sunhaven a few days ago and they played it for 15 hours. What have you done to them, Prey? What have you done to them? Oh, we're just gonna go ahead, eh? We're gonna go ahead. Hilarious framing device. It's great. It's great. Final call for sal salvage. Why do I keep calling it salvage? Final call for datascape sal. Why did I did it again? Savage. <laughs> Tara just did an old Canadian, a good old Canadian. Did I? Thank you, Carlos. My tiny dragon? I got it from Eureka. I like it. Oh, speaking of tiny. Where is he? I want to see the boy. Hello, X-Death. Hello. How you doing? Ah, sure, why not? Give me a moment to log on. Oh, Ray's joining! We have an eighth. <laughs> Datascape salvage. I can't... My tongue is not working. You freed them. You freed them into the life of good Stardew clone with overly attractive marriage candidates. You're a monster prey. Let me pet you. Do you like pet? It's just standing there. It doesn't like pet. It doesn't like. X -Death, is, X Death is almost the same size as me. For a minion, it's almost as tall as you, I know. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. While we wait, do you know where we should go? To the first? We should go to Norvrant. No, not Norvrant. Here. Raktika. The most important music. It's like life-size Barbie dolls. It's creepy. I don't want it anymore. Where's my where's my dragon? Where's my dragon friend? Here you are, Fafnir. Or should we have Frog Wizard? It's been a while since we had Frog Wizard. There you are. Okay. Most important music in the game. Which way do I go out for it? This way? Not that way. This way? No, this way. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, that's a spoiler. 
Hang on, let me get there before you start singing it. Here it comes. <laughs> it's so good, dude. It has no business being as good as it is. It was an extreme. De How bad is your delay right now, Jolly? Norvrent is the first Aorzea. Oh, it's the whole region of Norvrent. The whole thing. I get you now. I thought Norvrant was like a tiny little subsection of it. <gasps> They're here! Their name is Vani Stormwind. I think Golsev has party lead, right? Vani Stormwind, Golsev! Jumping. Sometimes your delay is one second, other times it's 20. Blech. Ty, look at the world map. It even looks like. That's it. So this is Norbrand. It's got like a main continent with a little island. Let's go Aorzea. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, it does! And obviously, like, this whole section doesn't exist because it's been, like, bathed in light. Holy shit, it does. I wouldn't have noticed that. I wouldn't have noticed that at all. That is so cool. I mean, it's a reflection of it, right? But wow, that's so cool. Hello from Dynamis. Hello, Sith. How you doing? Kaluja, where Yulmor is, is their Limza. It did have major Limza vibes. There we go! We're ready for Savage. Each zone corresponds to a zone on the source. That's so cool. Cool beans, meds are kicking in. Um, time for all the beds. Have a wonderful night. Pray, I love you so much. Thank you so much for the 16 months. You beautiful, beautiful beans. I hope you have good sleep. I hope you recover really quickly. Good, just trying to keep myself sane while I craft. Well, live vicariously through me dying and savage. I think we're doing it unsynced, but I'm gonna die. I'm going to be laying on the floor this whole time. Is there anything big that I should know about savage that you guys can very quickly explain to me? Smiley face? Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. It hurts. Okay, got it. <laughs> Welcome to die. <laughs> I love Alpha. There is indeed a big, I'm welcome to die. <laughs> it me, I am become die. Push the fuck out of him and get to second phase. Okay! Does that mean I embolden? Embolden! Wait, you guys are murdering him. You guys are absolutely murdering him? Okay, I'm safe. I'm so scared. I'm frightened. Did that happen to him last time? I don't remember this. Oh! Bye, have a beautiful time. What the fuck? What now? Oh! <laughs> fuck, the wall jump scared me. 
Hello? Bruh? I am Neo X Death. All memories, dimensions, existence, all that is shall be returned to nothing. Then I too can disappear. Holy shit, this is so fucking cool. Remind you of anything? Do not fucking relate that entrance to like Goatsy. Don't. Don't do that to me. This is so cool. It has creatures all over the side of it. I can't make any of them out. They're probably references to previous games. My god, this is so cool. The music's also fucking bopping. Off balance. Hysteria. Ah! <laughs> Whoopsies. Wee. <laughs> you can do it, Ray. You can do it. I believe. That intra and entrance, that entrance was so fucking cool. What the hell? That was so cool. That was so, so, so cool. Savage fights 4, 8, and 12 pretty much always have a second phase that are never in the normal modes. So cool. I literally cannot get over that. Also, Marvel Kolo, I don't know if I said hi. Titan? Oh, that's a summoner. Watch out, sh sir. He's shaking the very foundations of creation. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Woo! I'm actually not dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Holy laser beams. Why me? Why me? I'm gonna fuck things up. I picked up somebody else who can res. Oh no, we lost our tank! I don't know if I have the mana for a raise. I do. I got you, body. I need more mana. Red mage res time. Too bad my mana is suffering. <laughs> For that, lucid dreaming is your friend, yeah. We were so close. So lucid dreaming gives me how much mana back? Because I was only able to get off two re reses before I was completely out. Doesn't really say. When he does the two colors, got to match opposites? I have no idea what that means. I'm just 
do my best. Oh, it hit me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Help me. Thank you. Holy jeez. I need to get closer, don't I? Oh, no. I don't know what this means. There was a dice rolling above my head. Now there's colors. White wound. Taking extra damage from white anti-light. I think we got it. Woo! 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 I am the Salvage Delta. Achievement award. That was so cool. I had no idea what was happening. There was dice rolling, there was colors, there was pushing, <laughs> but that was so cool. <gasps> so, so, so cool. I've never done the math, but as long as you don't blow through MP using raises, uh, Lucid Dreaming should be off cooldown fast enough. You should almost never run out of MP. Got you. Boom, 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 boom. Prism is the mount. Alt right prism. Genji weapon coffer? I already have next death. Genji weapon coffer? Do I need on these? What do I do? I'm gonna greed on these. I don't know what these are. I'm, I'm just gonna greed. I don't know what those are. Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's been so long since I did this fight. That was so fun! That was really fun. I liked when he ripped open a hole in, in the nothingness. Weapon coffers give you raid weapons for the club. Oh, so I probably should have needed on them for aesthetics. But I mean, I'm working on Eureka, so I'm not typically, I'm not really concerned about other weapon aesthetics. Who got the mount? I don't think I did. I would have heard a noise, right? No, I did not. Oh, we're doing another one? I did need the mount, but roll. Oh, you didn't mean to roll. <laughs> oh, you wanted to? No, that's fine. That's the, that's the snake mount, right? Does this, does this one savage have multiple mounts in it? I didn't deserve that mount. What the heck? Yes, of course you did. The snake, gotcha. And the new one is the fire snake, right? It's just the one mount, gotcha. All right, we embolded. We embolded. Danger noodle. <laughs> There are three phases of the Omega stuff. Each one has a mount. Got it, okay. Terra no mount. To get Danger Noodle for Strummer. Wait, that's so nice. They're saying this in party chat. I cry. Third one is best, also probably hardest savage in the game. Damn, okay. Embolden. But also manification. Yeet! I just, okay, I just love this animation. Where's it gonna come out? Because I wanna do this. It's gonna come out right here, right? I need like a first person view of this shit. That's so cool. 
I think this is where it shows up. Please show up right here. Oh, it's so cool. That's so sick, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> so sick. Hi, Mac! Thirty seconds on golden. By the way, I'm now experienced with the end of Final Fantasy V without playing it. Hell yeah. I'm gonna know what I'm signing myself up for if I ever play it. Embolden! Manification! Go! Magic down. What? <laughs> Do I have any mana potions on me to help with grazing? Oh, these are all for HP. Uh, well, I should have waited a little bit to rest. <laughs> Macro icons aren't working. Hey, you guys did it! Uh oh, how do I? I want to. Uh oh. How? How become dead? Help me. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. Return to the starting point, yes. It's a good day to have a good day, folks. Mac, I'm glad to hear it. I want this one. And I want this one. And I want this one. And then I get rid of that one. And then I get rid of that one. Alt-right prism! Boop. We did it. We did it! Gamers, thanks for help. Yay, Strummer got mount! Gamers, thanks for help. I have Danger Noodle now. <sighs> Uh, slash mount BGM. Let me grab Danger Noodle. Uh, mount Guide. Danger Noodle. The alt right mount. Danger Noodle! So we do each mount farm every time Terra gets through a section. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm down. It's fucking creepy ass music, dude. The alt right. <laughs> Somebody made that joke early on, Ray, so I've just been calling it the alt right the whole time. You've tried copy pasting the ones on the red folks given, but they won't even work. It's either because I'm free trial or I'm stupid. <laughs> Can the the free trial has access to all the macros and stuff, right? I don't understand why they would limit that. Danger noodles! Guys, thanks for help. Thanks for help streamer. Thanks for help streamer get mount. Um, so there's more to Omega, right? Oh hi. Love you. Hey, you're cute. He ran away. He ran away. Uh, there's more to Omega, isn't there? Uh, 
I think there was a quest in Ralders that I didn't grab. X death is four. Oh, there's 12 fights total. Jeez. Uh, where's my teleport button? Ralder. Ralder, Ralder. There it is. 12 for every raid series. That's awesome. Only one third done. Let's go. Lahi. Rumika. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Three wings of four floors, which eat standard for regular raids after a realm are born. That's so cool. Do you see what I see? I see a chocobo in ironworks gear. In that little thumbnail there. Sir, I'm glad you're here. In case you haven't heard, we've observed a huge surge of anomalous energy coming from the Yawn. Of a nasty feeling, this means Omega's uh, ready to go ahead with the next stage of its experiment. Master Garland is on his way, so let's hear what he has to say. Care to share your thoughts on this, Chief? Our colleagues on the ground have reported the appearance of mysterious floating structures inside the Yawn. If you recall, we were investigating a similar anomaly when Alpha and Alt-Right made their appearance. I'm just gonna keep calling them Alt-Right. I can't help it. <laughs> Omega certainly knows how to get our attention. I blush to recall the eagerness with which we plunged into the abyss, ignorant of the warped gladiatorial contest that awaited us within. But with a st what a staggering collection of opponents, plucked from the pages of both history and fiction for their ability to pose a threat to Omega. And should you prevail against these interdimensional champions, what then shall be your prize? Why, a battle against the most devastating weapon this world has ever seen. How marvelous. Baja has 13? Pretty sure they lump Baja in with Aroma Born. It's a great story, but the fights are rough. Um, Crystal Tower. So I had to do Crystal Tower when I was doing Realm Reborn. I didn't have to do the Bahamut raids. Or Bahamut? I, oh fuck, I always butcher its pronunciation. Um, I, I think I still haven't done that because that, that was supposed to be like a whole like side Alize thing, right? And I didn't do it. Can't wait till Terry gets to Endwalker and do the Panda Savages. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I'm excited. He says with eyes of flame for once. I wish you were being sarcastic. Crystal Tower is the only mandatory raid series. Yes. Anyway, the energy surge. Based on our previous experience, it seems highly probable that our sig uh, that it is our signal to rejoin the fray. Coils is good lore. I want to go back for Coils at some point. I don't know when, but maybe we'll set a day aside to do Coils as well. We should do Baham. Yeah, exactly. It's the true ending of A Roma Born. Should have been mandatory story content. That's what a lot of people are saying. They're saying the coils has, have a lot to them. Uh, needless to say, it's an invitation we cannot refuse. Not when the alternative is Omega unleashing its creations on Eorzea. Well, sir, are you ready to answer the call? Well, I'm afraid Biggs and Wedge won't be answering any calls just yet. They're still mending for the ambush in the control center. Yes, of course. We'll still have to struggle on without them for the time being. Lurk enjoy Raidu! Phone, I love you so much. Thanks for joining us for that. After Shadowbringers, at most, since it's recommended to do Baja before Endwalker. <gasps> There's probably important story stuff in there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Don't worry. Nero and I will see to it that you receive all the support you need. Defeat is not an option. Quee! I do believe Alpha here agrees. Oh, that reminds me. I've got something special for you, little fellow. Come with me. <gasps> it's going to be from the thumbnail. I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Show me. Show me. Ah! It's little, little metal shoes. Oh my God. It's so cute. Ironworks Alpha! A custom-made Ironworks uniform. Oh, you do look smart, I must say. What a smart boy he is. 
What a smart boy he is. Look at him. So smart in his little engineer outfit. I'm definitely overtired because I'm cackling, Mac. Have a coffee. I think they would do some remodeling to the Baja stuff and add like final, uh, each final tier to MSQ Roulette, but that's always really awkward. Crystal Tower was long. Speaking from somebody that was new to the game, a realm, in, when I was in A Realm Reborn, Crystal Tower, I was having trouble following the storyline because it felt detached. It was random and weird, but I understand why it was mandatory for like, obviously for the roulettes, but still. Check out my menu when you get out. Okay. He's part of the expedition team, after all, and considering the dangers lurking in that rift, it's only right we give him some proper protective equipment. Bahamut synced difficult would be problematic. Yeah. How very thoughtful of you, Jesse. And here I was thinking you were just sizing him up for a new range of merchandise. Unlike you, I could do two things at once. They made it mandatory in 5.3. Wait, what's mandatory in 5.3? Crystal Tower? Because we, I think we knew that. That's why it needs to rework. Mm. I wish I had that uniform. Really? I wouldn't be seen dead in it. This is perfectly acceptable attire for an engineer. Sturdy, practical, and best of all, most stains will scrub right out. I'm not sure it'd last long on you, what with all the fighting, but if you're desperate for a set, you're welcome to have a word with our tailors. Ironwork set! My cat is laying literally one inch away from the wheel of your desk chair. She desires death. Oh my god, I hate when they do that. And they sleep there, like psychopaths. And then they get mad at you if you bump into them with it. Yeah, it was made mandatory due to its relationship with Shadowbringers. Ah, makes sense. Fascinating though this discussion of Ironworks garmature undoubtedly is. Might our time be better spent, say, traveling to the on? Omega awaits. This isn't God of Boy, thoughtful face. You don't have it anywhere in your schedule either. Thoughtful face? <laughs> Ronaldo! I'm gonna be waiting a while to play God of Boy, or Dad of Boy. Uh ah! God, I love that mount. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be waiting a little while to play Dad of Boy, just so everyone can get their playthroughs done, and then they don't have to be scared of spoilers and whatnot. Um, and also I got a lot. I got a lot of games I'm playing right now. Between everything. <laughs> I just gave my parents weed chocolate. Yes, I would never give it to someone without telling them that's fucked up. Yeah, they, I would hope they would know. Marwick, that's gonna be fun and funny and entertaining. Wind Up Alpha is not from Mog Station. I need it. I need it. I need this. Wind Up Alpha is easy to get. Okay, good. Good. I need it. Return to the rifts. I waited to show the minion until unlocked until we unlocked the outfit. I appreciate that. I think I'm 10 hours into it already. Uh, I put all the other games on hold until I finish first. So everybody that I know that is currently playing, uh, the new dad of boy loves it. They say it's really freaking good. They say really, really, really good things about it. But like. The newest Data Boy, aside from this one, was really, really good as well, so I'm not that surprised. All they had to do was just not fuck it up in the process. Burb! That's a cool looking burb. Can I? Oh, I thought I could fall in it. It's the hole. Guys, I have to pee. We're gonna take a quick little break, okay? Everybody go pee, go get water. Maybe stand up and stretch a little bit. <sighs> and we'll be back in like five minutes or something. I don't know. <sighs> and then we'll do the next part of the Omega Raids. <sighs>
not fuck it up as a hard one though. It's okay. Game sequels are uh, game sequels are tricky because you want to take what what people loved about the core game and improve upon it. Because if you don't improve upon it, then people just call it a lazy cash grab in that you just release the same game with like new areas and, and shit like that. So you want to improve upon it, but if you improve upon it, if you get too ambitious with your improvements, you risk fucking it up. That's the problem. The game hates me. Oh no, Val. Okay, take a quick pee break, everybody. Go pee, um, go get water. Let's walk around a little bit, maybe, if you've been sitting for a while. Love you, see you in a bit. Mwah. Better ingredients, better pasta. That's the power of Home Depot. No pressure. I know we put a lot of pressure on phone the last time. <laughs> when I. If I see Chica right now, I'm dead. Chica saw me. Admire him. Look. Look at Zimmy. Love him. Zimmy. Oh, yes, buddy. He's a good boy. It's his now. It is his. All right, now I got to put this back so it's actually getting green screened. Wait, did it just work? Nope, not quite. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where do I go? Oh my! It sounds like he's like. Ask me what that scream was because I don't know what it was. Oh, the knocking one! The knocking one! How does the knocking one scare me more than freaking the screamer? Frick, you're knocking. Frick, you're knocking. <laughs> Can we get a laugh counter? That was great. I don't know if that was meant to be scary, but that was great. Big werewolf. Who wants big werewolf? I don't want to get flashed by Freddy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't want to either, Frogo. That would be terrible. I would hate that so much. That would just be like the worst thing ever if Freddy flashed me. Like, that would just be so bad. I would just really not enjoy that at all. Like, at all. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> uh. I don't know what to pick. I'm going to go rancher. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go rancher. <laughs> no. <laughs> Double action. <laughs> oh lordy. Oh my god. Oh my god. He on X Games. Okay, I think he's rotting. He's rotting! We're good. That's a ledge, Tara! That's a ledge! <laughs>
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> Yo, hook me up with them. No! No! Him again? No! No! Hey, puppy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Come here. Come here. Hello, boy. Come here, boy. I want to pet you. Oh, you can pet the Doge. All right, best game. Best game, look at that tail. <laughs> oh my God. The dudes that go like, and then run at you? Yeah, I've seen those. I've seen those. And they, I hate them. I hate them. They run so chaotically, and then they just fucking like, peek at you around corners, and I hate it. They're the worst. <laughs> those are my favorite. Hang on, I wanna, I wanna pet the, I wanna pet the, let me, let me pet the, there we go. He looks so happy! <laughs> He's looking up at my hand! Wait! <laughs> the, the fucking... Booze! Are we chill here? <gasps> Boy, holy shit! <laughs> we're not, <laughs> we're not chill here! God damn it. Not toilet. fixed, yeah, but paused. Uh, best I do it. Oh, and it does tell you I've also been. <gasps> oh, my fucking horse! Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you could make that jump, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I look away for one second, and my horse eats shit. I tried to jump. Fell in the hole. We're going in the hole, you guys. RDR2, also known as Terra Kills Horse. Listen. Listen. I stand by. The horse controls were not intuitive. Okay? Wasn't good. Ah. Yeah, for real, for real. New face streamer. I love it here. Um. I, B, C, K, N, E. I, B, C, N, E. On to some streams. And even if they're cool, they're not for me. But this right here, I'm cozy as fuck. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that, even though I don't understand. Oh, I come here. I come onto some streams. Got you. Play it and see if it does that again. <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? Hang on, how do I replay my alerts? Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I have to do it here. I forgot I don't have a button for it. Um. Um. Uh, let's see if it makes the horrifying noise again. <laughs> Why? Why? All right, you guys have a new jump scare? It's cheaper than the 666? <laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, that's so scary. Wah! Hello? <laughs> Fucking hike! 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 Thank you for the 10 gifted! What the hell, dude? That's so heckin' generous. And Jolly's doing things with Shapiro. Jolly, thank you for the 200 biddies. Hike! Jesus Christ! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Holy hell! That means the heckin' world to me. You know that. Thank you. Jesus. <sighs> My god, who all got those? Tricks just Yo, Seth! Xenobay, Isabellers, St. Curls, yo, Vox! Kuiper Kuiper Bully. Dude, so many good people. Fraxes, so many good people got gift subs there. Hike, thank you so, so much for gifting 10 to the community. What the hell? That's so generous. Ah, I felt a great disturbance in the TTS. It's as if a thousand L's cried out in Watch Mojo and were suddenly silenced. Possibly Hike, I think. I think, I think I might get roped into Overwatch with some of my friends. Because I haven't played anything with them in a couple days because I've been on a destiny kick. <laughs> Whoopsies! But possibly, possibly hike. 
Oh. 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 What are these terrifying noises you guys are making? Hey, welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we'll be counting down our favorite top 10 top 10 titus fails. <laughs> Echo, thank you for the 100 bits. Marwick, thank you for the 100 bits. Guys, thank you for starting a fucking hype train. Hello? Hello? Guys, thank you for all the support. Kyperbole! I, dude, don't tell Kyperbole that I'm saying this. I actually, I really like Kyperbole. They're one of the, like, there's a lot of people that I interact with on this platform that I love, but it's like, it's rare that you meet somebody that you instantly feel like really, really good vibes from, and Kyperbole is one of those people. Like that, Sloppy. within like minutes of interacting with them, you're like, oh, holy shit, this is a great person. Other people, it kind of takes you some time to fully understand their vibe and get what they're all about. Kyperbole was like right away for me. I was like, damn, Hell does I like this it person work a this lot. Way again. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Echo, thank you for the 100 bits. Guys. Guys, stop pressing buttons. Holy shit, you guys. I'm trying to Omega Raid over here. <laughs> Holy shit, Jolly, thank you for gifting us up to Mook. World, thank you for the fucking 10 gifted. Hello? Hello? You do, Hike, you do. Hello? <laughs> Guys, thank you for all the support. What the heck? You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Echo, thank you for the biddies. W -L -O -U, bitch. Lo you bitch. I love you too, Marwick. Marwick, thank you for the biddies. Echo, thank you for the biddies. Jesus Christ, you guys. About to beat your lack rat. rat <laughs> I can't even talk. The thing says, I've never seen this. About to beat your last record. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Jolly. <laughs> that was so scary. Jolly, thank you for the 100 biddies. Guys, thank you, Jesus Christ, for the unprecedented support. It means the absolute world. As full-time streamer, you guys know that every little bit counts and goes the distance. So thank you. Thank you! Watch Mojo can't handle anything other than words. She just becomes an eldritch horror at that point. World! Thank you for the 269. <laughs> the 69, by the way, nice. Thank you for the 269 biddies! Holy shit. I feel like overwhelmed little bean. Thank you so much, you guys. The TTS monster is on LSD today. A hundred percent. A thousand percentile. Did I miss anything? You guys pressed a lot of buttons all at once. Let me just, let me make sure I didn't miss any biddies or gift subs or anything. Terry's new hype shit. There is! Th is this your first time seeing it, Marwick? It, there's no, like, five isn't the cap anymore. It just goes until, until it's done going. It's Welcome crazy. to Watch Mojo, and today, are you ready to sell your soul to the devil? Aw, oh, she didn't fucking- <gasps> Welcome to Watch Mojo. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 text-to-speech spams. <laughs> Jolly, thank you for 100 bits! Echo, thank you for 100 bits, Mark. Thank you for 100 bits. From 50 mouths. You know what I think is happening with that? I think that is actually what's happening, studs. I think when you put all the L's beside each other in the voice, I think it just- <gasps> It pronounces all the L's at once. Neil, thank you for kitty bitties. I think it pronounces all the L's at once, and that's how we get that absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Marwick. <laughs> thank you for the triple six bitties, Marwick. And that's how you get the absolutely terrifying fucking um what's the word? Uh nightmare fuel of it. <laughs> oh. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ways to spend your last 100 bits. Number one is using the Watch Mojo Lady. Echo! Thank you for all the biddies, you sweet soul. I d okay, my top favorites for the TTSs that we have is definitely the Watch Mojo, definitely the Stanley Parable one, and oh shit, there's one more that I love. Oh, the number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. That one's also really good. Chills. The Chills voice is really good. Yeah, it chills. Hang on, gotta buy more of his Marwick, no! <laughs> Marwick, no! The Watch Mojo is terrifyingly accurate. It's And same with the Stanley Parable voice. Not lewd shadow. The shadow voice is good, but it's so breathy. It's really breathy when it's becoming like AI. Bumber 15, Burger Bing Butt Lettuce. <laughs> 
Babast bing boo bon on your berber bing berber. <laughs> the chills voice is just a oh the the moist critical voice is also pretty good, but chills is just better moist critical. There I said it. There I said it. Ah, oh, guys, holy shit! I feel like flustered supported little bean. Thank you so much for all the support. Seriously. So have you seen the TikToks where people are using the new voice filter to imitate the watch? Yes, I have, Echo. I have, I have. I need to know what happens after five. Uh, after five what? Fetch me their Solzel. Solzel. <laughs> Marwick, thank you for biddies. Jolly, thank you for biddies. Guys, thank you so much. Um, it, uh, Marwick, as far as I can tell, it just, it keeps going. Like it goes five, six, seven, etc. Onward. Forever. Until it, until it doesn't. Oh, I think it, I think it goes forever. I don't think there's a new cap. Lobstera time? So about that. So about that. About Lobstera. Do you guys want to do it on Friday? Do you want to do it tomorrow? I don't feel like getting up and getting changed. But I can deliver you a Lobstera tomorrow if you want. Don't you scam me? Listen. Listen. I'm lazy. I accept IOUs? We'll do it tomorrow. When does Lobstera kick in? Level 5 hype trains, which we did do. Guys, thank you for the 21 subs! And the- well, how much was it? 2,366 biddies. Guys, thank you so much. So, I owe you for tomorrow's stream? For spooky stream? Emotional damage! <laughs> Guys, I just want to say one more time. Thank you for all the support. Jesus cripes. Jesus cripes, thank you. Where the hell were we? Uh, hmm, how inviting. I'm ready when you are, sir. Say the word and we'll take the plunge. Yeah! Oh. Oh, we're not. Get me out. Get me out of the alliance. Yeah. Yeah. World has all the hype trains. Of this batch of hype train emotes, what are the best ones? I think hype lurk is very strong. I think hype high is very strong. And I think hype lull is also very strong. Are there any others that are standout? Hype Shock is also pretty good. The Shocked Pikachu Squirrel. You also have all the hype emotes. God, you guys are crazy. Right then, into the on we go. Oh, the otters are pretty cute. I'm with you, mortals, along with what scant wisdom I can provide. Why are we here, Jolly? Just a buffer? The sound of a bird flying into a wood chipper. Weird, but okay. <laughs> it's us. We in! We back in. Your favorite hype you have from way back? My favorite hype that I don't have from way back is Pride Pog. I will never forgive Twitch for locking away Pride Pog. Pride Pog, I, I... If you're here for any length of time, you will hear me bitch about the fact that I don't have Pride Pog. Because I love it so much. It's so cute. It's just the correct level of derpy and cute. Yes, Tara, we know you like Pride Pog. I know. I know. My regulars have been hearing this for, like, 20 months. <laughs> well, the rift seems as much as it did before. And we appear to be mercifully solid. Ah, but I do detect some changes. If I'm not mistaken, there are fewer eggs floating in the ether. The selection process is going as as uh, as as thought. Am I getting scammed by Twitch? I think so, Jolly. What happened to you? Welcome, Alpha Group. Your prompt arrival is appreciated. Omega, it would seem your experiment continued in our absence. Affirmative. Progress has been satisfactory. Approximately 50% of the test subjects have been eliminated. Each test world hosts an ongoing contest, wherein the strong eliminate the weak. The process is certain, conclusive, inevitable. Every result matches the predicted outcome. Every result, except yours. Do these images cause you distress? Please, examine them closely. Without suitable simulation, you may not exceed your calculated probability of success. What a fu- fu Fuck Omega, dude. What an ass. Your survival is crucial to my study. Through you, I must continue to explore the contradiction I have 
discovered in your otherwise impotent kind. The ability to triumph against overwhelming odds is one which I must acquire. Foolish machine, what hast thou to show for all the years uh, that have passed since the culmination of our war? Not save thy continued existence. Hast thou no thought for what befalleth thy home star? Your attempts to provoke me will not succeed. I will follow my programming. Fight, win, evolve. And then I will return to... Blip, blip. To what? I'm sorry, to what? To what? One year of Terra! Curls, you have planet badge now? Curls! Congrats on your badge upgrade. You gifted a sub it hasn't went through? Uh, I think it did. Unless you gifted another sub. Because it did go through. Mm -hmm. About 10 minutes ago, yeah. Hey, do these crime scene photos make you nervous? This is for posterity, so be honest. <laughs> Studs literally Omega. Yeah, that's what I see too. That's what I see too, Jelly. Um, error. Accurate rendering of temp of planetary label impossible in current mode of communication. Terminating exchange and returning to priority experiment. That was a, there was not a second. Yeah, so Twitch did scam you then. Alterations to equipment parameters detected. Recalculating projected combat capabilities. Complete. I will now commence recording your practical performances. It, did it recalibrate because... Did it recalibrate because Alpha has fucking Ironworks armor? Proceed. Alpha group. Overcome the obstacles in your path and reach the end of the course constructed for you. Time to make a ticket. Yeah, fog. It seems we have our orders. Shall we cut a path through the chaff then? Are those? Ah, uh, uh, those are some nice cards, which means, one moment, card game play, play? You mean to play a part in the proceedings this time? Is Alpha an astrologian? <laughs> of course that's what you meant. Well, we do have authorization to fight in this area of the rift, so I suppose there's no nothing to stop you from joining us. Welcome aboard, Alpha. Maybe if we home soon, we'll do Bozia. This will probably be my last section I could be here for. Absolutely, Neo. I wanted to do a little bit of MSQ today anyways, so maybe we'll save the rest of Omega for next week. So we'll do this section, and we'll finish Omega later, because I, I just, I want to dip my toes into the MSQ some more so I don't fully forget where we're at. There's no avoiding this evaluation. Let's watch our step through, eh? One of Omega's monitors on your mark, sir. I'm gonna smack it. Eh. Oh, of course it's shielded. Leave the barrier to me. Quit. Alpha, mind the trap. Well, you're stuck for now. Wait, is Mid Garsmer gonna fight? What in the motorbike monsters? Literally stuck. That's taken care of. Hmm. Child's play. It's been a poor welcome thus far. Let's just move along, shall we? We're be getting a charge phone seat of it. That's a lot of monitors. Sir? Alpha? They're not here. Oh! oh, Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> We've arrived on different platforms. Come, Nero, we have to find a way out. We have visitors first, and they don't seem kind on letting us pass. Or keen on letting us pass. You just had to bemoan our poor welcome, didn't you? damage numbers Alpha's putting out. Oh, I can see them. Kind of? 800 damage. You're doing it, Alpha! You're doing 800 damage. I'm so proud of you. 
while I'm doing like 5,000. Okay. Switch is basically dead, so I think it's time to switch from one hyperfixation, Pokemans, to another, Sims. Echo, how long have you been fixated on the Sims, out of curiosity? Are you limit breaking? Huh? What? What just happened? Alpha pulled out a card and did all the things. Been playing Sims 4 since release. Fixation comes and goes. Got it. I hope you're fixated on this game. Same, Neo. Basically, since mid Heavensward, well, since the vault, d this game has become a hyper fixation. Anything that it can inflict emotional trauma on me, I like. <laughs> I don't know why. Alpha being the alpha male he is. Wesker! Fortunately for you, I came prepared for the occasion. <laughs> what a perfect opportunity to field test my latest creation. Magitek armor? Oh! Uh, he got his hammer back! Oh shit! Okay, Nero! Behold! The mark... I don't know. Iron Nero. <laughs> I don't know Roman numerals. XLVIII. -I -I. Complete with the new and improved Mighty Mjolnir Gun Hammer. Step aside, Garland, and bear witness to the devastation. Such devastation. 48. Thank you, studs. Stand by for Titanfall. Just Nero doing a magical girl transformation! Moon, yes! Yes! <laughs> Absolutely yes. Nero, become our magical girl. Nero, did you sign any contracts recently? Because he was in the 48th Legion. That makes sense. I like this theme. It's no Stormblood boss theme, but it's still pretty good. Me, who's been going through a Sims addiction since The Sims 1. Olge. Sean arrives has entered the chat, studs. I like that they brought back his boss theme, yeah. Do you know what's been weirdly nostalgic? So I've been helping Vel, like Valora, with lower level dungeons because she's new to the game. And the the fucking generic boss theme from A Realm Reborn, the it's been like weirdly nostalgic. Dada Luma, hello father figure. Hiya! Sloppy! Boy! How dare you, Jolly? I miss ARR sometimes. Uh, uh, Neo, may I say one thing to you that'll make you not miss it? Pray return to the Waking Sands. Boom. I solved your nostalgia for you. Didn't get a chance to play the older games for the same reason I didn't play a lot of older games. No PC, no consoles. Oof! 
So your fascination isn't rooted in nostalgia like some of us. Fuck the waking sands. <laughs> it's a rite of passage, Val. It's a rite of passage, okay? It's nostalgic when you don't do those quests almost every second of every day. Yeah. I dare because I can. That seems to be the end of them. End of the path as well. Uh-oh. As far as operational duration goes, that was pushing the limit. Still, it should suffice. In between scrambling to stay out of the way of Nero's new toy, I found myself wondering about the card you used, Alpha. Care to explain? Hello? He boasteth that it is but one of many tools at his disposal. Be not deceived by his appearance. Like all of Omega's creations, Alpha was chosen for his prowess in battle. Got a little strong little warrior here. Lip analysis complete. Twitch dead? Wait. Uh, hello? No, you good? We good? Okay, okay, okay. Your stream is fine? Okay, okay. It paused for a second, but we're okay? Everyone just refresh. Slash. Refresh. <laughs> there we go. Twitch, what are you doing right now? Twitch, high off its rocker. Step Twitch, what are you doing? <laughs> Such devastation. I, oh, I also see no badges. Oh, God. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, badges are showing back up. Twitch buggy today. Oh, oh God, seeing a chat full of no badges felt weird. <laughs> that made me feel so privileged to have most of my chatters be subscribed. <laughs> Cause seeing people without badges just looked weird to me now. <laughs> Congrats on the gift subs, you, you peoples, by the way. Badges, we don't need no stinking badges. I don't have any of your following in the left, but it's no longer saying you're not following or something. That's so weird. The badgeless, the hollow, the hollow. Your following list is gone too? What the heck? Tell Hike, thank you for you. I will, Xenobay, don't worry. Hi, gay. No, oh, there it goes. Twitch just shat itself. Yeah, everything is green on my end. Nothing really, we didn't lose any frames or anything, so that was definitely a Twitch, a Twitch hiccup. That's so weird. By then, you'll be something other than a sub. A thing which feeds on gifts. A hollow. <laughs> Stuts. I like the instant lore for the badge list. <laughs> Your stuff was fine. Your list is still there. Weird. Not OBS shitting itself. What a blessing, Mac. What a blessing for it to not be OBS. Fixed with like the seventh refresh. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> Mod view was back. I was so lost. <laughs> Twitch decided, all right, time to follow suit and die. Dark Souls 2 has the best intro of the series. Don't try to fight me. I won't. But did you see Elden Ring's intro? Did you hear the voice acting? Ironicus, thank you for the hydrate. Everything else works and I don't often redeem. It's fine. Okay. We're okay. If it's not fully fixed, just just refresh a couple more times. Howdy gamer, how you doing? Oh ye tarnished. When the when the voice actor just gets so fucking hyped up in the Elden Ring intro, it's like, whoa! It was honestly good. It's good, but DS2's intro is actually about being cursed and how bad it is. Oh, ye tarnished. Sorry. <laughs> you reset your whole phone? Oh my gosh, Neo. Holy heck. I'll spot you for redeems. I also enjoy saving my points and channels in weird. Muffin, are you like me in that some streamers have big expensive redeems, but I... I don't want to spend my point because it's mine. Those are my points. I don't, I don't want to spend them. It's mine. It's, number go bigger when I'm in stream. So I collect them and they're worthless, but I collect them. 
<laughs> I have infinite points because someone won't give me point dumps. Yeah, Mac, you know what? The more you complain about it, the more I won't do it. <laughs> I don't know. Results match revised projections. At this rate of improvement, you will fail to qualify as subjects of note. Midgarsimer, your parameters are notably inferior. Dost thou yet believe me the mighty worm I was in life? That incarnation perished, perished long ago. My fate was sealed the moment I delivered my spawn onto this far-flung star. Looking at your gunbreaker job, all the buttons are meaningless to me right now. Yeah, and they won't fully become meaningful to you until you play it for like a couple hours. And then you'll be like, oh, I see. Gunbreaker's so fun though, Mook. I really, really like it. And I usually don't like tanks in games. 1.5 mil someday. Dude, I still can't get over the time when somebody actually ended my stream. During a horror stream, no less. Save me from scary. <laughs> the more you complain about it, the less likely I am to do it. Fixed it for you, thank you. It's the contrarian in me. It's like, it's, my toxic personality trait is somebody telling me to do something that I definitely need to do to better myself, but then I don't want to do that thing because they told me to do it. It wasn't like me coming up with it on myself. They told me to, so therefore I don't want to do it. That's my definitely, absolutely one of my worst toxic personality traits. I need to, you need to like, you need to, um, you need to like bamboozle me. You need to trick me into making me think I came up with the idea. You have to like mental gymnastics me. And then I'll be like, it was my idea. Now I want to do it. <laughs> How's this? Tara, do not ever add a high point redeems. Echo, fuck you. I'm going to add the most expensive. No. <laughs> Tara's that well now I'm not going to do it penguin there, there's a meme of this isn't there the pingu right <gasps> it's me hello it's me wait I found it me when somebody tells me to do something this me <laughs> pingu vtuber when <laughs> That's absolutely me. <laughs> oh shit, I skipped some dialogue. <laughs> I don't know why, but the aggressive ass Echo Fuck You took me out. That was great. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I love all the new humans we see in chat like all the time, but I fucking love bullying my regulars. Like, I don't, I don't know, with the newer humans, I'm a, I'm a little gentle. I'm like, oh, oh baby, oh sweet, precious. Like the Gordon Ramsay meme. Like, <laughs> with kids, that's me, with new chatters. I'm like, oh, so precious, so cute. And then you've been here for like a week and I'm shitting all over you. <laughs> Literally, me too. <laughs> the new chatters don't know what they're in for. <laughs> uh, Tara should add a wasted point. Do you guys want a 420.69? Like, a 42,069 points. Do you want that? Just to waste your points and it does literally nothing. You want a waste points button? I will give you a waste points button. Yes, okay, I will give you a waste. Nothing will happen. There'll be no noise. There'll be no pop-up. 42069. Boom, waste points. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you guys are so weird. <laughs> I'm literally gonna call it waste your points, okay? Th so there's no deception. You guys are know what you're getting into. The first one, Echo, the first one. So you have to save the fuck up to waste your points. <laughs> Either way, yes. <laughs> Do you care that we're weird? No, it makes me love you more. I follow another streamer who has an absolutely nothing redeem that costs... Holy fuck, studs. Jesus. We also need a push button redeem that wastes one point with no cooldown. <laughs> I know you won't know the references too much, but you should probably experience this tier. Okay. Okay, I will. I'm sorry, Izagi. We got so sidetracked. Whew. Paying attention. Whew, focusing. <sighs> Your account correlates with my records. It explains why I arrived on this plane, only to find that my journey's purpose was lost. Of necessity, my priority shifted to repairs, even as I searched for a new target of sufficient strength. Look at that face in the uh, egg screen. It's making me think of hexadecimal. Even more, this area just feels like reboot to me. Back to Mecha K K K Pogo Television. Yes. No, studs, if you've ever seen Reboot, this is Mike the TV. Yet I still do not understand why you aid these creatures. Dramatic pause. I should think the reason plain, but mayhap tis not for, so, uh, for 
not so for a soulless machine such as thee. By thee and thine was my home laid waste. The sound of thee, thy very scent, visiteth upon me a tempest of rage. But I lend these mortals what little aid I can render. Thank you for the hydrate, by the way. Pingu Mad! <gasps> the most important emote to be added. Pingu Mad. Love it. Oh, illogical. If your purpose is to facilitate my destruction, it would require an entity more powerful than you were at your prime. Without the means to muster such might, your presence here is meaningless. Not Omega fucking throwing shade, dude. The experiment continues. Alpha Group, your next opponent awaits you within the Sigma Scape. Enter and commence the contest. Sigma Scape 1.0, right? That's what come next. That should do it. Our new base of operations is up and running. Now, what I'd really like to do is delve a little deeper into Omega's past, but as our dragon seems disinclined to indulge my curiosity, we'd best focus on the task at hand. Let's get on with conquering the occupants of the Sigma Scape, shall we? We shall! Sigma Scape grind set Sigma Balls 1.0. <laughs> if you intend to destroy me, you might have, uh, might have tried being a threat, literally studs. Uh, before you cross the threshold, we should take a moment to discuss where we stand. That is the test world you need to conquer, that Sigma Scape. Is that a mask or a face? The castle was certainly a surprise, but this is verging on disturbing. And we currently have no idea what it might signify. The first instinct is to dive straight into our analysis. The problem being that without a reference point from within this Sigmascape to start from, we'll have no way of knowing if we're even analyzing the correct data. Which means you'll just have to go in blind. Hardly the best way to enter into a fight, but needs must and all that. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. Can I ask you to join him, Alpha? We seem to be fine out here, but Sir will need your authorization if he's to do battle inside the test world. God, I love Alpha so much. Sigma scaping is when you have to shave your Sigma balls, right? Damn right. Keep your wits about you, Savior. Your next opponent could be almost anything. It could even be a floating mask. Quick, quick! Thank you, Jolly. What? Why did the invite not work? Send it again? That's weird. Sigma balls. Phlegma. Phlegma balls. <laughs> Pants grab. Vel, are you quirked up right now? Are you okay? I've already been invited. Oh, it's right there. Got it. Invites don't like dialogue boxes. Heard. Do we have any others that wish to join? You're my super star. Usi, 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 rocking everywhere. Hi, Sweetling. Thanks for cool girl. Sweetling, how are you? Thank you so much for the 16 months, you beautiful soul. Can I join? Yes. Or I can join. Yes, you can. <laughs> Statement, not question. Phlegma balls, more like flogma nuts. No, it's a, it's a, it's a sage ability. Phlegma. <laughs> so sad that Steve Job dies. Steve's, Steve Jobs died. Phlegma balls. I am in pain. Slipped disc in your back. A bitch is medicated. Do you have anything to help with the pain? I'm so sorry to hear that, sweetling. Oof. Steve's job died? Yeah, of phlegma. Phlegma balls. The death of many Steve's job could have been avoided. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> dude, it's like... It's like how when we were talking about the plural of cul-de-sac is calls de sac The plural of Steve job 
is Steve's job. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You'll come too, Bell? Okay. Attorneys General, get out. I forgot about that one. Get out. <laughs> you culls to sack? Fuck that. Studs, no. It actually is Attorneys General, too. We need to gather all the Attorneys General. He died of Fligma sack. <laughs> Can't believe they killed Stephen Jobsite. Chiefs of Staff? Is that one true? I don't like that one. Do you think I care about proper English here? I mean, no, you're in, you're at twitch.tv slash terrible. And there's no proper English to be had here. <laughs> if you came here for proper English, you are uh, in the wrong place. I'll set it up if anyone wishes to join. Let me know, okay. Proper in this chat? Never, literally never. I'm dyslexic, no proper use of English here. Dude, if there's like, Speaking dyslexia, I feel like I have it. I Like, you know the thing where your brain replaces the first letter of two different words in a sentence? My brain does that all the fucking time. I can't help it. Give you a real proper English, no! Unless it's an English breakfast. You do that too? I, I hate it. <laughs> I can't stop. Kinda want a nice hot coffee. It's six Celsius here and rainy. Dude, that is prime coffee weather, sweetling. Treat yourself. Six Celsius and rainy? That is coffee. English me proper, governor. <laughs> or I'll try to say two things at once. Yeah, like the Mean Girls meme with gruel. Great and cool. Mrs. Cause dumb as brick, oof. I forget this boss exists, but it's the coolest fuck boss. Does it tell me what it is here? No. Just Sigma's game. Average wait time, 10 minutes! Holy fuck! We're in for the long haul. Right then, start tease on your crumpets. You can't do that, that's illegal. You can't tea on their crumpets. Oh, it has a description in the journal. No slowing down. Journal. Alpha stands ready to enter the Sigma Scape with you, with no way of knowing what lurks within. You can but check your gear and endeavor to be adaptable. Hey. I filtered even typing. Sometimes it's almost two sentences at once, so all that comes out of my mouth for a second is strange, unintelligible noises. Same. Hashtag relatable. There's a high chance that I too would miss. Muffin, aren't you like... Oh, on the duty finder there is? Muffin, aren't you like, um, 4'11"? High-pitched whistle echoing within the beyond, with the arena beyond. Four DPS Q Pepe laugh. I don't know what we were thinking. We're gonna be here a while. I'ma just, I'ma sit. People sit. Ah, uh, this description actually revealed a whistle, Jolly. Let me blow my whistle, baby. Gonna ver die of old age. We are. I'm dyslexic and dyspraxic. Dyspraxic? I've never heard that before. Dyspraxic. Oh, developmental coordination disorder. I've never heard that. Common disorder that affects movement and coordination. It does not affect your intelligence. It can affect your coordination skills, such as tasks requiring balance, playing sports, learning to drive a car. Do you, do you drive, Muffin? Do you, do you drive, by chance? Boop, boop, boop. Let me go tank, that might help. Oh, pop us out of the queue. I think Ilario wants to switch to tank. Boop, 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 boop. 
Hell, I could probably play Sage. Sage is easy, right? At level 70. And it would definitely help with the queue time. Do, 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 do. Am I brave enough for it? Probably not. I've only really done Sage at like level 50. Queuing is Satch. I want to, but I've only really done it at 50. So I don't feel that confident. Hey, that helped a lot. Alario, thank you for your sacrifice. We appreciate you. Gamers, what is fight? This is Sigma Scape 1.0. What is this music? <gasps> I've heard this theme before! I've heard this theme before 100%. It's from Six! This is sick, dude. Are we fighting a train? It's Choo Choo Charles! Holy fuck! This is so fucking cool. We are fighting a phantom train. <laughs> Guys, can I just thank you all for talking me into doing the Omega Raids? This is so sick. This is too spooky. Run! There's like spotlights? The spotlights killed the ghosts. I see. And then we use the spotlights to kill the other ghosts. Ouch! Holy shit! I'm supposed to move out of it. <laughs> this is the loudest train in the world. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I get how this is gonna work. Nice! That's a fun mechanic. So one person gets a ghost chasing them, other players get the spotlights, and then you kill the ghost with the spotlight. Cool! That's a lot of ghosts. Who put all these ghosts on my phantom train? Ah! Yeah, still DPS. Oh yeah, that didn't do that much damage. Acid rain. This is so cool, dude. Putrid passengers. Train! 
going off the rails on a phantom train. What is it? Now we're fighting a doom chimney? What the fuck is happening? This is fantastic. Bro. Am I supposed to... Entering a passenger car? What? Ah! Help! Help, there is ghost here! Where are my friends? I miss my friends. Ah. I miss my friends. What in the persona? This is so fucking cool, dude. I'm back! Is very cool fight. The train loud though. Loud as frick. I used to be a ghost train like you. Then I took a Ferrero in the chimney. <laughs> Studs, how are you so quick-witted? I'm actually jealous. That was so cool. No, 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 don't do it to me. You did it to me. You're a monster. My inventory. You guys don't even care about my inventory. You guys don't even care. You just throw these things in my inventory. And you don't care. <laughs> Smiley face. Traveler from afar. Thank you for Doma. Who? They were ghosts. I forgot how cool the bosses in Sigma Skate are. That was sick. That was so cool. What the hell? Thank the gods you're fast on your feet. When I first saw you be facing a train of all things, I assumed I was hallucinating. But what, what with the oddness behind us, uh, we can fully, we can be fully certain we have the right set of data for the Sigma Scape. From what we've been able to determine, this is a recreation of a devastated world. Unfortunately, we have not found any clues to its origin. We came across several familiar terms, Doma included, but the arc of history is inconsistent with our own. Given that Omega draws from the realms, which could be fictional or even other dimensional, we can only guess at the source upon which the Sigma Scape is based. But if it was fictional, it seems safe to assume that the author had a bad experience with a train. Also, my skill set is very narrow. I pun and I proposition. If I'm not on Twitch or trying to get in someone's pants, I'm not terribly useful. <laughs> Two skills, and that's it. Puns, proposition. I expect you're still recovering from your last fight, but we should probably go over the details of your next opponent all the same. According to our research, you'll be pitted against a foe known as Chardon... Ch Chadarnuk. Not a train this time, but some manner of animated painting. To be perfectly clear, the name refers to the more evil spirit that's taken up residence within the picture, but the picture will be part of our key to strategy. To that end, Nero has thrown together a little something I thought might be useful.
What in the slow walk? Thrown together, he says. Do you know how difficult it was to translate your abstract fancy into an actual tool with practical applications? What you demanded was nothing less than a miracle, and a miracle I have delivered. I seem to recall you insisting on constructing it yourself. Still, credit where credit's due. Well done. <laughs> History will appreciate my genius. <clears throat> to you I present the fruits of my labor, the chocobo brush. I won't confuse you by trying to explain how it works, but suffice it to say that I have adapted the tool to combat the peculiar nature of your rival. Put simply, you will be able to directly influence the space around you by painting pictures! Naturally, this process will require paint. As for the color, subject, and efficacy of your masterpieces, well, that shall depend entirely upon your own artistic sense. Now back to you, Garland. Do you notice the absence of a streaming, uh, a steaming cup in my hand? If you truly valued the efforts of your colleagues, you might consider filling the bloody kettle from time to time. Or is that another task his lordship, the chief, can't accomplish without the help of his subordinates? Now listen here, Nero. I apologize for the damn kettle, but this has nothing to do with my upbringing. Basically, the Omega Raid bosses just get better, except 3.0. Wow, Wesker is me. <laughs> Next to the kettle is one of Alpha's cards. Its face illustrated with a depiction of spring water. Quick, quick, quick. Alpha appears keen to begin the next encounter. You may enter Sigmascape whenever you're ready. But what's the deal with the card? I'm just sad you can't suplex the train. <laughs> Alright, we're ready. 2.0. Does anyone else want in, by the way? Into the queue. Oh, too late. You took too long. <laughs> you had no time, but you took too long. <laughs> that legit happens in 6. Dude, I need to play 6. I need to play all these old Final Fantasy games. Genuinely. I think you put the card there because the kettle needs water, and it's a water card. Ah, what a splendid atelier. Look around you, hero. Plenty of things in which to dip that brush. If I didn't want to paint my nails tonight, I would have hopped in. Dude, I want to paint my nails too. I've been wanting to for like months. Good luck. Thank you. What the? What the fuck is this? Oh, we out here painting. What the fuck? I have claimed the girl in the picture. She's mine. You can't have her. Black paint drips from the tip of this massive brush made from Alpha's feathers. The, the only annoying part about painting my nails phone is that because I still work like retail every Monday, I have to take the polish off by Sunday night. So if I don't do it like early enough in the week, it kind of feels pointless because I'm going to have to take it off like two days later. Wait, everyone's painting over here. Me too! Fire resistance up, I see.
Do we do we paint? We paint. I'm in a little what? I'm in a little the little fighter jet. Meow. Have to? Lame as fuck. Yeah, I literally have to. Is the ground beginning to tremble? Did they say that already? Did I? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I didn't know what was happening at first there. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, welcome in. Feels longer, like in a good way. That's such a common phrase here, and it like it means a lot because I t understand what you guys mean. It's that you guys are at the level of comfy in my channel that you feel like you've been here for much longer than you have. That's the level of comfy I strive for as a streamer. One person is a spooky, a spooky thing. Oh, they did, they did it. <laughs> I don't know what they did. I hope it was good. Oh shoot, I understand now. It, I understood too late. Thank you! Do, 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 do. So now I understand what happened with that other... What the fuck? We need to give ourselves fire resist, and we also need to stand behind the wall. Okay, holy shit. Basically, people were eating the little wind things, the little, like, Garuda feathers, um, and then clearing a space from us away from the AoEs. But it took me too long to realize what was happening. Jesus. I'm okay. I see. Oh, I need to be a little flyboy. Okay, I'm a little flyboy. Oh no! Hello, Ryu! Oh, I'm targeted with something. Oh, I see. Oh, it's chasing me. I see. Mm -hmm. 
and re the nail conversation. You were afraid to have your nails painted for work. Another dude you work with has his nail painted, so YOLO. Yeah, at that point. Mine was to the point where I was like actively told you cannot have painted nails, period. So I was like, okay. That was so fun. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it to me. My inventory, <laughs> you fuck, <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought maybe I could get out in time. <laughs> oh shit. Welcome back, sir. I was on the edge of my stool watching an attempt to paint whilst fighting, but soon you seem to get the hang of it. I'm glad our makeshift solution worked as intended. Our makeshift solution worked as intended because I made it work. Painting is easy, as is intended. I feel I should remind you, however, that the brush was very specifically designed with that area and foe in mind. Against aught else, it will avail you precisely as well as any other brush. So far, the plan is working. Operation Stuff Terra's Inventory. One moment. Hi, this is Garland. That's great news, and what? Oh, they did? They did, did they? Understood. We'll meet them out there. That was Jesse. Apparently Biggs and Wedge considered themselves well enough to pay us a visit. They're on their way to the yawn. Fancy a brief jaunt to the surface? No, thank you. I have data to analyze. Jolly, thanks for... Phone. <laughs> My face isn't red, your face is red. Hello? Fine, just the three of us then. Sloppy. Sorry, you're not. <laughs> Hike, Xeno Basin, thank you for the gift sub. Oh. <laughs> Slash band phone. <laughs> Big Wedge! Hi, guys. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Chief, sir, and Alpha too. We didn't mean to drag all you away from your work. Nonsense. After all you've been through, how could we not come running? Speaking of which, should you even be walking? Er, uh, the Chirurgeon will probably have words with us later, but we just couldn't- we couldn't just lie back down and let you brave the rift on your own. Do you even have enough hands for that much work? Who's taking care of all the little jobs? Ah yes, the little jobs. It does seem that you two have spoiled me. I only recently learned that the kettle does not, in fact, fill itself, but we're muddling along somehow. Sir has been a pillar of strength, as always. Alpha has proven to be a stalwart companion, and Nero... Nero has been invaluable and insufferable in equal measure. As for the test subjects themselves, they're certainly formidable, but Omega's experiment hasn't broken us yet, so go home, heal, and don't come back until you've fully recovered. It's good to hear that everything's going well, but you call us the moment anything goes wrong. We'll be out here in a wink, even if we have to crawl. <laughs> Listen to me, Alpha. That uniform you're wearing makes you an official employee of Garland Ironworks. That means you can call on us whenever you're in trouble, and that we can call on you. It means you're not alone. Biggs and I have to go away for a while, so I want you to look out for Sir and Chief for us, alright? <laughs> Alpha's so cute! The small character is the big shot? Correct, Hike! Correct! Quick! Oh, before I forget, we brought you something to put a spring in your step. You can't fight Omega's creations on field rations alone. Ah, ah, oh, ah, eh, ooh, e, ah, intelligence. More things to fill my inventory. So yeah, the small little fighter plane thing Rando is in is the Sigma Savage Mount. Got it. Now that we have... Hmm. This next one seems strong, but exhibits no other notable traits. How dull. The true challenge is this fourth opponent, but I can find the patterns hidden in the chaos. The knowledge and reason will prevail. 
for even the most random actions are products of underlying logic one has but to isolate the behavioral triggers. Blech! Tastes like salt water! Why would... Alpha! I need to take a closer look at that card. Alpha's card produced salt water? Nero gives off insufferable vibes. I love him so much, Hike, but I hate him so much. Nero is very fun to hate. Muffin! Love your face too. I, I've been thoroughly enjoying them. Have a good night. Alpha Group shows signs of recovering from recent trauma. Initial. Oh no. Initiating action to maintain. <laughs> Initiating action to maintain desirable stress levels. Nero uh, suddenly died. Alpha and Chief have already gone back in, so don't let us keep you. Our colleague over there should be glad to help you make a descent as soon as you're ready. This dreadful experiment may have a way to go yet, but if you keep taking it one battle at a time, you'll be fighting Omega before you... Uh, I mean, it will all be over before you know it. <laughs> I need this. I need this. I have, I have need for that. I want that. He's sleeping on the job. <laughs> can I lower you into the rift, sir? I may not be of much use in battle, but I can at least do you this small service. Doodly, doodly, doo -doo. Scooty Puff Jr. looking ass. No kidding. <laughs> oh, he's alive. Okay. So next turn we do Sigma Savage Mount Farm. Yes. Ah, back are you? We should return to the task at hand. Everything all right, Nero? You look a bit green around the gills. The kettle was full of salt water. Not the best stuff to brew coffee with, it turns out. Really? Well, it wasn't my doing. Of course not. That would involve you filling it. The water came from Alpha, created by one of those cards of his. It was very thoughtful of him to make the effort, but next time, I'd prefer a beverage that didn't leave me feeling ill. In any case, you can handle support for this third battle on your own. I want to begin preparations for the fourth. Fair enough. Right, sir. Your next foe is known simply as the Guardian. Unlike that ordeal with Chardonook, this battle promises to be relatively straightforward. Courage and steel should be enough to win you the day. Alright. Lurk off to Ragnarok! Have a good swing. Enjoy Ragnarok hike. I'm still so jealous. Three point oh, go. I just want you guys to know that my inventory it, it, it's not doing good. It's not okay. I have this many slots left. I I have the, the I have this many. <laughs> this is all I have left. Hey, hey Terry, you want to know a little tip? Don't you dare tell me not to hoard things. I'm going to drink my coffee, just in spite of you. And I'll also maybe use a sparkler. Whee! Oh dear. Don't look. Don't look at this. You can delete items in your inventory. <gasps> but what if I need them for something? Like, what if I need these sparklers? Like... What if I need this star? What if I need this? You won't. Shut up. What if I need it? You don't know me. It looks like I need it. It looks very crucial to the story. I don't want to get to the green star dungeon and not have any green stars to use. You guys would be like, oh, the idiot. He threw out his green stars. I don't want to be that guy. What do these Genji weapons look like? I can alt-tab, right? Yeah, I can alt-tab. FFXIV, Genji weapons. No, it popped! I wasn't done looking! They're pretty plain looking. Blech.
Victor, the only thing you need is for your inventory to get a deep clean. Don't talk to me. That reminds me of when Maxim Maximilian Dude was playing Dark Souls and ate a fire keeper soul. Oh no. Anything but that, dude. So Jolly said 3.0 was not good. Jolly said 3.0 stinky. Wow, that's pure nostalgia, and I haven't even really played six. Those monster sprites? Holy shit. The Guardian will transition between a host of different combat programs. Try to keep track of which... Ah, didn't read the rest. Weapon systems online. Running basic program. Guardian engaged. That's a laser beam. We're gonna move out of the way of that. Embolden! Manification! Running Ultros combat program. Oh boy. I mean, that would be Ultros, right? And there it is. Kill its head off. Main cannon, target acquired, open fire. Ow! Running Air Force Combat Program. Missiles. There's one coming right for me. <laughs> Somebody just got hit. Uh, what? Did people just defuse those bombs? What the hell was that? Not the slow moving missiles. I literally almost got hit by one. That's the embarrassing part. Oh, I'm parallelogrammed. Ah. Uh. My health points directly.
they were pretty right. This one is fairly straightforward. Oi, I just used my Korakor, core, you f I gotta run slowly over here now. I was trying to melee combo! I guess I live in this one. I live in this one. I keep thinking the summoner things are like, not good. I keep thinking it's an enemy. Like that. Friend or foe? They look. They're. They're not very friend shaped. Is what I'm trying to say. They look pretty unfriendly. Manderville story when? By the way, that's a good question. Manderville story when? When emotional pain. Dude, this frog. This golden frog. Not friend shaped, but still friend, yeah. Oh no, my inventory, you wouldn't there! You fucking did it. You fucking did it. Congratulations, old friend. Judging by the lack of smoking holes, I'd say you have a natural talent for avoiding laser beams. And this is what passes for a straightforward battle in, in here. Phantom trains, possessed pictures, and now this Magitek-like machine. Assuming it was real, the real Sigma scape uh, is based on and must have been highly advanced in both the arcane and mechanical arts. Tis truly a pity we cannot identify the test world's origin. Imagine how much we might have learned from such a civilization had we encountered it under different circumstances. But now is not the time for such idle thoughts. The next battle will be the last for this world, and Nero should have a strategy to share with us by now. The boss is hard to do with less than three due to the, the Google boss part. Oh, this looks cool. Test world of ruin. The frog person was so good, right, Becky? With the golden frog mask. This is it. The final battle to conquer the <laughs> Sigma scape. I don't think he's very good, you guys. We've put together a profile of your next opponent. You've encountered some fantastical foes in here, but this time you'll have the novel experience of fighting an actual person. His name is Kefka, and he's a jester. According to the data, his preferred mode of fooling around, uh, fooling didn't just bring the house down, but the whole world. I've heard the name Kefka quite a bit when it comes to Final Fantasy. I don't know anything about it other than I recognize the name Kefka. Apparently, he found comedy in the tragedies of others, and condemned countless thousands to death for his own amusement. Second best Final Fantasy villain ever? That's probably why I've heard the name a lot. Hmm, <laughs> that a jester should bring such misery, tis almost amusing. Nevertheless, we must treat this villain with all seriousness. His rise to godhood and subsequent rule over a shattered world is clearly documented in the records. Kefka is a formidable mage, and a cunning one besides. Your tactics must account for both his power and his trickery. You've been working on a solution, yes? Will it be enough? Will it be enough? Have you ever known me to do anything by halves? The jester's face paint is a mask for his intent. If you only watch the surface, you'll be fighting at a disadvantage. To put it bluntly, Kefka will seek to deceive you. Even as you predict his actions and adjust your position, his true attack will reveal the feint for what it was. This is where things become interesting. I have tuned this monitor to allow me to observe the Sigmascape with greatly enhanced clarity. If I observe a discrepancy between Kefka's behavior and the impending attack, I will endeavor to warn you. The timing will be critical, of course. How confident are you in this tragedy? strategy? I predict a 50% chance of success. Any delay, however slight, in reacting to his feints will render my warnings all but pointless. Isn't it exciting? There's no safe way to practice this hero. We must test our tactics on the field of battle. Yeah, fun. Looking at it, the Omega Raids system certainly remind me of Redacted. I haven't played the game, but Kefka is sick as hell. The biggest Final Fantasy villain are the weebs that put, keep playing this series and won't let it die, it me. Hello? 
I'm, I'm about to like visit, revisit them all. Uh, by revisit, I mean visit for the first time. Final Fantasy VI and VII constantly vie for the place of best villain, or, or no, best ever in the hearts of a lot of fans, except for the nine fans. Make what preparations you need and head into the Sigmascape. We've got a jester to fight. Embrace your destruction. It is the fate of all things. But people can always rebuild, and new lives will always be born. A fragmented conversation that accompanied Kefka's data. His was the first line, but there was no mention of who uttered the reply. In life, there is always hope. How predictably forthright of you. I'm sure it was a, a hero much like yourself who gave the original response. Go on, champion. I tire of waiting for the fun to begin. Wait. Alpha, did you poison Nero? From what I've played besides this game, my face would be a tie but favorite would be a tie between 10 and 12 Roman numerals. You admire this villain? I admire his purity, a survivor unclouded by conscience or delusions of morality. Do, 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 do. You should do it with Retroarch so you can get the Chivos as well. What is Retroarch? My favorite Final Fantasy is Chrono Trigger. I don't like Chrono Trigger. Interesting, interesting statement, Bannikin. I've owned my desk chair for over two years and I just remembered it can tilt backwards. I'm an idiot. Mac, do you not see me occasionally stumble because this fucking happens where my latch just lets go? My chair tries to kill me. Retroarch is an emulator. Oh, okay. It's a riff on Alien. If you've never seen, that. I've seen Alien, but I don't. I don't recognize the quote. My my brain also has holes in it, though. Bravely Default One was great Final Fantasy. Octopath Traveler was a pretty good Final Fantasy as well. I've never played Octopath Traveler. Terra has ears. Oh shit! Did you guys see them? You're not supposed to see my ears. Don't look. Those are for tier threes only. <laughs> Phone, you may see my ears. <laughs> get ready for a really cool boss fight. I'm ready. You get achievements for retro games and it times your runs for you. That's really cool. <laughs> I expect the office hardware I really want. And it comes in at a cool $5,000. What a steal, Mac. What a steal that is. Bravely Default never heard, or oh, Bravely Default I've heard is more like classic Final Fantasy than any numbered one has been in a while. Dang. I, so my experience in Final Fantasy, for those that are new to the channel, I played 10-2 up until the point of the song A Thousand Words, and then I cried and stopped playing. Um, and I've played 12 up until a certain Phoenix boss. So like maybe 30 hours total in both games combined. And that is my experience of Final Fantasy. I got stuck at a Phoenix boss and then I was like, I give up. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So that'll be a bit, just, just a couple dollars. Just a couple dollars. Is that the one of the songs sung by Jade from Sweetbox? I'm actually not sure, the Thousand Words one? A thousand words call out to the ages. They'll cradle you, even though I can't see. I know they're reaching you, suspended on silver wings. I loved that song. I cried a lot, and then I stopped playing. <laughs> Bravely Default is pretty neat because, for most of my patients, it's cheaper than their sleep meds. Ah, well done, well done. I don't know what that means. Bannikin, you're you're speaking another language to me right now. <laughs> Once I finish bug snacks, should I download one of those Final Fantasy games I have access to? Yeah, Jolly. If you like 14 at all, why not? It's equally split between a desk chair and a chair which just I'm nuts. I you know, Mac, have I said it that the next chair that I buy, 
I want it to be, what is it? The Aeron, I think it's called. The Herman Miller chair. The Aeron, I believe. It's like fucking like 1500 Canadian. And I'm like, if I'm ever going to buy another chair, I want to buy a chair that's going to last me like a bajillion years and be comfy as hell. The Aeron is the Ur modern chair, yeah. Two main Yuna songs are. Uh, the joke is that she's always created credited as Jade from Sweetbox, but I've never heard of Jade Norse. But okay, that would explain my confusion, Rando. But that's she's credited every time. That's funny. Lost Odyssey was the 360 boss, um, a sadly forgotten one. It was made by the original creator of Final Fantasy after he left Square. It's what a lot of people really wanted after Final Fantasy X. Any fans that happen to have an Xbox should definitely check that one out after. Lost Odyssey. Gotcha. Be back switching phones again. Okay. Go Facebook Marketplace for Herman Miller Aarons. I don't know if I trust that. Facebook Marketplace? Buy another chair that had someone's ass sweat all over it? No, I don't want that. I'm getting the fresh chair. Fresh, untainted ass sweat chair. Tara should use Kijiji. Untainted ass sweat chair, okay? If anyone's ass sweat is gonna be on, it's gonna be mine. Just saying. <laughs> Tara, what's up, Fraxes? You came in at a weird time. No Man's Sky, are you madly addicted? Did it get you? Did it sink its hooks in? Yup, okay, it did. No Man's Sky is such a good game. Uh, going for a steel case chair, because they seem to design one for us short as fuck humans. Hey, let's go. No Man's Sky is great. Yes, it is. It's so fucking good. Oh no, Frax is goodbye. <laughs> Here we go. Sigma Escape 4.0. Uh, studs, are you telling me you don't? Hello? Jester? Hisoka? From Hunter x Hunter? You may as well be the dirt on the bottom of my boots. Or the dirt stuck on the bottom of that dirt. I will destroy everything. I will create a monument to non-existence. I'd fuck Kepka. Same. Nihilism clown god. <laughs> Technical finish. Oh boy. Flagrant fire. Oh. oh, you figured out my tells, have you? Or have you? His posture. The change is slight, but it's shifted somehow. Keep an eye out for tricks. Tricksy boy! Oh, I see. If question mark, then it's not real. Quick now, make your peace with death because I'm making your death with all these pieces. Oh my. It looks angry. Blow them all away, whoosh. Everyone's going. Whoa! Ah, there was a shockwave. Okay. The music shift is very cool. Fuck stack marker. Well, there goes my melee combo. Hey. 
Ouch. His running animation is so good! Did I just now notice that? Somebody just slipped to their death. Oh no, it was Rando! Lost a healer. I got them. Oh shit, we're losing a lot of people. And I'm out of mana. I need lucid dreaming. I need lucid dreaming again. I haven't the mana for a resurrect. Lucid dreaming's up. I'm stressed. I love this track, it's really good. Oh my. I'm dead. Understand that attack now. No! Oh! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh. Thank you for raise. No! Shit! 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 Thank you for raise again! I'm so scared. Okay. Okay, we in there. I just do a cast a jolt out of panic. means we have to look at the eye. Yeah, okay. That's confusing. In that situation, we look at the eye when it's a question mark. Holy boy. There's something happening in the middle? This is a fun fight because of all the, like, the confusing AoEs that you should actually stand in instead of avoid. The subversion of expectation. I enjoy it.
good. I dodged it that time. Ooh, a stack burn. So close. So close. Hey, let's go. I am the Sigma. I am the Omega. Achievement unlocked. I lost? How can I lose? I just can't believe it. <sighs> that was so fun. That was so fun. Okay, let me catch up on the chat that I could not even remotely read. Uh, 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 uh. Not I wasn't expecting to be as good as it is. I was up until 3 a.m., didn't even notice, totally hyperfixated on the game. When I snapped out of it, I realized my mouth was dry and had to pee real bad. <laughs> Fraxis, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. That sounds about right, though. Player command. Uh, this person, because they were my dance partner. Ooh, dancing mad orchestration. Wind up Kefka! Wind up Kefka again! Give me that. If my inventory will be filled with garbage, it'll be filled for good reason. I've earned the wind up Kefka with all the garbage in my inventory. <laughs> uh, I think I finally have my bars in a good place. I just need. Better macro icons. Been online for three hours and done nothing else. Bell made it to end game already. <laughs> Bell, make sure you aren't using macros for abilities. Macros can't be queued up like normal abilities, so you'll lose usages of your global cooldown. Got it. Kefka's such a fun boss. That was chaos. I literally could, like, during some of these other things, I, I was at least slightly able to look at chat. But during that one, no, I could not. Because there were so many, like, is the AoE safe? Is the AoE not safe? Should you look? Should you not look? You know what I mean? It was fun. <sighs> Savage for this is even better than x -Death. Yeah, it's grand. How's this one? My, my boyfriend has been raving and I've never been into the Final Fantasy series. Fraxis, I think this is a good entry point. I think this game has something for everybody. Like Vel, for example, who's supposed to be playing the MSQ to experience the story. Nah crafting and having a blast crafting and doing other things in the game and i'm like dude that's if that's your enjoyment full send do i have a youtube yes i actually need to change those because uh they have proper handles now so that actually reminds me i'm gonna write that down boop i need to change the command but those links should still work to the youtube channels uh boop. change uh youtube urls there we go. Boop. I'll remember that for later. That's later, Terra's trouble. Fun fact, in A Realm Reborn, I had my entire Dragoon rotation in one macro button. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? He won. This contest has been decided. Alpha Group is victorious. The Sigmascape test world will now be erased. Come on. We should go on and find Sir. He looks so si Oh, there he goes. He looks so sickly. Dude, he's like blue in the skin. It's like his blood's not getting oxygen. Right? People turn blue when they're not getting oxygen? I think that's how it works. I'm gonna do Shadowbringers MSQ now, yeah. We'll save the rest of Omega for next week. You good, bro? He not. He not good. He's been absorbed into the sick escape. Talk to me, man. Are you hurt? You could say that. I had a visitor while you were attending your little ironworks reunion. Omega. Damn it, we shouldn't have left you alone. No, not after what happened to Biggs and Wedge. Huh, as if I would trail along behind you like some sniveling lapdog. No, I chose to remain and behold the results. This was my victory. It was my ingenuity that defeated these foes. Even your precious warrior of light. <laughs> was just another variable in my grand experiments. All right, Nero, save your strength. I'll fetch Sir and Alpha and we can get out of here. Garland. The next round is yours. 
but you can't keep holding back. It's time to unfetter that brilliant mind of yours, to do what must be done. And I'm not just talking about what becomes of Omega. You cannot preach freedom through technology and then keep yourself locked up in chains. Him make face. Just gonna relax and watch? Yeah. It's MSQ time! God, I love Alpha so much. Uh, let me just catch up on chat real quick. So that was before it turned into a 7 ability, 8 cast figure, 8 rotation for Dragoon. Uh, 5 abilities, but it had shit like Leg Sweep because it did damage. Does Leg Sweep still do damage or no? 5 skills. 6 because Heavy was before that. Shadowbringers, you mean Lahi? I do mean Lahi. No longer to be La Wai. Now we Lahi. Dragon friend, yeah! Midi or Mid Garcimer. Um, don't forget to unlock the Savage Cake. Uh, if you upload clips of you doing this and tag it as New Blind FF Player Fights Savage X Death or something like that, you'll get thousands of views. Guarantee it. Final Fantasy fans eat that shit up. All right, fine. I've been uploading my my reacts to like main core story shit, but I should do that. I should do that. Ugh. I didn't think about uploading the um ugh, the first time fights. Because I didn't think people were super interested in the story. Oh, the fuck, the story. The fight reactions. I thought people were more interested in the um, story reactions. Final Fantasy players love the nostalgia of seeing a first-time experience. We're just, we're just fucking seeking out that high, that high of nostalgia, even if we have to get it through somebody else. <gasps> Big fights and story. Do things like savages. Okay, we'll keep it to the savages then. Savage X death. Okay. I have a joke about Lahi, but since I don't know how far into Shadowbringers you are, it might be kind of spoilery. So I'll save it. Yes, good idea. Uh, currently, the last thing we did was we did the funeral in Lahi land. Raktika Woods? <laughs> I don't remember the name. <laughs> Another battle won. They might knoweth no bounds, child of man. Bleep. The Sigma Scape has been terminated. Congratulations, Alpha Group. Congratulations, Sir Tarabellum. Raktiga Greatwood. I was so close. It's Lahiland. Consistent with previous performances, you have once more defeated a foe of vastly superior combat abilities. I have constructed a theory to explain this phenomenon. In order to conserve life energy, you subconsciously limit your output during standard activity. I have taken this factor into account when calculating your potential, but judging by the wild fluctuation in values, is it possible your limits are exceeded by an unpredictably high degree when engaged in battle? Bloop. Current data unreliable. Accuracy of further experiments may be compromised. Recalculations necessary. You will exhibit your full potential, unrestricted by self-imposed limits. Genkai wo koeru. Okay, so you're close to a save point for me to share the joke, but still got a little bit. Okay, 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 okay. Final Fantasy Nostalgia, that is. That's literally why you're here for Final Fantasy Nostalgia. Got it. Did anyone show you Soken's version of Lahi with the automaton? Yeah, literally right after we got into Raktika, somebody was like, Tara, watch this. I was like, okay. Prediction. Placing subject in mortal peril will facilitate the collection of desired data. Uh-oh. Ah, moral peril! Mortal peril? Moral peril? Both are terrifying. Oh no, the peril! Ew, it's like a big eyeball. Reveal your power. Let me measure the extent of your existence. Will it be Hydaelyn? Eat, pray, love? No, what's the Hydaelyn thing again? <laughs> it's not eat, pray, love. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> In precisely 180 seconds, I will terminate your life. You are to attempt escape with every last reserve of your strength you possess. Think. Feel. Hear. Feel. Think. There it is. Cope. Seethe. Mauled. Frog card? Frog! Oh, oh no! 
Alpha! Alpha, your participation is unnecessary. Do not interfere. Guess who got off work early? Could they be named Froggo? Also, Froggo, what a time for you to show up. Literally right as Frog show up. Froggo, congratulations on early day. Uh, you know, someone doesn't give a fuck when he shitposts his own music live to millions. Literally, Neo. Soken's a legend. Oh, do you know what's so cool? Uh, Ghosts have shared this to me this morning. Somebody shared my sloppy meme that I uploaded to YouTube to a sh Final Fantasy shitpost Reddit. And that's such a surreal thing, because I was thinking of posting it to, like, a Reddit myself, and I was like, eh, nah, I'm proud of it, but it feels kind of, it feels too self promote like, weird, so I didn't do it. But then I woke up, and it's, it's like, over 2,000 views right now, and, um, and I was like, what the fuck? And then Ghosts have linked me that, and somebody shared it to a, a Reddit, and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, they called it a masterpiece. I was like, oh, oh jeez, I was, I was, like, shy. <laughs> Wait, what are you congratulating you for? For getting off early. Hello? Is that not congratulatory? Chat! Guys! What are, you guys what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing today? Chat! What the hell, dude? Thank you for the five gifted. You sweet soul. Thank you so much. Good to see everyone. It's a good day. We're doing Omega raids. They're a blast. It's good. We're going to do a little bit of MSQ before we end stream. And uh, it's a good day. Tara, stop pushing buttons, Bellum. It's like, I don't know. I'm like, slowly I become more okay with it, and then people be really generous, and then I'm like, I don't deserve, I don't deserve. Chester Copperpot? I don't know the reference. Omega Raid is a blast, literally, and figuratively. I'm glad you guys talked me into it. The Omega Raids are great. I want to go back for Coils, and what's the other raid we missed? I think you guys said the other raids are kind of, oh, Alex Raids, right? But I, I haven't heard glowing things about Alex Raids. But we haven't done those either. <laughs> Alexander, yeah. It's like a giant love letter to the 14 fans. It is, because it's all nostalgia, right? Alex is good. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe I should reconsider. Frog! <laughs> Alpha, no! You're gonna give yourself a concussion, child. Suggest Alex before doing a certain optional Shadowbringer dungeon. Got it. This is better, but I'm biased. <laughs> it feels like I've gotten here at a perfect time. I love Frog, yes. It's all the nostalgia. There are old arenas and old bosses. Like, we just fought Kefka. Kefka was such a fun fight, by the way. Curious. To have seen the circumstances of thy birth taint not the purity of thy life. The seed which all mortals nurture is found within thee too, Alpha. As for thee, Omega, after the passing of eons, is this truly the extent of thine evolution? I have glimpsed the core of thy wretched existence, and judge that my guidance here is no longer needed. Damn. Did Midi just call Omega out, be like, yeah, you're fucking pathetic, and bail? Even more than the 12 raids, I love the near raids. Dude, I want to do the near raids eventually as well. You said Alpha, no. And I was just like, but Alpha no has nothing to do with the Omega race. Alfie, my boy, I miss him. Oh. Midi really said. Oh, holy, holy shit, M M Midi? Where were you holding all this power? What the fuck? <laughs> Your shit is mid, bye. <laughs> Phone accurate. Oh, I didn't read that. Shit, shit, shit. Wait. Prevent. Even I cannot fully bend the rules which govern this place. I have reached beyond my strength to the last. But so be it. Such a death becometh thee not. Holy shit! Frog, you need to kiss? Give me one second. After cutscene, I'll kiss you. Such devastation. To slumber shall I betake me for... Uh, for <laughs> what the hell is this sentence? To slumber shall I betake me for a time. The incarnation I leave with thee will be 
mine in form, but not in spirit. Midgarsimer, again, your actions are incomprehensible. Heed me, empty vessel, thine all too clumsy efforts to draw out that which, by thine own admission, defieth thine understanding, is the very height of folly. Temper thy desire, trust to the results of thine experiments, and when thou hast witnessed these mortals in the fullest of their glory, then mayest thou determine if the prize thou seekest is thine for the taking. Whoop! And he gone. Midi said, oh no, we did. <laughs> Dragon dad to the rescue. <laughs> Acknowledged. Attempt to artificially elicit potential has failed. Tend to your injuries, Alpha Group, and prepare for the next round of testing. Sir, Alpha, I need your help. It's Nero. He's... Frogo, I'm kissing you really quickly, okay? Frogo, give me head. Oh, give me head! Give me forehead! Ah, mwah. I didn't say give me head. Help! Help! I meant to say give me forehead. <laughs> I'm done. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you next time. See <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Frogo, give me forehead for forehead kisses. God damn it, dude. Oh my god. I should just never speak. <laughs> Streamer asks follower for sexual favors, not clickbait. <laughs> Omega raids gone wrong, gone sexual, not clickbait. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Midi said, it nap time. You can watch me on your tablet while I'm asleep. Okay, I'm changing the subject. I'm catching up with chat. Midi is secretly Uriange. Dude, Neo, with the way he talks, he is. Tara, Chad. <laughs> Words hard, dude. Words hard. Tootsie, we all have a tale to share, but not here. Come on, we're leaving. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's not the only thing that's hard. No, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I, it's a joke. It's a prank. I want this. Does this come from the next Datascape? Sigmascape? Alphascape? I don't know what to call it. Betascape? Forehead kiss gone wrong. <laughs> oh no. Head. <laughs> you guys are the worst. You guys are absolutely the worst. That's it. I'm canceling myself. Sir, the chief has already departed for Rogger's Reach. A few of our people were ha uh, on hand to help him transport Nero. Oh, and I was told to let... Uh, I was told to tell you that Jesse expects a full report as soon as it's convenient. And by that, she generally means now. Sloppy. <laughs> Bro, you said it? Don't come for me. Fate that's functionally a zone boss in Endwalker. Oh, so this isn't from Omega. Weird. It's an Endwalker thing? Hello? Clearly Omega, like, monitors? Is this allowed? Is, is this, is this allowed? Can you do that? Is this an Endwalker thing? Yes, weird. Don't come for me. Wow, selfish after you demand Dome. Dude, I have not heard it called Dome in eons. Can't tell you why it's mega spoiler. Got it. Say less. Say less. I get you. You'll enter spoiler territory. Got it. Dome. <laughs> I'm currently trapped in a menu in the messenger, so rip you. Rip, Mac. It was nice knowing you. Sir, I was told you'd made it out of the hole, but nothing beats seeing you with my own two eyes. Tune? Guys, I need to I need to get to voiced cutscenes again. I don't know how to read anymore. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> In case you're wondering, Nero was taken straight to the infirmary. The chief should be back with news if you don't mind waiting. That has to go on the BRB screen. Dude, I need to update the BRB screen hella. Like a lot. With like many clips. 
In fact, I'm putting that on the list. It's gonna be like a whole, it's gonna be like hours of work, but it's worth it. Add to BRB. Because we have a lot of good clips that deserve to be in the BRB. The Gluck Gluck Garage studs get out. Sloppy Top Terrace. <laughs> you have your setup where it pulls them automatically? I don't trust that because I have a. That means I have to curate my clips more, Becky, and I'm lazy. Chief, how is he? Not good. It seems one of Omega's nastier minions paid him a visit in our absence. Mac, I was just. I saw your exclamation mark watch. I could give you guys Clippy. I could give the mods and the VIPs Clippy. And then you guys can pick what you want to watch on the BRB. Like what Molly does. How Molly has like a pretty plain BRB screen. And then if mods are active, they just pick a clip and watch. I could go that route. I could go that route. Because I think VIPs can get access to it as well. Oh, you curate your clips so it works for me. I have a lot of clips and I haven't been cleaning them. <laughs> I'm thinking. I, I'm going to look into that. Look into Clippy. Imagine having time to do any of this. Oh god, what is this writing? Another streamer I follow has a mostly empty BRB screen and the mods just spam the shadow command during breaks. That's what I see some people do, yeah. But Clippy is like, I think you can watch basically any clip. I had left earlier and came back when your AFK had n absolutely no idea what the fuck was happening. <laughs> yeah, might be time for a BRB redesign. Um, how do you use the TTS for bits and stuff? Exclamation mark TTS. If you want to do the really custom ones, there it is. Click that link and it should fully explain it to you. Not good. It seems one of Omega's nastier minions paid him a visit in our absence. He's putting on a brave face, but having seen his injuries, I'm surprised he kept going for as long as he did. The Chirurgeons confirmed, uh, confined him to bed. Even should Omega extend its next invitation, Nero won't be coming with us. Midgarsimer is taking a lengthy nap now, isn't he? And it won't be long before our base camp is lost to the rift again. When the time comes, I'll join the expedition myself. The challenges will only get harder, and you'll need someone reliable at your back. I appreciate the offer, Jesse, and I may yet take you up on it when the time comes. But let's not make any decisions just yet. I have a lot of thinking to do about what's happened and about what lies ahead. Queen. The poor thing. He seems worried. Thank you for trying to save me. Duh! Quee! The way it lit up. Aww. I just thought you suddenly attacked your cat. Dude, my BRB clips are like old but gold. Isn't Clippy that dumb fucking paper thing? I mean, yes, but not. Voice chills a streamer by the name of Terra makes a decision that he will regret for the rest of his life. Well, that is a real forehead moment. Fa Hang on. Hang on. There's a way I can do it for you. I can do it for you. Hang on. There's a way I can do this. I can fix it. I can fix it. Give me a second. Not for a thousand bitties, you're not getting scammed. Not for a thousand bitties. I will not allow it. I will not allow. Bum, 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 bum. We need to go. It's been a while since I've had to do this. We go here. We go. Oh no, they've updated everything. You why? Here. And we go to here. And then I do this. I do a this. And the name will be uh, definitely Jat. One, two, three. I believe it works this way. 
Hiya! A streamer by the name of Terra makes a deduction that he will regrow for the rest of his life. Well, that is a real forehead moment. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I haven't had to do that in a while, so I'm glad I re easily remembered how. <laughs> Chat! Jesus! Dude! Thank you so much for the 1,000 biddies! What the fuck? I also love the chills boys. Chat, thank you so much! Guys, you've been super supportive today, and it fucking- it means a lot. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Addiction! <laughs> I'm glad this community mellows me out, and I've been here as a nasty gremlin, Jolly. We love you, Jolly. Did you ask for a head like Tara? Nice cock. <laughs> Jolly, thank you for the 100 biddies. Sims gamers, you will know my pain here. I got suckered into not one, but two kits. Oh, no. Rip. Echo, imagine having money ever. <laughs> Well, that got a smile out of him. We may not yet understand what he says, but I think I, we can understand how he feels. Right. Much as I'd like to stay in chat, we all have work to do. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to face Omega itself, and we've all seen what it's capable of. We need to be stronger. We need to be ready when Omega calls on us again. Let's make sure that we are. Just got paid. Oh, rip. <laughs> it's gone. And it's gone. Just got paid and it's gone. Tara, he said nice clock. Please, please say. Th <laughs> please say thank you for the cockliment. Thank you for the cockliment. <laughs> Y'all, I I'm gonna change my laundry. Are you feeling dirty, Mac? Okay, enjoy. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I was gonna do at least one nice cock every now and then, and I appreciate it. It brings my self-esteem up, really. It, it helps. Welcome. How may I assist you today? Savage Initiative Phase 2. Good evening, valued employee. Thank you, always, for your tireless efforts. As part of the Savage Initiative, we bring you Phase 2 of our Mending Melodies selection. A composition designed to rejuvenate both body and spirit. You guys feeling rejuvenated? <sighs> the song brings to mind a gentle sea, the ebb and flow of the tide of a rhythmic balm upon the exhaustion of your soul. As with our first installment, we sought the cooperation of the same illustrious minstrel. For this piece, it seems he has drawn inspiration from his recent visits to the Far East. Now, close your eyes and float upon a calm ocean of music. Let your worries be carried away by the waves as they swell and recede. Swell and recede. Clear your mind and allow new vistas to unfold. Hear, feel, and ponder their mysteries. Oh, we're going to do it next week. I'm just unlocking it, Ray, so I don't forget. But we'll do Savage next week. Because we want to do a little bit of MSQ. We got a we got a decent amount left in stream, and we want to, like, get a little morsel. A morsel of MSQ. And maybe just, like, a little bit of la here. One word, Jolly. Together. I also need to order myself food, which is kind of hard. Okay, promise you guys won't judge me before I say what I'm about to say. Just say, Tara, I promise I won't judge you. It's about breakfast this morning. I need a judgment free I need a judgment free safe space, guys. You don't understand. A small smackerel. A smackerel. Only judge phone! Okay, you're lucky that's my fetish. Anyways, um this morning for breakfast, Spes turns to me, he says, Tara. Can we order shitty mall Chinese food for <laughs> for breakfast? And uh we did that. We in fact did do that. Glados, don't worry, Terra is an organic life form that has above moderate intelligence. Shit, more than yeah. about that. <laughs> I gotta fix it for you again. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. Let me fix it. <laughs> Jen, I'm sorry I misguided you. <laughs> Glados. This sounds like blackmail. It wasn't. Okay. I just want to quickly finish my tangent while I'm working on fixing this. 
so the the thing is, Spess and I order Chinese food on occasion, and we always have the same complaint. We literally want the Chinese food that tastes like it's been underneath a heating lamp for like two to three hours and is absolutely going to hurt your stomach. I don't know if that is unique to Spess and I, that we crave Chinese food like that, but but we really do. But we really do. I want to not enjoy my Chinese food. You do the same thing? Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm genuinely relieved to see at least a couple you were like, I get it. <laughs> because I I felt like I would be judged for it. For wanting like heat lamp Chinese food. <laughs> like not good, bad Chinese food. Uh, congrats on the gifts up, by the way, Faxes. <laughs> Buffet food is good, but I never go out though. Yeah. Love mall Chinese. Such a relief. Okay. We're fixing it. Everyone shut up. Don't worry, Terry is an organic life from that has above moderate intelligence, Morgan. I doubt that. Oh shit! It's a two-parter! Wait, 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 wait. I didn't realize it was a two-parter. Because you can use both. You can use both. <sighs> Give me a second. I gotta fix both. I didn't see the other one. I need this to work. I need this to work. There we go. Don't worry, Terry is an organic life from that has above moderate intelligence. I doubt that. <laughs> the, the Morgan, I needed to fix it with the Morgan. The Morgan made it. <laughs> the Morgan made it for sure. I doubt that. <laughs> Can't believe me for this one. True. Wait, where's my Lahi? I was trying to listen to Lahi this whole time. Okay, life is good. I do crave that cheap small town Chinese buff, uh, town buffet Chinese food sometimes. It tastes like childhood. I think that's really what it is. I think that's really what it is. It's a nostalgic taste. It's not good and it's gonna hurt your stomach. But I was so happy this morning. I had um, lemon, ch no, not lemon chicken, honey garlic chicken and sweet and sour pork, I think. And just like shitty noodles. And it was great. It was disgusting, but it was great. It was exactly what my heart wanted, not what my body wanted. Best thing for me today was the watch mojo lady being reduced to a screaming demon from the pits of hell with the letter L. I don't know why I did that. Tara was sinking away in chat. That's why, yeah. I was like slowly giving up on life. <laughs> I don't know why y'all are saying this. Because of the la -hi. Neo, I'm making pog face because of you. You're new here and you did not know that that is my absolute number one comfort food. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm lactose intolerant, so I suffer. But grilled cheese, tomato soup, easily one of my toppest tier comfort foods. If I'm ever depressed, that's what I want to eat. That's why I was pogging. Because like of all the foods for you to like bring up, grilled cheese, tomato soup? Come on. Jolly, thank you for kitty videos, by the way whenever the other ones show up. They'll be here soon. They'll, they'll, they'll be here soon. They'll be here soon. <laughs> They're not gonna be here soon. <laughs> Instead of arguing, I literally spawning. My source is I made it the fuck up gif again and again. Source I made it up. I, that's such a power move. Source I made it up. Oh, there's more. Thank you for kitty bitties, Jolly. I appreciate you. I got a new recipe to try out. It's grilled cheese with like red pepper honey. That is gonna slap, I guarantee you. Number 12, grilled cheese tomato soup. Mom made it for me a lot as a kid, me too. The polish I have uh, that was supposed to be purple is more blue. Phone, this is the saddest thing that's ever could have happened to you. Bluish nail polish, Ugh. who would ever do that? Me, I would do that. Sanctuary me music, veg, lahi. <laughs> I just had grilled cheese and veil soup, soup the other day uh, when I was sick. By the way, I like your, I like your accent. Where are you from? I'm from. <laughs> it reminds you of when you lived in Milwaukee. I'm Canadian boy. I'm Canadian boy. American people, do I genuinely have an accent? Help, help. I've obviously we never hear our own accents. Garon, 
Hello, Karen. Welcome in. Good to see you. Speaking of kitties, the main coon turned what today? Uh, he's like, yeah, I love. I love. Very slight Canadian accent. He just hasn't said A enough for y'all. Uh, I, I literally, okay, if I say A, I literally don't hear it when I do, so that's up to you guys to decide. Here, we see the wild terror observing the great Lahi. A main nation? I think SpongeBob had a stroke. Chat, thank you for the 200 biddies and the TTS memes. Certain words, yes, pasta. Okay, I have something to confess to you guys about pasta and the way I pronounce it. Um, I was at work the other day and there was two coworkers standing nearby and they were talking about some food that was made me, it jogged my memory of pasta. And I was like, guys, what do you call like noodles? Like just noodles, like what is the, the core food? And they were, they both at the same time went pasta. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, it's fucking pasta. What is wrong with you people? And they were like, nah, you're dumb as hell. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Mac, literally the minute pasta comes up, extra short pasta, every time. Every time without failure. <laughs> good to be here. Karen, it's good to have you here. <laughs> Having a nice time, read, putting lots of arrows into peasant conscripts from horseback in Bannerlord. Uh, Ray, I have a lot of friends that really like Bannerlord. And by a lot of friends, I mean like two. I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> Curlo got it for me um, with some others to do an Eva themed thing. So not having the purple is big sad. It's nice blue at least. I mean, at least there's that. It's pretty, but not what you needed it to be. Sag. If you guys have not had grilled cheese with apple slices, you're missing out. It's one of the best things I've ever had. That would be sweet and salty, right? I could see how that would be good, genuinely. <laughs> Third time's the charm, Jet, you got it. You finally did it. I'm so proud of you. Tara, when talking about pasta, the voices. What? Someone add the voices. We don't have the voices. What is that emote? <laughs> That's so accurate. One does not simply say pasta. You must embody it and must be molded by it. Only then can you say pasta. Listen, Morgan Freeman says pasta. The TTS bot told me so. Morgan Freeman says pasta. If the narrator of life itself says pasta, what side of history are you really on? Huh? Huh? Be on the right side of history, you guys. It's pasta, okay? <laughs> the voice of God himself. The voice of God himself says pasta, clearly. It's tangy and savory. Had it at a restaurant, nearly cried at how good it was. The apple grilled cheese thing, I'll try it. I genuinely will. I could see how it would be good. Okay, my eyes are straining. Good night, Jolly. Have good sleep. Jolly, how good does it feel knowing that you... Oh my god, you made it to the end of stream. I was about to say you almost made it to the end of stream, but like we're gonna end in like 20 minutes. What the fuck? Guys, we need to do a little bit of MSQ. Everyone shut up. Stop entertaining me. Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Bah! I wanna do a little bit of MSQ before we end. I forgot we started at two today. Stirring up trouble. Ooh, level 74. Guys, we're schmoovin'. We schmoovin'. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire and was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with neighboring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to the allies, or to their allies. This was one such petition. And you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get into... Ahem. <clears throat> Y X apostrophe M A J A. Yixmaja? Yixmaya? Yixmaya? Probably the latter. Yixmaya. Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet is a method by which one may prove themselves an ally to, of the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us safe passage. Yixmaya. Thank you! I was like. 
<laughs> it looked like somebody's cat walked on the keyboard, Rando. I was like, how the fuck do you pronounce that? I'm far enough into the story for the joke. Hit me with it. Hit me with it, Sid. Ah. <sighs> oh. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient Ronkin text and translations into a more modern dialect which came into use after uh, the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in Sitia. Quite close to Slitherbow, in fact. The good news ends there, however, for it is in possession of a rather radical faction of dark worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I will have enough, um, I am afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we're to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. All right, I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. If anything should happen? Fuck off, Thancred. Fuck right off with that kind of talk, sir. I will cry. <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, fuck, I got to the end of the joke before I finished reading. <laughs> Do you know what genre of music Lahi is? Rock and roll. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. Good joke. Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> then let us convene outside to the west of Slitherbo where the path diverges. <laughs> Fuck. I was like literally reading it and started laughing because it was just, it's so bad. It's one of those so bad it's good puns. Orange! Husband, hello, it's been a minute. For my part, I shall make all possible preparations that Ishtola may begin translating the tablet upon her return. I'll miss you, Minifilia. Take care, sir. I can't spell. Bye, Minifilia! I miss you. I love Minifilia so much. She's so cute and precious, and coming into her own as, like, pseudo Minifilia. I love her. Dino! I like Dino Mount. I know I shouldn't. Wait, Serpent! We must mount the alt right. The way it flies is mesmerizing. Help. It, it becomes circle. Oh my god. It's like perfect circle. Where am I going? What's happening? Up. Love it. What have you used to say for yourself, Thancred? All set. Okay. To the point, I suppose. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share of their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. Holy shit, my old school Canadian brain. Stay alert! Stay safe. Those are just Canadian commercials, right? Right? They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so, they cleanse their victims of sin and usher them onto the sunless sea. I'd rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Fair enough. No, I want serpent. I think this is the one zone that I won't mount up on Shiva Mount for Oblivion. I'm a robot from Planet Danger. I can put my arm back on. You can't, so play safe. <laughs> Dragon Age 3 has a release date. That's another RPG that is missed. I haven't played the Mass Effects and I haven't played the Dragon Age games. I have the Mass Effect Legendary Collection that I will one day play, but I don't know when that day will come. I'm a bit preoccupied with my JRPG phase right now. Also, thank you for the 100 biddies and the old school Canadian commercial plug. 
I forgot about our welcome command, Mac. That's so cute. I love that command so much. <laughs> you can't not think of the automaton version. Guys, when should we watch... When should we watch the... Do you want to watch it next week? On Tuesday's Final Fantasy stream? The, um... The, the, the Soken thing? Talking about making the music while being sick? I'm not ready to cry today, so I don't want to watch it today. But we should watch it, because it's, it's pretty. It's beautiful. But I'm not, re I'm not ready for emotional devastation right now. <laughs> Depends on when you want to cry. That's it. that's what I'm asking you guys. When do you guys want to cry? You want to cry next week? We can cry next week if you want. By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you're unharmed. <laughs> Sip, literally. Do you know Lahi? Lahi! La la ba la 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 la. <laughs> it's so good, dude. We would have arrived sooner, but we had like the way his voice is straining while he's singing it to fuck so good. We would arrive sooner, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. When are we watching the Dad of Light or whatever it was called? Dad of Light? So bad is good, literally. I was using the picture in picture thing because mobile and the video was frozen for a while. So you thought we died, Echo? Hi, welcome back to the land of living. You're an acquaintance of Master Matoya then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange? What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna. But then I no took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the Blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nests where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. <clears throat> Hang on. Hang on. Give me a moment. This is very important. Ishtola's plan in a nutshell. Hold on. <laughs> Ishtola's plan in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> the bees. <laughs> I fucking love this gif. This gif is like as old as the internet, but I love it so much. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, Dad of Light is a TV drama based on a true story of a guy who connects with his father through 14... It's a s s Netflix show about a salary man who reconnects with his retired father before... Bro, should we watch Party That? Will we cry? We're gonna cry. Dude. Strange dad who became part of his son's life through 14. And the son didn't know him! Oh, wait, that sounds so cute! We should watch that. So it's Miss Doubtfire, but the stalking is virtual and it's not creepy. And unknown, not intentional stalking. If we were to introduce a threat to the- oh yeah, the bees. Uh, for example, our natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into the, their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at the outpost just over there. How convenient! Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once you they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. 
Oh, right, that's so cute. One of the two ways. You guys are confusing me. <laughs> you guys are saying it's one way and then the other person's saying it's another way. Either way, one of them doesn't know. <laughs> one of them has no clue and it's sweet and will cry. And it's on Netflix? Okay, after Kill a Kill. We're almost done with JoJo's part six. We have like maybe two more watch parties of JoJo's? And then I want to watch Kill a Kill because we've been talking about it for forever. And that's only one season, so wait, is Kill a Kill two? Kill a Kill might be two seasons. Either way, it's not a lot of episodes, easy to binge. Um, and then maybe we maybe we watch party that. Hello? And cry? Hello? Eight episodes left of JoJo's, right. And then we're fully caught up for now on JoJo's. It's technically two seasons, it's like 24 episodes, right, Echo? Son gifts his dad 14, and then he and his guild take it upon themselves to make sure his dad has the best book. That's so cute. That's so cute, what the fuck? Please tag me directly when you start Kill a Kill, okay. I will tag you literally directly. Instead of at everyone, it will be at Echo. We're watching Kill a Kill. Get in, loser! We're watching Kill a Kill! That's exactly how I'll play. Tara will for gore. Ye of little faith. Just because history has proven you to be correct there does not mean you'll be correct in this instance, Matt. But you probably will be. <laughs> at everyone and also at Echo. What? What is happening here? Why do these two look the damn same? What did I just witness? Catboy twins? And then they mine the wall and then they disappear? <laughs> Soldier bee class. I'm sorry, bees! I know you're endangered, but like we really need this. Invalid target. Fuck me. Oh, here we go. Heading back to Ultros. Boyfriend's almost on. Had fun running stuff. Yo, Neo, it was a pleasure having you. Thanks for coming with us. Just making it that much sweeter for when she's in the. Uh, in this. When she's right in this instance. You know it's coming. Stop. Mac will revel in it, uh, entirely. Bots most likely. I thought their names looked a little bit gibberishy. Where's the other beehive? Ah, there it is. I'll never get over the spell animation of Verholy. It's so good, dude. I was looking at schedule for tomorrow and there's no game. I'm thinking for tomorrow's spooky game, either we'll do indie spooky games because I still have that full collection of Chilla's art or we might do Made of Skirt. I think I have another option as well that I'm forgetting. But those are the two main ones that I'm thinking of right now. I'll be back to help with more Mega Tuesday. Hell yeah! Dynamis has tons of bots flooding the shroud right now. Hacking through the floor, killing random mobs, it's bad. Ooh. Especially because it's a little baby server. That's. They're trying to get. Damn. They're trying to get in good on the server, aren't they? The guard returned to Slitherbow, but not before offering his thanks. 
As for the beehives, Thancred and I were successful in acquiring what we need. How did you fare? This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry, before the bees begin to stir. The children's settlement is to the west, a place they call Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an air airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nests. The Discord link isn't working? Shit. Mac, troubleshoot, if you don't mind. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. They've already been reported by me and many others, but there are tons of them, so it's going to take a while to get all the accounts terminated. Shit. I have to add Golsif again um, later to be like, hey, would you actually fund player housing for me? <laughs> because I kind of want to jump on the server and see if I can get player housing. Heard my name? Hi, money. Give money. <laughs> I am poor streamer boy who wants player housing. <laughs> if it keeps you playing, I'll give you three mil for help. Oh, this motherfucker. This motherfucker thinks I'm gonna stop playing 14. Hello? Hello? Do you even know me? Remember, if you stop logging in, you will lose house. Even more reason to log in. Even more reason. So once you get in, you're trapped. It's not a bad thing. I still owe my cousin five mil for loading me to guild to buy a house. That's off the mount I gave him. Doesn't sell. <laughs> Oof. Says connection not private. I don't know. Well, let me through. Maybe your browser. Wait, are you on mobile or are you on browser? Because whatever you're trying to connect with might. I think we have pretty strict security settings on our Discord. Mobile and Chrome. Weird. That's very, very weird. Gulsub, cool, so did you just generate a new link? Yeah, try the new link there. Up there is the airway. Do you see it? I've Weird. I've never seen that before. A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. Um, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? So we're just gonna yeet the bees in there? Is that, wait. Bees! That should do it, now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! Ah, uh, not the bees! Help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! It sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it any signs of struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy you stolen more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Yeet the beans! <laughs> Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I always get the feeling you enjoy the idea of my loafing about bored in the shadows? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you're both are ready. I, Sith, that's what I was going for. I was going for Nick Cage. Go on, I'll be right behind you. Hey! Stop! I'm trying to enjoy Lahi, you fuck. <laughs> Whoa, Sid, thanks for the follow, by the way. I appreciate you. Is there a tiny little opening up here? Or my wild goose chip? Oh, tiny little opening! Had a pun to bother you guys, but it's a pharmacy related one and no one would have got it. Try me, bitch. I probably wouldn't have got it. My Lala's so cute! Kim's eyes are super pretty. Yo, funky, thank you. 
trust that if I ever switch to Bun Boy, he will also be cute. But not as cute, because Lala is precious. Also, if you want a free company house on Dynamis, free company needs to be 30 days old at least, so no free company can buy houses yet, and sooner, uh, you can make a free company sooner than you potentially could. When are they going up? Ah, a tiny hole! Well, an interesting part to enter stream on! Trazes, Christ! Also, you have a fire name. <laughs> Dude, I love that name. I think you'll find all of my quotes are totally out of context. My chat loves to blackmail me. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Slut era whispers Terra as he fantasies to Bun Boy. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> That's literally... Okay, Ray, were you here when I said what my motivation was for thinking of becoming Bun Boy? It was being in the honey pot or the honeybee or whatever it was called and them forcing me as my Lalavelle to dance on the pole. I was like, well, fuck. If MSQ is going to force me into a slut era, I'll embrace it. <laughs> the font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not place this uh, near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. I would put a... <laughs> I would come up with a chemistry joke, but all the ones are gone. Fuck. <laughs> I hate that I love puns, because they're so cringe. <laughs> Main slut quest. Honestly? Yeah. Private houses for sale already, and technically free company houses are too, but because free company needs 30 days old, no- Okay, so because- I get you now, Golsef, I got it, I got it. Because it's a brand new server, you couldn't have already had a free company being on there, so everyone went on, made free companies, and is now waiting the 30-day period to buy the houses. Correct? Got it. I love puns and dad jokes. They're literally my weakness. Yes, this is it. I will be but a moment. Keep watch of the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I look over this? At a glance, oh, it's the old warriors of light. I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the blessed and the children, in fact. We're not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all that we can. Dude, it's the first warriors of light. I can't tell what that one is. Their version of Louis Soir? Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it. I love Bun Boys, but the only thing I can think of every time I see one is, hmm, another bot. Another bot of God! Not trees is coming in and instantly calling me a bottom. Holy fuck. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Am I wrong though? I don't think you are. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh, that's too funny. Oh. How do the Moogles pay at the store if they use coupons? Wait, that's a cute one. Silence bottom. <laughs> Uptime. Yeah, we'll, we'll end after this quest, Mac. We'll end after this one. Oh, thank you for uptiming me, though. I'm an empath. I sense a bottom. <laughs> uh, examine the murals. Take note of what events they may depict. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Oh, okay, it's this shit. The big... Okay, Scythe, I am taking mental... Uh, click. Taking mental screenshots. Although, I have... Um, shit, what's that thing where you can't see things in your brain? Euphoria. That's not it. Dysphagia. Dysplasia. Something where you can't visually see things in your mind. I have that, and yet I can still recall this image, so it's okay. Ronkin mural. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by their subjects. Aphantasia! That's the word. Gotta stare at Ishtola's back window. Oh, I didn't even think to do that. It's called Dictopia. <laughs> Yeah, aphantasia, which means I can't, I can't visualize, and I didn't know I couldn't visualize until I tried. There's that like aphantasia scale, 
If you look on Google, like aphantasia test or something like that with the apple. Fuck. I'm sadly not an empath. I've just dealt with enough of them to notice that on site. <laughs> we have a look. We have a look. Hopefully it's a cute one. Uh, oh, very old. Really since Top of Throne, tended by subject. Okay, I'm seriously soaking it in, I promise you. <laughs> I know we're memeing a lot, but I'm seriously soaking it in. So we have a Ronkin ruler and their subjects. Got it. Where's Ishtola? Wait. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. There's nothing to gain from staring at my backside. Now please, I need to concentrate. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it, and I'd do it again. No, I won't do it again. I will respect. I was trying to look respectfully, and she told me it was disrespectful, so we're gonna not look. <laughs> the mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from an encroaching darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. And that's Ardbert. That's our boy. That's our boy right there. They said the darkness here was like really weak though, and they dealt with the Asians quite quickly. It's easy to find bottoms just walking to a room. <laughs> Announce top reporting for booty in a room and see who pops up like a prairie dog. <laughs> there's nothing to gain. You should know, there's a lot to be gained and given. Ooh, 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 la la. The mural appears to be ancient. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surrounded, surround the warrior, rejoicing their victory. Is that meant to be Ardbert? Maybe not necessarily. <laughs> Treasus! <laughs> Who's a good boy? Whoop! <laughs> I don't know who that's meant to be. Maybe Ardbert, but maybe not. These paintings, they seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. My husband is here. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was, but he had a good heart. My ghost boyfriend. <laughs> he believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you don't know yet, but that's weird. <laughs> As I said to someone else today, I'm just a man looking for a woman who will saunter up to me and say, you look like a smart boy with good survival instincts. <laughs> uh, he believed this first painting. Oh, he, he's the reading it. The went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka. He was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned, commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself. I love that he's voicing the memory I for us. I could laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Mm. Their opinions of them changed drastically after the flood. Well, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. But did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Mm -hmm. Do you I... suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? I said this at the start of Shadowbringers when we met Ardbert. I, before this expansion is over, I need to see Ardbert smile. I don't think we've seen him smile one time, and I want to make this boy smile. I want to make him proud and happy and relieved that we saved the first, and I want to see this bitch smile. I need this. I need this. Obviously, don't tell me if he does. That's spoilers. I don't even know if you guys remember, but don't tell me. I just, it's what I need. Shadowbringers is like 
is just the warrior of light telling the, his kids the story of how I met your father. <laughs> the only thing that I ever found too weird was how the official lore books bluntly state that the Lalafell healer of Ardbert's group wanted some of <laughs> Margbert's special axe. Oh no! <laughs> There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. I miss him already. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. <gasps> Did he, Ray? Wasn't the full smile that I wanted. It looked more like a lip quiver. Because wasn't he, like, trying to fight back tears when we were talking to Seto? Oh my god, the Seto cutscene. It was so sad. I believe I now have everything needed to uh, to finish deciphering the tablet. Tell me, sir, did the murals, murals appear to be of any significance? Depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Ronkin Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Very astute observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities. Though it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use to us in the future. I'm level 77. We will call it here because I'm 20 minutes over. Whoopsies! Um. Yeah, let's read out. Let's read out. Ah. Uh. I can't wait till you find out why I say calling Ardbert your husband is weird. Oh no. <laughs> this X pack is totally gonna tug at your heartstrings a lot. So for anyone new here, um, I'm I actually have three of them waiting to be published, but I have all my um, previous like big story beat moments uploading to YouTube, and my goal right now is to get them all caught up to where I am currently. So when something big happens, like a big story beat, then I can upload it like the next night or like within a couple days. Because currently I'm about to upload, what's the next one going up? Oh, the Balesar's wall reaction is the next one. And then the final steps of faith after that. I was, oh God, I was crying editing the final steps of faith one. That's the hardest part of these things is literally just not try, <laughs> try not to cry challenge, but you have to edit your content down. <laughs> pain. Stay longer. I can't. I can't. Spes is making supper and I can smell it and I'm so hungry. I'm hungry boy. Abaddon's in Endwalker is doing Stormblood Trials! Dude, I was saying I want to raid Abaddon. This is literally perfect. Abaddon raided us when we were in Stormblood, so it almost feels like full circle. And then we get to stay in the Final Fantasy category. Thank you for looking for that, Golso. Oh, shit! Kyperbole is on. Fuck! Hyperbole is in MSQ though. I think we'll have more opportunities to raid Kyperbole. Let's go Abaddon. Abandoned? I barely know her. Wait, Abaddon. Bop, 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 bop. We're gonna raid Abaddon, guys. I'm helping. Thank you. Guys, we're gonna raid Abaddon. We have two raid messages. They're doing Stormblood Trials. Thank you for even checking in on that for me. Uh, there's our two raid messages. First is if you're sub, second if you're not subbed. We'll be back in again tomorrow for our weekly horror stream. Um, and we'll be back to Final Fantasy next Tuesday. I love you guys so, so much. Uh, please eat food, drink water, take your meds if it's something you need to do. And, 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 and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Hop in the Discord if you're not in there for a full schedule and memes and everything in between. And goodbye forever, okay? Wait! Goodbye. <laughs> Don't leave me! It's too late. It's too late. <laughs>